What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the City Life Project YouTube channel for yet another live fight companion. Oh my goodness, how excited are you? K1 World Max Grand Prix 2024. Let's freaking go, ladies and gentlemen. You all can watch this as well. Abima, if you're out east, as well as fight.tv if you're in Canada or the United States. Like, there's a ton of fights on the prelims. And then in what, three, four hours, the pay-per-view will begin. We are going to be here all night. If you're new to the channel, smash that like button and subscribe. Ring that bell for notifications so you never miss an upload, so you never miss a live stream on this channel. That is right. We are starting early. Wednesday, ladies and gentlemen. Usually, we just do Fight Companions all weekend and cover the weekend of combat sports. But when K1 Kickboxing is back, ladies and gentlemen, for a world freaking Grand Prix, you better believe that we're going to be staying up all night because I'm in the United States. I ain't in Japan. This is starting at 11 p.m. And big shout out to all you, all you junkies who are even more crazy than me who fired up your VPNs for a beam and watched the first few fights. You guys are amazing. So we have a few, how many fights before the rise verse? We got a chunk of fights here just under the K1 banner. And then we have K1 versus Rise. And then during the pay-per-view or for the pay-per-view, we have our tournament bracket. I mean, there's so many fights here. 24 fights here tonight. It is unbelievable. Anyways, smash that like button and subscribe. Like I said, and we'll get back to the comments. Yo, Alpha Zeta, what is going on, dude? Again, if you guys have fight or you guys can download the fight.tv app, go to the go to fight.tv the website just make a quick account it's free and you can watch the free prelims and follow along uh yo in the granite uh bro you can again fight.tv guys fight.tv you just have to make a quick account you don't have to put your credit card information nothing you just make a free account and you can find the free prelims there dude so many fights so many freaking fights <laughs> sorry my buddy's just texting me here All right, well, I'll get to that text after because it's K1 right now. It's K1 right now. I literally just talked to my friend. I'm like, all right, I'm going to start streaming here. Okay. Phone is down, nothing but fights. If you guys are new to the channel, like I said, we do live play-by-play -play commentary, reaction, and most importantly, live interaction with all you amazing folks in the live chat. So don't forget to get your comments in throughout the night, especially, especially the later we go. You know, sometimes we have a huge crowd for these, and we and we might have one once the pay-per-view begins, but hey, even if there's just 5, 10, 15, 20, it doesn't matter. We will take your comments, keep them coming, comment along, ladies and gentlemen, as this is a historic event, 2024 Grand Prix. This happens once a year, ladies and gentlemen, and what a stacked freaking card. Um, upon many, many tweets, a lot of nudging, finally... Tapology updated their bout order and everything. So if you guys want to follow along there, it is finally up to date. You can thank yours truly for that. I think I sent them like four messages and tagged them like 20 times until they were like, dude, we don't have a big staff. Calm down. And I was like, no, I will not calm down. This is the fucking K1 World Max Grand Prix. I expect you to have the right bout order. But big shout out to Gravedigger Jones who hooked me up uh, with the K1 website, which they actually have their full uh, roster here. So anyways, the event is about to begin. And it looks like we, I, I don't know if the, the fighters are just going to walk out right now for it's an opening ceremony, ceremony, but regardless, the lights are dimming and you know how they do it in Japan. They put on a hell of a show, ladies and gentlemen, we will highlight these first two fighters when it looks like we're getting right into it. So I guess I missed the opening ceremony in the prelims, or maybe they're going to do one for the pay-per-view regardless, regardless, we have the first two fighters making their walk out now. So we will highlight them here in a moment. What fights are you guys? Looking forward to the most on this card. And don't forget to vote in the poll question as well. It might be a little bit skewed just because this is a K1 event, but I want to know. Give me your honest answer. Don't just pick K1. K1's not watching. K1's not listening. You don't got to impress them. If you think Rise is better, hell, if you think Glory is better, you're crazy if you think Glory is better. But hey, 
no judgment. <laughs> Let me know. And if there's another kickboxing league out there that you think is better than, oh, Funkmaster, come on, bro. You're trolling. You're trolling me. This is the K1 World Grand Prix, man. This is the K1 World Grand Prix, brother. How's it going, Funkmaster? Good to see you. What is up, boys? Heading off to bed. Hey, you're a smart one, man. I think I've slept like maybe five hours in the last 72. So tomorrow, I, I literally am going to be streaming all night. When this is done, I have a client meeting at like 9 a.m. my time. And then uh, and then I'm going to bed. <laughs> I'm guessing 11 hours, probably, probably 10 to 11 hours. I mean, I, I'm hoping that it's not 11 hours because that's that that would be the longest stream that we've done straight in like one one go, without like any you know break and jumping to another one. And again, for those who are just joining, the reason I'm like talking a bit quiet is because it, it is almost midnight here on a Tuesday, and my roommates think I'm crazy. I did rise uh, over the weekend, and we're going to be doing rise in on Friday, so I don't, don't want to piss them off too too much. <laughs> Funkmaster, how's your day going, buddy? Hope you had a great rest of your weekend. Yeah, well, the the because you're oh, I forget your Pacific time. I, mean, I forget what time zone you're in. I think you're like a couple hours behind me. But uh, the main card starts at in four hours. Got to work tomorrow. Hey, fair enough, man. Fair enough. Have a great night, buddy. Really appreciate you for stopping by. My nipples are hard for Bellator on Friday. Yeah, we will be covering that, dude. Um, I'm excited too. I'm excited too. Of course, I don't have like HBO Max on my on my uh my iPad here, which I usually watch these fights on. So I'm gonna have to snag my roommate's uh Max account. But no, it's really cool that they struck that new deal with Max. Okay, you're only one hour behind. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. Yeah, in the grants gonna be hanging out here. Uh, by the way, I should text Jay. I told Jay he has a uh. He has a open invitation to come hang out with us until he falls asleep. So I'm gonna text him right now. I'm just saying, Jay, if you want to jump on for a bit, I'll hook you the link. <laughs> um, who else is here? Who else is here? Wolf Chief? Sorry, sorry, I didn't mean to. Uh, I didn't mean to neglect you brother wolf chief it's good to see you by the way we got members in the live chat too thank you guys so much wolf chief uh i know skates man funk mass you may as well be a member you've been supporting us forever i haven't washed it yet funk master i haven't washed it yet it very much smells like isha <laughs> yo what's up joe uh it is on fight.tv and, and it's free the, i think like how many of them are free bro there's like 12 fights that are free i think hope the asian guy wins hey what's up strainy good to see you buddy dude this is awesome we got a pretty good crowd here tonight let's go let's get okay let's quickly highlight these guys as they're being announced now in the center of the ring and oh man the i'm getting like chills like this is nostalgic right like i used to grow like we all grew up watching ovary mark hunt crow cop all fight in the k1 ring 21 fights for Kazuki, 17 wins, four losses. Uh, Okubo Rui, a little bit less experience here. He only has five wins, a one loss, no knockouts in his professional kickboxing career. So two youngins here, two guys without a without a tie resume. Let's just say that as far as having like 50 fights before they're 20 years old. But anyways, round one, let's kick it off. Oh, and already, like, I mean, shout out to uh, Abima. They did a great job putting on the free rise event, but uh, the quality here for this one is unbelievable. Fight.tv, buddy. Fight.tv. And it's free, Funkmaster. The first chunk of the card, anyways. Two minutes and 34 seconds on the clock. God, I love the blue and red gloves, too. This is just nostalgic, man. And Mibro is only 22 years of age. Wow. All right. Each of them throwing some leg kicks here. And Mirubo in and out. Good job checking by Okubo. Okubo with the front kick right to the body. Hell yeah, brother. Hell yeah. Yeah, the main card starts at like 
45 a.m. Central, I think. So you you got a good chunk before uh before the main card starts. The white hair's getting smoked. Ooh, outside low kick by Okubo. By the way, K1 allowing all their fighters to show off their tattoos. They used to make them cover their tattoos until this year. So look at that. Look at that. Japan taking taking strides forward. It ain't dishonorable anymore. It's it's a, it's a sales point. <laughs> Fighters actually can have a little uniqueness to them. Straight left jab by Okubo. Man, skinny boy's got range, and he's got that light left leg. Ooh, a nice step in with the right hand by Okubo, but Miburo with the check left hook and a double left jab by Okubo. Okubo's got fast hands. Oh, another left jab by Okubo. That was nice. Trying to load up that right is Miburo. 55 seconds on the clock. Man, two kickboxing streams back to back. Let's freaking go, ladies and gentlemen. Ooh, dude, that jab for Okubo. Mm, chef's kiss. A nice left by Okubo. Ooh, another... Man, that left by Okubo is his bread and butter right now. And he's doing a good job of checking... The leg kicks outside low kick by Okubo, and again, he just spams that double left jab. Hey, what's up, King James? Good to see you, buddy. While others sleep, you should provide us com what the combat sports needs. Hey, I appreciate it, buddy. I don't think anyone is streaming this tonight. I don't think anyone's streaming this tonight. I think Jay might have even already gone to bed. I texted Mr. Jay Smooth. I said, hey, you're free to jump on for a bit. Five seconds left. <laughs> first clinch of the match right at the end there and uh, that'll do it for the first round 4 14 a.m here and i'm going strong well i hope you had a nap or two buddy i hope you had a nap or two before this ethan i'm starting to feel like you buddy because the last dream we did was rise i stayed up super late last night uh doing some work for work in like my uh, second channel the soda pod and then i thought this was tomorrow but me being me being a fool today and a little sleep deprived, I was like, oh yeah, that's Wednesday, Japan. Oh shit, that's in seven hours. And so uh tried to power through a quick power nap, but I ended up just laying there for an hour thinking about like, I need to sleep, I need to sleep, I need to sleep, and didn't sleep, so it is what it is. I will nap tomorrow. It's good to see you, Ethan. I predicted off picture out of boy. <laughs> All right. Oh, um, Miburo is actually, he was a, the crush bantamweight champion. Out a few hours, yeah. You get used to it in the UK. Basically, every card is early in the morning. Yeah. If anyone is watching on the TV in the US, it's called Triller TV. Yes, yes. But isn't the website fight.tv or did they change it to Triller.tv? Regardless, yes, because uh, Triller bought Fight TV. Anyways, round two, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get Body kick by Okubo. Oh, nice left by Miburo. Miburo's trying to cut off his angles. Step in with the left by Miburo, but didn't really land clean. Swing and a miss with that left hook by Okubo. Good head movement by Okubo as well, actually. And again, his, his jab, man. His jab is a thing of beauty. More of a tie stance than uh, the traditional Japanese kickboxing stance too, keeping that left leg super light up front. Oh man, there's that left jab again. It's like Oku or it's like Mirubo. Keep that friggin' right hand up now, buddy. I mean, it's been a whole round of it, a whole round and a half now, as we're one minute and a half, one minute and fifty-two seconds on the clock. By the way, there's 17 people watching. You all are amazing. I appreciate you guys. Don't forget to smash that like button. Let's try to get to 30 likes on the video. We're going to be here for up to potentially 10 hours, 10 or 11 hours. Again, really hope it's not that long. But there are two intermissions throughout this card. We're going to stay online during the intermissions, but I might actually just like work on some editing if the chat's not buzzing. <laughs> Sorry, back to the fight. Right hand by Okubo. Body kick by Okubo. Is that left jab again? 
on the rise event when we had k1 versus rise we had open scoring for both the for that portion of the card i'm wondering if k one's going to do the same thing here oh nice check right hook by okubo mirubo quick uh mibudo clinches yo aj knock the fuck oh what's up buddy aj was one of the loyals who uh I shouldn't say one of the loyals. I mean, he is one of the loyals, but one of the the psychos, and I say that in the most endearing way, who stayed up with Barter and I to watch the entire rise. So appreciate you, buddy. We're back for some Japanese kickboxing. Oh, the English broadcast too is awesome. I mean, I forget his name off the top of my head, but it's that it's that English K one, and he was he worked with one championship uh, in the beginning as well. Oh. Uh, Good night, Irene. That guy. What's his name? Oh, this is this is why you need sleep. Ten seconds on the clock. I'm looking to throw some more combos here to try to get something out of Okubo. Is Mibudu and he just got kneed in the face at the end of that second round. I miss K1. Haven't watched in years. Yeah, me not. Me neither, dude. And that's why, like, I'm getting chills right now. Like. This is almost nostalgic watching, uh, you know, watching the blue, the blue canvas here in the K1 ring, right? Because, I mean, I used to watch Crow Cop and Hunt and Buaka, which we will see Buaka in Ryzen this weekend, which is absolutely insane. I mean, maybe if Kimura passes his drug test, which, let's be honest, he's probably not going to pass his drug test. <laughs> But uh, it's crazy seeing it in fucking 4K. I will say that. It's crazy seeing K1 in 4K. 4K1. Uh, Mikhail Schiavello definitely spelled it wrong. What did I spell wrong? What's up, buddy? I just copied and pasted whatever's in the description, if that's what you're talking about. Uh, I just copied and pasted it from Topology. What did I spell wrong? The bruh? All right, round three. Let's get oh, left jab again by Okubo. Oh, oh, sorry. You're talking about the, the fucking announcer. <laughs> yes. Chiavello. Thank you, the bro. House on fire. Yes, yes. That's him. Two minutes and 22 seconds on the clock. Oh, another neat. A couple kicks to the body there. And you can see there's some swelling on the just under the right rib of Mibudo. Two minutes left in this third round. I mean, I got Okubo's won both rounds here. Mibudo has not found any answer to his jab. Uh, is the same people who make my jelly. Damn, bro, you sleep at all? No, dude. I've literally had five hours in the last 72 hours. So I, I'm hoping uh, literally when this is done, the sun will have been... The sun will have risen where I'm at. I have a meeting at 9 a.m. my time, so this hopefully is done before that. And then I'm going to sleep for a good chunk of the day. Yeah, from early one champion. Yep, and and old and K1 way back in the day. Someone's got to cover these events, right? Someone, someone's got to be on YouTube yapping away about these uh, Japanese events, right? Oh, they each land a nice left hook. And Okubo, I mean... Fighting smart here in this third round, clinching, trying to run away with it. Oh, and a nice throw down by Okubo. Mirabo putting some decent combos together here late in the third, as he should. If he he needs a knockout, he doesn't need a knockdown. He needs a knockout, or he's going to lose this fight. Um, but again, thank you, the bruh. You guys, you guys are awesome. And I know Arthur and AJ were helping me out on, on Rise when I was like, you know, 3 a.m. when I was like trying to think of like a name or something. I was like, what, what was that guy's name? Or, 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 you know, what was that fight? And they they were on it. So you guys are awesome. You guys are all part of the show as well. This isn't just me yapping to you guys. This is us. This is all of us hanging out together watching some unbelievable kickboxing. 41 seconds left. 
Oh, nice knee to the body by Okubo. Dude, Okubo's good for only... He's only had six pro fights, man. Oh, my goodness, a right hand by Okubo. And that was in the pocket for a lanky Trevor from Trailer Park boys looking fighter here. The fact that he can land those shots in the pocket is huge. They clinching up here. This is getting a little... <laughs> I don't say dirty, but this ain't, this ain't no polished fight here in the third round. This is becoming a brawl in the clinch. Final seconds. Nice left by a Okubo. Okubo blocks, lands a step back right, and that is it, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> to, start off, to start off the night here on the City Life Project YouTube channel and K1. I mean, the judges aren't going to need too much time for this one, guys. The, the judges are not going to need too much time for this one at all. It looks like my boot is cut. There's a little bit of blood on that left side, but anyways, yeah, here, got the... Ooh, I like the way that they uh, they do this. It shows, like, under their name, a, a block, like, illuminates if, you know, the judges picks them to win, and yeah... Flying fucking carpets, as they say, in the trailer park in eastern Canada. He won by flying fucking carpets. Okubo Rio. <laughs> Easy decision, man. Easy decision. And again, big shout to Grave Digger Jones. He's the one who came up with the link to uh to K1's website here. I don't even know, kind of like uh, one championship, but they have it way more detailed with every fighter here. And I was bugging. I mean, I feel a little bad because I know like topology is not, it's not a huge operation, but I mean, for, for big cards like this, I mean, us, the people, us, the fight fans, we have an expectation. We have an expectation, even if it's kickboxing for them to at least get the bout order rights. I, I don't need information on all these kickboxers in their database, but I expect the correct bout order, right? So I was peppering them all day before I, before I found this or before um, Gravedigger Jones, anyways, sent me this. Yeah, seven wins now, one loss, no knockouts, but again, <laughs> a lot of those, uh, whoops, wrong one. Seven wins, one loss, no knockouts, but skinny boy here, I don't know if he has that knockout power. He was trying to attack that the liver, though, with those kicks. All right, guys, again, what fights are you looking forward to the most here tonight? Obviously, uh, the main event of the evening is going to be a fun one. Uh, Sina, Karimian, everyone's looking forward to see Lou hopefully knocking him out, or as JL says, humbling him. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Romano, Bakurd, that should be a good fight. As he's fighting that Thai fighter. I mean, JL, he was, or sorry, uh, Jay Smooth last night. I mean, he was he was telling me all about the fights that he was looking forward to the most. And I, and I hope he's able to stay up and watch most of it as well. And if not, guys, again, the pay-per-view, I think it's only 20 bucks. I bought it yesterday. It's 20 bucks or like 23 bucks or whatever. Um, and obviously, you can rewatch it. It's not just like a live broadcast and it's gone. If you buy the pay-per-view, you can definitely rewatch it. I have no idea who's on this card. And, and you know what? You just get to sit back and enjoy it kind of like me because I'm not the biggest, like, I'm, I'm a kickboxing fan 100%, but I don't follow it as much as uh, as mixed martial arts, for example. And I'm not just saying UFC. Like, we're talking all mixed martial arts. I don't have time to, like, dive in and be able to follow the scene of, uh, of a few different sports, right? And for me, it's hockey and MMA. Uh, I'm not too knowledgeable about modern kickboxing stuff, so I'm just happy to watch the fights. Yeah, and, and honestly, ditto, my friend. Ditto, my... I have a my big monitor, and I didn't realize how funny your profile picture was because it was so small when I was on my laptop. That is amazing, the bruh. Degenerate Dane, what is going on, sir? Uh, sir? Hello, non-casuals, yeah. We got Golf Channel, Isha's voice tonight, yeah. <laughs> yeah, if we're doing Japanese kickboxing or, or Japanese MMA, just... And, and assume Isha is going to be talking a little quiet and and the day that I'm not either my roommates are gone or I've moved into my own apartment 
<laughs> what's up dane it's great to see you and, and in the granite um guys go go um subscribe to in the, in the granite's channel as well he covers boxing every every second wednesday the pro box tv and, uh, and he had a really good ufc breakdown today i joined his chat for a little bit before i tried to nap in the granite i snuck in a workout which was good but uh i, I have such a hard time napping unless like my body is just like you have to fucking sleep dude and it just like shuts down it, it's hard for me to nap during the day but uh we're here my energy levels are pretty good we got some coffee brewed and we got freaking kickboxing fights to keep that dopamine going all night dude we got the, we got the boys in the house here tonight we're aj in the granite degenerate dane the bra wolf chief king james i mean look at this look at this uh strainy joe hogan alpha zeta stopped by skatesman no problem, man. Hey, you guys, all of you guys support me. So I'm, if you guys are doing content on YouTube or you got like music, like Funk Master, like I'm happy to support you guys as well. This ain't no one way street here, guys. We got, we're here to help each other out always. And I mean, like, no chill MMA. We got him like, I think like 50 subscribers one stream or like it wasn't just us, but uh, yeah, happy to help him out as well. All right, let's take a look at these next two guys here. We have Yutaka, uh, 26 fights, 17 wins, 10 KOs. Oh, that's what I like to see. Nine losses. Up against Osawa Fumiya, 55 fights, 30 wins, 3 KOs, 21 losses, 3 draws, and 1 invalid fight. Okay, okay, well. I'm going to go for the mean looking guy who is a little bit older, but he's got that old man strength. He's got that power in his mitts, clearly. So I hmm, do I predict a knock? I don't predict a knockout, but I predict at least a couple knockdowns, whether this goes the distance or not. I'm going into my picks blind today, by the way, guys. <laughs> There's only there's only a handful of fighters that I'm like that I've seen fight a few times and who I who I've actually invested some time into watching some tape just just for fun. Thanks, man. I have no content. Happy to support you. Hey, thank you, buddy. Thank you. You're on your third album. Hey, uh, send me some of your music, man. Happy to uh, happy to listen to it and and help promote it as well. All right, guys. Both these guys are a little bit more experienced than those young cats that we just saw duke it out. Round one. Let's get it on. Let's get it on. Oh, we, got, we got Yutaka in the blue gloves. Osawa in the red. Oh, and a big overhand left by Yutaka. He's already trying to end this early. Inside low kick by Yutaka. Outside low kick by Osawa. And Yutaka goes for the high kick there. But it looks like Osawa's right knee is wrapped. And right away, Yutaka is going for that kick right on the knee. Uh, here, I'll send the link, buddy. I'll send the link. Two minutes on the clock. Swing and miss with that high kick. Here, buddy. Here's the link. Shout out to Trailer Slash Fight for uh, for showing us the prelims here. I think it's the first time in in a long time, anyways, in the United States that they're showing this for at least a good chunk of the card for free. One minute and thirty three seconds on the clock. Outside low kick by Osawa. Ooh, that was a little low, little low by Yutaka as he returned the favor, but they're going to keep going. Oh, and the right shoulder of Osawa's is wrapped. I didn't even notice that. Oh, inside low kick by Osawa. Left to the body by Yutaka. 
Utaka going high again. Good guard by Osawa. They reset back to the center of the ring. Right feint over and left by Utaka. High guard by Osawa. who has got a few inches on him. Yo, yo, yo. What's up, buddy? Uh, we just saw the first one. I didn't I didn't watch the early prelims. We just fired this up about half an hour ago, but so far so good, man. So far so good. How you doing, dude? There's one Canadian on this card, by the way, too, believe it or not. I don't even think there's any Americans, but there's one Canadian. Unless he was pulled, he was. There was a Canadian on this card originally. He might have been pulled from it, though. Yo, what is up, buddy? Thank you so much for joining. Great show yesterday, by the way. Final ten seconds. How long until you tap out? <laughs> and that is it for the first round. Bro, I cannot believe that the two fights we were looking forward to the most on Rise ended in complete fuckery. I've never seen someone get kicked in the dick and then lose a fight. Ever. Ever. I've seen no contests. I've never seen someone get fucking spinning heel kicked to the dick and lose a fight. That was some Japanese fuckery right there. And it was the K1 guy for fuck's sakes. Craziness. I'm good. I'm going to try to get some bets in. Let's go. Let's go. I mean, you got quite a bit of fights still uh, to bet on. As there's 19, 19 fights left. I need Canucks game to end a payout. What's the score right now? I love that ref normally. He's a former fighter and fucked up dearly. Did you see the meme I posted on, on Twitter? Here, let me see if I can find it. And it was shout out to Arter, by the way, in our live chat. He made He's the one who made that meme. All right, round two, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get it on. Oh, nice knee attempt there. And a left to the body. Overhand left by Yutaka. Oh, a nice kick to the leg by Yutaka. And Osawa falls to the ground. Straight right jab by Yutaka. Left to the body. Right to the body by Yutaka. Osawa's, you know, he has a, he's employing the high guard well. But as soon as Yutaka throws a jab and it doesn't get through, he's going right to the body. Spinning back fist attempt by Yutaka as well. I mean, he's throwing he's throwing everything in the kitchen sink at him here. Nice right hook, but in the pocket there, it's Osawa getting the better of him. I shared the meme that Arthur uh, posted. Let's go, Canucks. Parlayed with the Wild. Oh, let's go Wild too. I mean, they should stomp the Ducks. Let's be perfectly honest. They did just a couple weeks ago. Actually, no, they only or a couple days ago. They only beat them two nothing, if I'm not mistaken. One minute, 35 seconds on the clock. Bro, I just can't wait for playoffs. I'm, I'm more excited about the Memorial Cup right now in junior hockey and the NCAA tournament than the rest of the regular season. Oh, a nice sweep again. One minute, 20 seconds on the clock. Yeah, Yutaka's definitely the one who's staying busy here. Not all his shots are landing. And Osawa in his own right, landing some good leg kicks, but Yutaka... Throwing more and just being way more aggressive here and, and smart too. For like his left jab. Oh, beautiful combo. And just when I was saying it, his left jab doesn't get through. He goes two to the body and then does one straight right through the guard of Osawa. Osawa just too slow with his hands as well. No problem, buddy. No problem. Bro, how about the uh, We Are Rising podcast? How about that co main event, man? Dude, I did. Yeah, Sandy on Twitter was uh was super stoked about that. <laughs> the biggest J-Kick fan I know. Oh, big right to the body by Yutaka Nosawa returns the favor. 
which is good. I think uh, I think it helps the fighters be able to you know sell their uniqueness, especially to us in North America. Oh, big right to the body by Osawa there to close out the round. But again, yeah, these are amazing body shots here, especially by uh, Yutaka. Oops. Oh, shit. We get the full profile on them? I didn't even... Oh, my goodness. That's sick. I keep thinking this is Kansas City. <laughs> Fuji TV had a ban on Ryzen Fighters with tattoos. Really? Wow. I'm sure Ren Hiramoto had a lot to say about that. Um, Shane told me, my friend Shane, he studied Japanese for a bit, and he said uh, that there's like a there's a saying in Japan that translate to that translate to the nail that sticks out gets the hammer, and it's not like it's not traditional, and it's not necessarily frowned upon, but it's not as I guess liberal as the Americas. Um, tattoos anyways. Blonde haired Rod Tang. They had to wear rash guards. Oh my god. Well that or a lot of them would just wear makeup, right? That's what Sandy was telling me. She's like, there was straight up a job in Japan for covering up fight like they're like that was a profession. It was like covering up fighters' tattoos. Let's get it all. All right, round three, ladies and gentlemen. Like makeup artists who straight up just cover fighter tattoos. Um, yeah, I'll go over it right after this fight. I'll go over it right after this fight. But uh, We Are Ryzen can probably help you out with that too. He's way more tuned in and, and follows way more of the Japanese scene than I do. Nice left of the body by Yutaka. So if, uh, so yeah, so I'm, I'm sure he can help you out if he, if he wants in the live chat here. And then I'll go over um, just a few of the guys that I'm confident with as well. Two minutes on the clock. Oh yeah, by the way, I'm um, um, Jay Wolf and I are recording Thursday. It's going to be a hell of a show. We're just doing a prediction video. 1 minute 51 seconds. Dude, but you're more than me, dude. You're more than me. Give him a, if, you, if you have any, give him a couple. <laughs> oh, nice left. By Osawa as they enter the clinch. Let's go Iran, baby. My Persian brother. I'm eating some extremely hot cup of noodles right now. Nice. I'll probably take a shot of the toki as we get deeper and deeper into the night again. Shout to the Suntory whiskey. Drinking on a Tuesday again. One minute and 13 seconds on the clock. Oh, right. Left. And a high kick by Osawa. Left in the clinch by Yutaka. I like how this ref lets him throw a little bit in the pocket. Doesn't immediately go in and separate them. I think some of K1's best were on the Rise show last weekend. Okay, fair enough. But yeah, that Persian dude, he's good. He's good. Everybody, though, is cheering for him to lose. <laughs> Apparently, he's kind of a dick. Oh, yes, my friends couldn't go to a number of uh, uh, on scenes because he had a tattoo on his arm. That's crazy, man. Uh, I'm watching it on... Oh, if it's Geolock, then f uh, fire up a VPN, bro. But I'm in the United States. I'm in the United States, and I'm able to watch it on Fight TV. Oh, a nice right hand by Osawa, man. Yutaka walked right into that one, and then left by Osawa. And Osawa's like, let's go. Let's go, Superman attempt by Yutaka. Four seconds left in this third round. Who's going to get the last punch? And that is it, ladies and gentlemen. Good display of respect by those guys. Those quick and touch gloves. Um, I think it'll be a good fight, to be honest. I mean, I, I have I have Pantoja winning because, yeah, Ursek knocked, Ursek knocked out. Uh, I mean, he has some power, but it was Matt Schnell at flyweight. Um, Ursek does have some good grappling, though. Um, I just quite frankly haven't seen enough of him fight to confidently say that he's going to beat Pantoja, but I do think it's going to be an exciting fight. 
Um, will it be more competitive than that of like a Roy Vell against him? I, I don't know. Um, but I'm excited for it. I'm excited for it. I mean, Al Bazi couldn't fight and there was like no one else for him to take other than Roy Vell and he just beat him. So, I mean, I don't, I don't mind it. Oh my God. Oh, Saul won on all the judges scorecards. Shit, man. All three rounds. Wow. Dude, even the broadcast is saying that he did nothing in that first round. I mean, it could have it could have been two rounds to one, but I thought uh, Utaka did way more in that one. Uh, the best tonight who's Japanese is Wajima. I think at the last eight fights bet on three six five, the other ones aren't on aren't there. Okay, it's probably because like that this portion of the the card has already started. Yeah, we're going Ursik as well now. Yeah. He's the, he's the new he's the new kid in town. He's uh, or the new kid on the block. He's good. Is he great? Well, I, I don't know yet, but he's good. Um, and I think it's just gonna be a fun fight, to be honest. Bro, just fire up a VPN, buddy. Just fire up a VPN. It's as simple as that, my dude. It's as simple as that. Um, I used to do that all the time, dude, for for Ryzen, because. There were a few events that um, I think one of the New Year's events that wasn't even available in the United States, but I just fired up my VPN and good to good to go. And then for the main card, I already bought the pay-per-view. Don't necessarily agree with this decision, but hey, not a bad fight, not a bad fight. I mean, it's kickboxing. There's, there's hardly going to be, unless there's like fuckery like there was la uh, during the Rise show. Um, there shouldn't be any bad fights here tonight. Uh, do you need the link to fight.tv? My friend, TGBNM. Oh, also, Panchan Rina. Yes, Rina, who is in the card, is quite infamous for getting arrested for forging signatures of tension. Really? Interesting. She's probably the best woman tonight. I need to know the backstory for that one. Fuck, I just need to bring you back on for a, for just a podcast segment. We can just talk about all these crazy Japanese lore fight stories that you got. So there you go, TR uh, Clips. We are Ryzen Podcast. They're the, the best coverage of Ryzen on the internet in English. And, uh, and they, they cover their fair share of kickboxing and stuff as well. I'm about halfway through your guys' show. Stamkos on Twitter was saying he was fucking with you guys big time. But uh, no, you guys are the ones who helped me form my picks. So I appreciate you. You, you guys actually helped me win some money last time. I had Osaba 29-28. I feel like his counters helped him make up for the lack of power. Yeah, in that third round, he looked really good. Yet I'm no expert in judging, especially judging kickboxing. I'm just going to give my opinion as we go. By the way, you guys are fucking awesome. We actually have a, a little bit of a crowd here for freaking Japanese kickboxing in North America. Super late. So I pre appreciate you guys. Appreciate you guys. All right, let's get to this next one. And the pacing. Oh, my goodness. We might not be here for 11 hours. Let's just say that we might not we might not be here for 11 hours. Now, we have a lot more fights to go. We have one, two. All right, we have 20 more fights to go. I only thought there was 24 fights, but it was 25. Or nice. 19 fights to go, but we got a good pace going. We got a good pace going. I'm just praying that these intermissions aren't like fucking 45 minutes long, man. Regard if they are, I will I will entertain the live chat, but I'm gonna straight up just get some work done. Mm -mm. she getting posters and signing tension autograph on them hey i respect the hustle shit i should do that with like i should i should i should do that with a couple fighters i'm kidding i'm not gonna do that youtube no did you guys crush it man yo curtis clock what's up buddy oh i'll be here for 11 hours let's go 
A collector realized that it wasn't Tension's handwriting. She was arrested for forgery. Oh my god. Did she do any time? You'll be here for 11 hours. Okay, if this, if this goes the distance, we'll be here. We'll be here all night, all morning, but... I got a meeting at 9 a.m. my time, so I'm hoping to be done before that. Then I'll get some sleep. Uh, super light heavyweights. <laughs> I don't believe she did, but she had to pay a massive fine. Okay, okay. Well, that that's good she didn't <laughs> get arrested and get any of her uh, prime years in fighting taken away from her. All right, so... We got the big boys here next, ladies and gentlemen. We got Kwon Jongwon out of Korea up against Yosuke Ando. Uh, Ando, he's out of Japan. 12 fights, 8 wins, 7 KOs, 4 losses. Yeah, we ain't dealing with the little guys. We got the big boys here next, ladies and gentlemen. 18 wins for the South Korean. Or sorry, 18 fights for the South Korean. 16 wins, 12 knockouts, 2 losses. Somebody is hitting the canvas ladies and gentlemen somebody is going to hit the canvas and already like dude the pacing for this one is even faster than rise i love it i love it all right round one ladies and gentlemen Let's get it all. any anticipated fights on this card uh yeah i'll put them on screen here in a sec because we are rising podcast already uh told us a few of them Inside low kick by Ando and Jongwon. Jongwon with the right. Jongwon with the knee in the clinch. Oh, you can't do that. Thanks to Buoka, you can't do that. I love fat boy kick. Yeah, he be jiggling. Outside low kick by Ando. Straight left jab by Jongwon and... A nice left by Ando. Kick to the body by Jungwon. So Panchan Rina, she's good. Uh, Sina. They clinch here and <laughs> Jungwon just throws him off. She's young and hot and did an apology video. That's good enough. Oh, the age of the influencers. Oh, nice right hand by Jongwon. A left by Jongwon. A right by Jongwon and a left. Oh my goodness. Ando. Ando. He's hurt. He's hurt. Oh, right hand. Right hand by Jongwon. And getting the count is Ando. Already standing count. Japan got him discombobulated. Ando's the Japanese guy, actually. Uh, um, Kwon Jong, he's the uh, he's the Korean. Oh, left, right, left, right, and there's another standing count. It is over. It is over. <laughs> that, ladies and gentlemen, that was an absolute beatdown by the Korean. The Korean took like a few punches there. As you can see, his nose is pretty busted up, but he just kept throwing hooks, uppercut, hooks, uppercut, hooks, uppercut. And Ando had no answer. Can we just have, you know, fat boy kick the rest of the card? This might be the only knockout we see out of 25 fights. <laughs> oh, I hope not. That was nasty. Dude, that was a one-sided freaking beating, man. And the South Korean hurt, uh, an all South Korean hurt dude. Hey, have a good night, buddy. Thank you so much for dropping by. South Korean just put that dude on Career Street. <laughs> Strainy, thank you so much for still hanging with us, buddy. Okay, what are some other notable fights on this one? We'll just fire them up quickly. I'm really, look, I'm really looking forward to this fight. Um, he's very, very good, but the masses are rooting for C. Liu to win. This fight should be awesome. I'm rooting for for this guy to uh, to destroy Pascal. What's another notable one? 
oh, this one should be awesome as well. I mean, he, he's fucking sick. I think he's the only tie on the card as well. Um, b -b 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 Silva versus Riku should be a good fight. And what was the other one that that Jay was telling me about? Um, again, I'm not the biggest. I shouldn't say this. I'm a huge kickboxing fan. I'm just a casual as far as like following the kickboxing scene. But those were some of the fights that Jay uh, highlighted anyways. Oh, sexy Yama in his corner. Let's fucking go, ladies and gentlemen. Good fight. Nice to see a finish. Absolutely. Dude, sexy Yama in his corner. Let's go. Oh, man. We're looking at the replay right now. Brutal. Brutal. Dirty boxing. Holy shit. And then a few big shots in the pocket as well. He put his whole body into those uppercuts, man. But he'd be a pretty good golfer with the way he fucking swings there, eh? <laughs> Let's freaking go. Yeah, we're definitely not going to see a knockout in this next one. But... That's okay. That's okay. 105. Damn, they're tiny. We're going from the big boys to the tiniest women. <laughs> Them Adam weights. All right, let me actually bring up fightodds.io. Uh, but again, the pay, regardless of the quick knockout or not, like the, the pacing has been great so far. Mm -hmm. Oh, it looks like fight odds doesn't even have these. All right, here we go. And the next two fighters are already making their walkouts. I hope this amazing pacing doesn't mean that the intermissions are going to be like an hour long because that would freaking suck. But so far, so good. But I mean, on one hand, even if you go to an event, like well, you're expected to be there six, seven hours at the most, right? So if they're going to put 25 fights on, you got to imagine that they're going to, that they're going to show the fucking fights. They're going to show fights. There's not going to be a lot of shit in between. Definitely great pacing, yeah. But there's two intermissions. That's that's what's scaring me, Strini. So the... F uh, hold on, let me bring it up here. I'll tell you guys when the, the first intermission is going to start. Okay, so we have one more fight. Uh, one more fight after this, and then there'll be an, a break. Oh, and then we just go right to the end. Okay, never mind. We already... Uh... Oh, sorry, sorry. I'm looking at the wrong thing. We have five more fights, and then we have a break, and then we have the rise versus k1 portion of the card which is one two three four five fights then we have a second break and then we have nine straight fights on the main card so five more fights on this prelim then we probably have like a half an hour break and then rise versus k1 <coughs> excuse me and then once the 14th fight starts uh we're going all the way to the end Oh my, these anime characters. <laughs> Making tea so I can do a so I can do a spit take when a big moment happens. <laughs> it's been a handful of times where I've spat my coffee out on my monitor. Uh Grand Zezer go shoot and screw push your punch. All right, here's Panchan Rina. So this is the girl that was forging Tenshin's signature and selling them. So like signing signing his like posters and things like that. 
bro, Koto is badass. She's she's already made her way into the ring and she's like art. She's like her coach has her hands up and she's like kind of hitting pads already. Well, not hitting pads, but she's she's warming up, already throwing punches. I love it. Um, oh, try hard gym. This is actually a good gym in Japan. Koto had a try hard. 23 fights. Fourteen wins, three or eight losses, three knockouts in twenty-three fights. Uh, Rena, sixteen fights, sixteen wins. She is undefeated with four knockouts. Okay, so she's actually she is a badass. She uh, she broke the law in Japan, got a badass fine, and now is in a as a badass record. And let's see if she puts it on here. Hiroko Koto. So Koto is the 2014 All Japan Women's Lightweight Karate Champion. Whatever that's worth, I guess they got to show some accolade. Oh, bro, yeah, Rena looks fucking dialed. Oh my goodness! Yeah. Ice coffee and rolling four sativa raw kings. Let's go, Rena. Sorry, yes, yes. Sorry. So sometimes I, for better or for worse, sometimes I read the chat Ron Burgundy style. Now don't fuck with me, guys. I ain't no Michael Bisping. I have a little bit more awareness than him. All right. <laughs> Round one. Let's get it all. Eyes don't lie. No, she looks done. She looks jacked too. I mean, for a 105er, right? She's she's tall. <laughs> My bad, buddy. Inside low kick by Rena. Rena's got the reach for sure. Left and right by Rena. Stepping forward, missing with all her shots was. Hiroka. Hiroka clinches. Ooh, kick right to the knee on Rina by Hiroka. Rina throws some high kicks, swing to miss. Outside low kick by Hiroka. Good head movement by Rina. Outside low kick by Rina. Rina with a counter right. Shit, Rina looks like she actually, she actually has some power. She tagged uh hiroka there with that straight right and like her knocked her head back a bit one minute 53 seconds on the clock push kick by rena they're back at center rena with a few feints swing and miss with a low kick by hiroka and each of them swing the pocket there rena getting the better for a nice counter right by rena checking of the leg kick was rena Rina steps in with a straight left jab. <laughs> what? <laughs> what does the broadcast? The broadcast is just swooning over Rina here, talking about how beautiful she is. Oh, is that going to count as an eight count? No, it's just going to be a trip. You're fantastic, buddy. They're literally talking about Rena's body right now. And how there are oohs and ahs from the audience during the weigh-ins. <laughs> A couple shots of the body there by Hiroka in the pocket, but Rena's stalking her down. They reset back in the center of the ring. Push kick by Hiroka. Rena, double F jab to start. Set up that right hand, but ducking under that was Hiroka. Hiroka with a few feints here. Step back, left hook by Rina. Didn't land clean. Oh, spinning heel kick attempt by Hiroka. Man, that was close. Man, women's kickboxing is so much better than women's MMA. Oh, Rena looking for one big shot there at the end of the first round. It's too little, too late. End of the second round. Okay, guys, don't forget to vote in the poll question. And if your favorite kickboxing promotion isn't listed, feel free to comment in the live chat if you're going to vote on that one. Out of all of them, I, I, I voted for Rise. 
I just think overall they have the more talented roster. Glory definitely has like at the top the better guys, but the better heavyweights. Glory doesn't really have anybody. They have Glory has like heavyweights, light heavyweights, and everyone else is a super thin roster. Whereas I think Rise overall don't though they don't have the big boys or the big girls. They do have a more talented roster. K one getting better now that they're under new management or ownership or whatever. These last uh few events and and obviously crush being the extension of that as well pretty good but still uh still fairly new as far as being revamped into modern kickboxing scene obviously one championship doing good things as well but not really a deep roster yet for kickboxing all right round two let's get it on. hey no problem i figured it's super late out east man i appreciate you stopping by how are you enjoying the fight so far uh, alpha zeta Pink and green hair, no O'Malley. Uh, what have you done? <laughs> Two minutes and 34 seconds on the clock. Ooh, right hand by Rena. Straight left by Rena. And there you go. The, hey, I, I like these K1 rules as the... The judge warned Hiroka not to. If you're gonna clinch, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta box. You can't just hold on to your opponent. Two minutes on the clock. Nice left body shot by Hiroka. Left hand by Hiroka, but Rena lands a nice kick to the body. Good back and forth right now. Rena is landing the better shots and landing a little bit more. Oh, nice straight left by Rena, but Hiroka, she's in this. I just recently found out how to watch K1 and Rise. So I picked Glory. Hey, nice, nice. Hey, appreciate you voting, man. Ooh, a nice right hand by Rena in the pocket. And Hiroka lands a nice right hand as well, Hiroka. You can definitely see she has a karate background based on how many kicks is she spamming. And there's another one swinging to miss. Superman punch attempt there by Rena. Yeah, so even... <laughs> The freaking broadcast is still ripping on that second fight for the judges. So we weren't wrong, ladies and gentlemen. We weren't wrong. We all had uh, Yutaka winning, and the broadcast is still ripping on the judges for that decision. One minute on the clock in the second round. Oh, nice straight right by Hiroka. Hiroka ducking and lands that big right. This round is way closer than the first. First definitely went to Rena, in my opinion, but this second round could go either way. Time to get knocked out. Good body kick by Hiroka. Hiroka going for this. Yeah, and you can see she's got a karate background. I was going for the spinning heel kick. Straight left by Hiroka. Man, this play-by-play -play guy for K1... Again, legend. I've been in the sport for so long. He's so good. He's so good. Oh, nice right step in. Punch by Rena there, man. Oh, I got my volume on like the lowest level and I heard that one smack. All right, end of the second round. Good scrap, man. Good scrap. No lull in action at all. Oh, man. Hiroka almost landed that high kick. Oh, shit. She did kick her right in the nose, too. Honestly, I could see it being around a piece going into that third. I can see it being around a piece. There you go, there you go. <laughs> Broadcast asking us all to tell us how you're enjoying this event by going on X, telling us to use hashtags and everything. All right, third and final round. Again, I got a one apiece. Rena number one, Hiroka number two. Let me know your guys' thoughts in the live chat. Oh, round three. Oh, left and a right by Rena. Right off the bat, she comes out swinging. 
Hiroka, right hand, left hand by Hiroka. Double left by Rina. Rina's been on the back for the lot, though, throughout this fight. A nice high guard by Hiroka. Hiroka lands a right. Hiroka trying to just bully her way into the pocket there. And Rina, want, Rina wants to keep her on the outside, right? Rina wants to keep her on the outside. She's taller, lankier, has that reach advantage. And when she's managing the distance here, when she's controlling the distance, I should say, she that's what she did in that first round. She did a lot better as soon as Hiroka can get in the pocket. She's landing big shots. Two minutes on the clock. Look for that kick to the body again. That spinning kick is Hiroka. Oh, nice body kick by Rina. And Hiroka just yeah charges into the pocket there. They separate themselves from the clinch and ooh, couldn't fall through that spinning back fist was Hiroka. Back up against the ropes now in the corner is Hiroka. Hiroka with counter right. Eats a one-two by Rina. Outside Loki by Hiroka. Oh, high kick by Rina. Hiroka lands a right and a left, though. They clinch. Good job by the ref getting involved before they hit the mat. One minute, 25 seconds. I mean, this, this round is close, dude. And they each fall to the ground. I think they're each bleeding from the nose, too. Oh, nice step in left uppercut by Hiroka. Knockout mechanisms. Oh, nice right by Hiroka. Man, Hiroka, she's... Could Hiroka serve Rina her first loss? Oh, nice right hand by Rina. Hiroka with an overhand right. Rina with a nice right uppercut. They clinch again. Oh, spinning heel kick to the body and then duck and roll again by Hiroka. Two very skilled women here, man. This is a good fight. Oh, beautiful counter left there by Hiroka. Push kick again by Hiroka, but you can tell she's getting tired. She's getting tired. Left and a right by Rina. 22 seconds on the clock here. Man, I have no idea who's going to win this fight. Rina, undefeated star in Japan. They're probably going to give it to her, but... And already these judges are a little sus. But, uh, dude, close fight nonetheless. And they're swinging in the pocket, each of them. A kick to the body by Hiroko, and that is it, ladies and gentlemen. Bro, Dean is hurt. Oh, no. Dude, he's been a fucking band-aid all season, Mateo. That's unfortunate. Is it bad? Is it like the Wild ain't making the playoffs anymore bad? What's up, Mateo? Bro, if you want to watch this, it's free on Fight TV, by the way. All right, we're listening in for the official decision. So Rena got one round. One judge has it a draw. And Rena gets the second judge. And e even Rena was shaking her head there. I think she even realizes that that was that was too close for comfort. Rena wins this fight, but a very very close fight. So one judge gave it to Rena. One judge had it a draw, and then the the third judge had had it for Rena there. Because you can give ten tens, by the way, in kickboxing, we see it quite a bit. Seventeen and oh, seventeen and oh. Me could be anything from days to season ender. Oh shit! Did he take like a bad hit or a bad fall? Obviously, streaming kickboxing, so I haven't been able to watch much of the game. I, I watched like a little bit as it started, but I was prepping this. I'm watching the fights in window tab mode alongside stream. Feels like I'm watch my neighbor's TV TV through the curtains. <laughs> That's awesome, buddy. Again, I really appreciate you guys hanging out. Like. Mateo, this is going to, I hope not, but this might be like an 11 freaking hour stream, dude. Mateo, 25 fights. 
25 fights and we're only through seven of them. But kickboxing, three, three three-minute rounds, it goes by quick. Three screens nights are often. It's tough for me when I'm streaming because like I am, I, I can plug into my booster, but I can't plug into my modem because my modem is upstairs and this is my roommates. They own this house and they will not let me drill into the floors. I've asked. I was like, oh, I just need to drill just one hole here and I can run a wire all the way up. They're like, no. Fair enough. But again, the day I get my own place, I'll be able to plug into my internet and then I can have as many screen going as possible because it's not going to fuck up my connection. But if I get like a few more fights going at once, it's just too much loading. Especially because like everything in this house is like, they got Alexa on everything. So, so much internet's being used. Lauren threw him into the boards and then down the ice after he had moved the puck well before the hit dirty play. Oh, okay. So Hoppy texted me. Mateo, you're going to love this. Hoppy texted me and he said, for the thumbnail for, Sp for Judd's Buds, uh, Kalorn body slamming Brodeen. I was like, okay. Try our gym, though. That's a good gym. We might, we'll probably see a few more fighters. Uh, here we go. Oh, Canada, motherfucker. Oh, Canada. Let's fucking go, ladies and gentlemen. Usami Hyde Mason is from Canada. The only Canadian on this card. Where's my flag? Where's my flag? Let's go. Let's go. The only Canadian on the card. You better believe I'll be waving the flag for him. Let's go, motherfucker. Let's go. <laughs> oh, it's a small Canadian flag. Don't worry. I have a bigger American flag in my closet. Don't worry, guys. This one was just handy. This is the flag I took to the, the World Junior Championship in 2018. So it's got some sentimental value. Yo, yo, yo. Uh, Fight TV, buddy. Fight TV. It's free until the, the main card. A lot of Wi-Fi. Another Samuelson Neely. We're at Point though, Beckman too, and Gus shut up. Hey, did you listen to the Beckman interview? Um, dude, what an absolute beauty. I can't believe Hoppy asked him about shooting pucks into the garage. Let's go, Canada. Oh, Canada. There the nausea. Yo, what's up, phony? Staying up a little late with us, buddy. Appreciate you. All right, the former super welterweight champion, 34 fights, ladies and gentlemen, 24 wins, nine losses, eight knockouts up against the young and up-and-comer, half Japanese, half Canadian. He's undefeated, four wins, two knockouts, zero losses for, so we, got, we got a 1980 born against a 2001 Japan, ladies and gentlemen, Japan. Yes, sir. Dude's a fucking beaut. I didn't realize Bellator is in Belfast this weekend. Yeah, dude. Uh, it's going to be awesome. Friday, if I'm not mistaken, is Bellator. I always have to support my fellow hosers. Maple drinking or maple syrup drinking, pot smoking, plaid wearing, hockey playing hosers, ladies and gentlemen. Don Cherry would be proud. Can't sleep. Hey, well, watch a little bit of fights with us. Maybe that will help uh, help you drift off to sleep. Actually, no, there's no grappling because it's kickboxing, so none of us are going to go to sleep. <laughs> See you later, buddy. I'm watching on Twitch and talking to this Japanese guy. He says he doesn't like girl fights. Tell him to, tell him, uh, to stay clear women's MMA. <laughs> Let's go, the young Canadian. Oh, and they don't have to cover up their tattoos anymore. Bro, this is crazy. There's a, there's no Americans on this card. There's Brazilians. There's freaking, you know, let's take a look. Like, I was surprised to see that there was a Canadian. We got Russians, Germans, Chinese, Fran uh, French, Ukrainian, Moldovan, Thai, Italian, and one Canadian. Wow. 
22 years of age. The karate was his base before he switched to kickboxing. Hey, appreciate you, buddy. Yeah, it's cool that I'm I'm a mutt. I'm half Canadian, half American, and I'm very proud of of both. But I grew up in Canada, so definitely more Canadiana. But um, but my grandfather, who was the closest family member before uh, before he passed, you know, he was very much a proud American. So a lot of him rubbed off on me as well. Italia, let's fucking go. Oh, that's your background. Let's go. Uh, my uh, the co-creator of the channel, Kyle. Uh, he's going to he's going to Italy in a few months. Actually, and he's going to be vlogging the whole time. So he'll have some actually awesome videos uh, that he'll be posting on the channel. I'm guessing in June. All right, fight about to begin here, ladies and gentlemen. Let me just quickly update the ticker on the bottom of the screen. A very so sophisticated fighter is the Canadian, says the broadcast. Sixty percent Irish, thirty percent Sicilian, and ten percent German American. Let's go. I think my mom has a little bit of Irish and Dutch in her. She was uh, she's American. All right, round one. Let's go. My dad is as Persian as you can get, but he's been in Canada longer than he's been in Iran. So he's a proud Canadian as well now. A right hand by Shirasu, and oh. Knee, flying knee attempt on the entry, followed by a right hand by Usami. Usami, the young Canadian, a lot taller and lankier than Shirasu, but that experience by Shirasu, definitely going to play into factor here. Nice left hand by Usami. Usami with the push kick. I just love the diversity that we have on this channel. We got we got people from every every neck of the wood, people from all around the world as well, and that's what's so beautiful about this sport. Oh fuck no! <laughs> and he hasn't he hasn't been back since seventy nine. He escaped the revolution actually. Nice push kick by uh, by Usami. No, he was in the air about to land at JFK when uh, when Jimmy Carter cut ties with the Shaw, or, or when the Shaw wasn't even in power when he cut ties with Ayatollah, and then my dad wasn't allowed to enter the states, so he, he actually started his life in Mexico. He flew to Mexico and lived there for five years, and then came to Canada. One minute and 32 seconds on the clock. Canada kicking ass. Good sh body shots by the Canadian. No, someday I would love to visit it because the people and the culture are amazing, but the government is so fucked, dude. Fuck the Iranian government. Still just fucking killing women in the streets. It's ridiculous. But anyways, let's let's get back to some positive. Pause. Oh, nice counter right by Shirasu. But yeah, no, my dad is a hell of a story, and I, I like, he's my hero. I respect that man more than more than anyone. Fifty-one seconds on the clock. Oh, the Canadian, the Canadian with the left, the Canadian with a beautiful straight left knocks down Shirasu, and he's getting the count. Yeah, compared to the Ayatollah, he's a fucking saint, bro. Not perfect, but yeah. Oh, nice left by Usami again, and that hurt him in a right. Then the fight is over. The fight is over. Let's go. Let's go. Fuck yeah. Let's fucking go. Let's fucking go. Don Cherry is proud. Let's fucking go. Wow, get the motherfucking stretcher. He's just about to get a knock on the door in five minutes. <laughs> oh, I can tell my roommates, hey, look, there was a fucking Canadian fighting, okay? 
Wow. Good fight, man. And look, this guy, you know, he's he's quite a bit older, but he's had a long career. But hey, the young guy, he needs to get those fights. Get some fights against some experienced guys. This is his fifth professional fight in kickboxing. And his third knockout, or TKO. <laughs> Maple Strawn user for sure. AD all done. Canada wins second round knockout mechanism. Isha going off. Body bagging bodies. At least Canada can win in minor leagues because the big leagues is rough. It's like, unless hockey, bro. Don't. I'll give it. I'll give you guys credit. Your World Junior team did good this year. I won money on you guys. I knew you were gonna win because Canada didn't invite fucking Riley. Like, like, explain this to me, West Coast. Explain this to me. Why the fuck did Team Canada leave Riley Hyde off the roster? Makes no sense. Makes no sense. I think. I think Team Canada also bet on the Americans to win this year. So they were like, you know what? We're just going to keep Riley Height and Prince George. Let's fucking go. Let's fucking go. Hey, I'll hold you to that, West Coast, because when the when the Olympics roll around again, Canada's, Canada versus USA ice hockey is the best rivalry in sports. Good to see you, West Coast. I did not win the 893 million Mega Millions jackpot today. So unlucky. Damn, Sean. Sorry to hear that. But good to see you. 4-0 beating a 24-9 is super impressive. Isha waving the flag like a drunk Jay uh, folding his chair. <laughs> Nothing surprises me in Canada. Let's fucking go, dude. Only Canadian on the card. Proud of him. Proud of the young man. 22 years of age. Let's go. Hey, can't, can't blame me for supporting my own. And if there's American on this card, I, 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 got a, I got an even bigger American flag. How do you like that, West Coast? I got an even bigger American flag. That one, though, I brought to the World Junior Championship in 2018. My my ex and I went. She's a huge hockey fan as well. We spent the whole day meeting some of um, like the media there and some of the coaches for, I think it was, I think they played the Czech Republic. So we made a whole like day out of it, and uh, yeah, that was the little flag, the little dinky flag that I that I brought. Kid's pretty good, yeah. Excited to see him fight uh, some some better competition as he develops. Dude, the pacing to this is awesome, man. Let's go. All right, let me update the ticker on the bottom of the screen. Okay, well. Whether whether that fucking homie was Canadian or not, the fact that we got two not or two TKOs already on uh, on this card is awesome because I think in Rise we got a total of four four out of eighteen. Sean, I gotta check my numbers too. Sean, that and Brodeen's injured. Not a good day. Not a good day. Sean, you staying up all night with us again, like Rise? We might be here for another 10 hours. I got one of those badass flags to put on my truck. 2018 Chevy Silverado Midnight Edition. Oh, damn. That's nice. Oh, you, I, I, you're actually telling me about your truck. That's fucking sick. 6.2 liter. Let's go. What did I have on my car? Did I have any stickers or flags? No. I had some like brewery stickers, all fucking hipster and shit when I was in college. I got a little shitbox fucking uh, Subaru. I got it for a thousand bucks, a hundred thousand miles on it. Uh, 2008, I think it was Forrester. Got it for a thousand dollars, dude. And it was no issues. Actually, I bought it with like, um, there was like a computer short. Uh, the computer had a little, like, one of the chips had a short in it where. Um, it didn't affect the tr the transmission, but it like it would switch. It would cause it so because it's, it's a shitty little automatic. It would it would cause um, the transmission like delay a couple seconds, dude. It was a thirty dollar fix. So, hey, 
saving up for something a little better, saving up for either a truck or I don't know, some sort of four by four. Cause I, you know, I love camping and stuff, but uh, I'm just going to run that motherfucker into the ground. And then when I get like my, my nice, you know, vehicle that I'm going to have for a while, then I'll, then I'll slap some US of A stickers on that bad boy. Uh, when I was born, the NHL was 80% Canadian. In high school, it was 66%. Now it's 42%. US is 28%. We're catching up. We are inevitable. Oh, dude, 100%. I, I want there to be a rivalry in ice hockey um, between USA and Canada. I'd way rather have a like a, a healthy rivalry with the States than, than Russia as far as hockey goes. Sweden, they're both far bitch. So, in hockey, anyways, and, and Finland, they're the wild card. Like, especially in hockey, like some years, Finland steamrolls everyone in hockey. Those big fucking Viking ass motherfuckers. If they can skate and shoot, good night, Jim Kite. But uh, for the most part, yeah, Canada and the States dominate. Mega millions, almost a billion. Had a 2002 Mustang, got brand new, then had to sell it when the second kid was born. Subarus are badass. Love the one I had. I haven't had good luck with Subaru, so I was very tentative to buy uh, this one. I had a 2010 Forester that it was the only vehicle that I ever bought from a dealership. And it the engine blew up while I was on the highway the day after the warranty ran out. No joke. Just my luck. Um, but my dad has a out, uh, Subaru Outback and my mom has an Impreza. So the Subaru family and then like we didn't plan that shit. They just you know, got good deals on their respected cars. But um, you know what's funny? My my favorite car that I had in college, because again, I, I used to do a ton of camping guys, like a ton of Outback, like hiking and camping and stuff. I actually had this Honda Element, you know, that like cube it looks fucking kind of dumb on the outside, but there's so much space on the inside. So like I built like the sickest camping rig in that and cheap on gas at the time. I say at the time because I'm gas is expensive everywhere. That was a lot of fun. But yeah, no, like I said, this little Subaru shit box, it's gonna it's gonna last for a few more years for sure. Ooh, 2007 legacy, yeah. Oh yes, hundred percent, hundred percent. Got a Camry two years. With like 27k miles, uh, I might drive that for 10 to 15 years at this pace. Hell yeah. Yeah, my mom got a cross track dope car, just needs more power. And look at that. All this car talk just brought us right into the next fight. Let's freaking go. We got Remy Para. 15 fights, 14 wins, nine knockouts, one loss. I mean, it's Asaku Dojo. 36 fights, 27 wins, 10k. 10 KOs and nine losses. Man, they're both pretty young, but 2001 born. Man, we got some youngins on this card. All right, round one. Let's go. And Paras from France. We got France versus Japan up in this mouth. Decent kickboxers come out of France, but this Japanese kid is oh, already knocked him down with the left. Oh, he's going to deem it as a slip. Body kick by. Uh, Ashaisha. Ashaisha, by the way, walked out in the gi. What's up, JK? Good to see you too, buddy. What the fuck, bro? Uh, Clonopin, Tredazone, two Benadryl, two Beclofen, muscle relaxer, two IPAs, and two vape pens. I'll tell, I'll tell Tony Stark and Odin hello. Yes, please tell them I say hi. <laughs> oh my goodness. Could you imagine if I did all that on stream? My eyes would be drooping. <laughs> I'd be staring at this screen. Be like, where's the fights? Oh, shit, they're over there. Good to see you too, buddy. It's bedtime voice, yep. Then I was 21 in 2001. I was, what, eight? You'll be out cold uh, shortly. Tony Stark is coming back. They're back in the truck up for RDG, I imagine. They need to save the Marvel franchise. Hey, love you too, buddy. Thank you so much for stopping by. I'm impressed by Subaru. Zero dealer markups on like Toyota and Honda. Yes, that is true. Hondas used to be like that way, but now it's not like the old days. 
forgot to take out then. <laughs> Supers are reliable. <laughs> 30, got you, got you. Oh, some nice body kicks by Ashaisha. Oh, right and a left by Parra in the pocket. 45 seconds left in this first round. Again, big shout out to the, the live chat here, man. Absolutely buzzing here tonight. Appreciate you guys. Especially the later we go. I'm gonna need to talk, I'm gonna need to talk to people. Furthermore, during the intermissions. Ooh, axe kick attempt there by Ashish. Ashish with a nice right hand. Man, they're just thrown in the pocket here. Nice jab and a right hand by Para. Ooh, nice step back left by Para. Para with, eats a left kick, but Para with the left. Para was getting the better of Ashish in the pocket. Ooh, high kick by Para. They each exchange body kicks, but a good job by Ashish. He's, he's blocking that kick to the torso and that's it for the first round okay so Ashisha yeah he's 27 years of age damn it's three three wins two losses in his last five fights and he has two knockouts that in that time as well and five and own his last five for the uh, oh i was gonna say undefeated but he only has one loss oh para standing between rounds while the japanese fighters sitting on the stool here for whatever that's worth Oh, dude, these, they, dude, the broadcast team is incredible. The color commentary was catching uh, catching a little bit of audio there from Ashahisha, who was telling his corner that he was surprised at the power that Para possesses. Wow. Round two. Let's get it on. Heavy hands going to beat pillow hands. That's how it works in this sport. I mean, Para, he faced a lot of adversity early, but it seems like he's gauging his range. And actually, he should maybe starting to respect his power a little bit. Oh, Parra tried to land a knee. Hey, what's up, Sage421? Thank you so much for joining. How are you? Oh, pressuring him into the corner is Ashahisha. They're each exchanging some shots to the body there, but Parra just looks a little bit quicker as well. Counter left by Ashahisha. Oh, a nice right to the body by Ashahisha, but a counter left by Para. Dude, we got a fight here, ladies and gentlemen. We have a fucking scrap. Yeah, good fight so far indeed. Body kick by Ashahisha. Outside low kick by Ashahisha. Oh, and a left by Ashahisha. And clinching is Para. One minute and 40 seconds. Oh, high kick by Ashisha. Good job. Good job by Paro. He had his hands up there. That could have been nasty. Good pressure there by Ashisha. Again, he doesn't have the fastest hands, but he, he knows the assignment and he's picking his shots properly. Ara still has the speed advantage, but Ashahisha is not giving him any range at all. Push kick on the entry, double left jab. Good head movement. Head movement by Ashahisha. Two south paws. Ashahisha is switching up his stance. Ooh, body kick by Ashahisha. Man, it's been it's been really good, man. We've seen two TKOs and the rest have all been scraps. Do you know where to find it, Sage forty uh, four two one? It's on uh, Fight TV. There's a few more fights left on the free prelims before the pay per view starts. Twenty seven seconds on the clock, and 
I should you show on the entry there. And oh, some big shots by Para. Knee by Para. Double left jab by Para. Para utilizing the knee again. Para with not really a polished right hook, but it landed on the mark regardless. Final 10 seconds of this second round. And again, for everybody just joining, I appreciate you guys. Smash that like button if you haven't already. We're trying to get to 30 likes on the video. 30 likes on the video during this stream. I know we can do it. There's like 15 of you guys watching right now. If all of you smash that like button, well, she, we're halfway there. And again, if you guys are new to the channel, play-by-play, -play, commentary, reaction, but most importantly, live interaction with all your amazing folks in the live chat. So get your comments in the live chat. And again, why I'm whispering, why I'm going full ASMR up in this motherfucker is because it is almost 1 a.m. where I'm at right now. And I have roommates, and my goddamn office is right under them. So, <laughs> gotta be respectful. It's a Tuesday, but uh, we're gonna be here all night. And as you can see, I am buzzing. So we're gonna keep the energy levels up here, even though the volume is like down here. <laughs> I swear, I talk in a normal tone during the day. You can check the tape on some old streams. And I got it uh, first round for Para, second round for Ashahisha. Guys, let me know how you're scoring this one. Wow, that's cool. Good fights. Hey, Sage, yeah, it's free on Fight uh, TV for another... How many more here? It's free for another... Two more fights after this, and then we go to... Uh... Oh, wait, no. We We might even get more, guys. We might even get more. There might just be a break here. I'm not sure if the Rise versus K1 is for free, but I guess we'll find out. I got Jim at 6 a.m. at a boy, at a boy. I gotta get back into going to the gym earlier than later. The later I go, messes up my schedule. I like I like bright and early. A cup of coffee, a teaspoon of uh, or a tablespoon of peanut butter and honey, and just. Work out, come home, make a nice breakfast, and start the day. Hey, cheers. Oh, you're from Boston? Dude, one of uh, a guy I work with on my podcast is from Boston. We call him the mass rat because he never wants to come out and visit us. He's just like, ah, I'm, I'm always going to be, I'm always going to be a Boston guy. It's hard to get him out of that city, but he's a good guy. I didn't want to assume. I was like, your accent's either from Boston or uh, or Brooklyn. And again, I, and I don't mean that with any disrespect. It's just I, I couldn't tell on stream um, the last couple times. Usually go at 4.30 a.m. <laughs> Mass holes. How long are the intermissions? I got some brief cleanings to do. I'm not sure yet, but I imagine like at, at minimum 20 minutes, either 20 to 40 minutes. Hoping 20 minutes. Wow. Cool, man. I got to visit Boston eventually. Uh, the music scene there is unbelievable. We don't pronounce the as. Oh, nice left. Yeah, he he doesn't have a thick accent until he's got a few uh until he's got a few brewskis in him then then the full mass comes out. Ooh, high kick attempt by par. 49 seconds on the clock. Left hand by para. How are you guys scoring this third round? Sorry, I was reading, I was reading a little bit of the live chat there, so it's kind of one eye here, one eye there. Definitely. Oh man, this is close. They're each exchanging shots in the pocket. From what I've been seeing in this third, it's pretty close. But again, Ashahisha has been the one walking forward, pressuring Par, forcing him to counter. Oh, and nice left hand by Ashahisha. And Par's mouthpiece falls out, so they're just quickly uh, rinsing it there. If you're from the 617 area, record more Boston accent. Nice. That's like the more east you go in Canada, the more, the more newfie, the more newfie accents you hear, which I mean, most of them are just from Boston, right? Or well, not from Boston, but from Ireland, right? So like newfies and and Boston, newfies and Massels are actually like distant cousins. 
just like Quebec and Louisiana are like distant cousins. End of the fight, guys. Cause yeah, I got I got friends from uh, the Bayou who speak better French than my friends in Quebec. I say better, like just cleaner, nicer French than that Quebecois fucking shit. Tabernak de Calais. Been to Montreal and Toronto. Nice. Montreal's a beautiful city. I mean, Toronto's a nice city too. I just hate Toronto sports teams because I'm from Western Canada. So fuck the uh, Maple Leafs and the Blue Jays. Oh, Bruins Montreal game. Bruins Montreal. That would be unbelievable. What a rich rivalry from those two original six teams. And Ashahisha wins a uh, unanimous decision. I'm guessing first round Ashahisha, second round Para, third round Ashahisha. That's kind of, that's kind of how I was scoring that one. Yeah, dude, one one of the best rivalries in the National Hockey League. And that's what's so cool is uh, that's an upset. That one was way closer than uh, than this one. This one is so far. This has been the biggest like I don't want to say robbery, but like let's be honest, this guy won the fight. This one was way closer. Um, he was so good in the second round. It was pretty close in the first. It was pretty close from what I've seen in that third as well. But towards the end of it, anyways, Ashaisha was the one continuing to walk forward and apply pressure. And, you know, may maybe that's valued a little bit more in uh, kickboxing judging. Oh, power was favored. Oh, I got you. Oh, nice. Well, yeah, who's betting on this card here? Yo, what's up? Uh, so G223, so the prelims are free on Fight TV right now. Here, I'll hook you up with the link, buddy. And then um, and then the pay-per-view is later on. So here, let me let me send it to you. So right now they're they're showing like honestly, man, like I think seven or thirteen or fourteen of the fights for free on uh on fight TV. And then the pay-per-view is at 4 a.m. my time. So 5 a.m. Eastern will be the pay-per-view. So here's the pay-per-view. I'll send you the free link here in a sec, but here's the pay-per-view first. Ba -ba -ba -ba. And the prelims are here, my, my friend. No, no problem, dude. No problem. Thank you for stopping by. I really appreciate it, man. I was so happy when the Bruins won in 2011. Last time they won was when I was born in 1971. In the granite, because you're my friend, I'll say I'm happy that you are happy. I was downtown Vancouver when that happened. That was my senior year of high school. And I had to escape a motherfucking riot, dude. That was, it was honestly pretty terrifying. I mean, I was 17 years old and it went from everyone hugging each other, sad, oh, we'll get them next year to some asshole lighting a cop car on fire, somebody breaking a window. And like, it went from like the mob mentality. Like I saw it, like I saw people's eyes like turn red and they just like fucking went nuts, dude. It took us about 30 minutes to hail, hail a cab because I, I lived on Vancouver Island. I didn't live in the city. And Vancouver Island's huge. There's about a million people on the island. Um, you have to take like a two-hour ferry there. And so we were just trying to get out of the city so we can catch the last ferry. And we couldn't catch a cab because the whole downtown was shut down. Like the fucking army came, man. There was tanks and shit rolling in because um, they had to just keep everyone there. There was no exit plan because um, no one expected this to happen which is on the city of Vancouver for not expecting this to happen. But, you know, all these young kids watch the videos of the 1994 Vancouver Canucks team who lost and city rioted. And yeah, man, it took us about half an hour of just like trying to flee the downtown, me and two buddies until we hailed down a van cab. And no joke, I told the, well, when we hopped in, a bunch of dudes came out of it with baseball bats and balaclavas and just like, Wah! And uh, I told the cab driver, I was like, yo, take us to the Horseshoe Bay Ferry Terminal. And he said, thank fucking God, let's get out of this city. And uh, it was nuts, man. I, I had friends who were stabbed. Uh, this one girl I know, she got trampled on in her whole, like she has metal face plates now. Like it was, 
it was hardcore, man. But um, shout out to the Vancouver PD. They ended up arresting every single person that they caught on CCTV and or uh, picture evidence like from, that like showed up on Google and social media. They, ar- they arrested no, wh- whoever needed to be arrested and charged those who were just like, you know, deserve charges um and i think that was 2019 when they officially like closed the case and, and got everybody even the mayor's kid went to jail celtics will win the championship this year I'm not a huge hoops guy how so they're doing good they're doing good 53 i feel like i'm 33 no joke out of boy i keep saying that out of boy even though you're older than me my apologies that's just one of my phrases um that's awesome and i hope that when i'm 53 i still feel like I'm, I'm, I turned 31 in like two weeks, actually. Yeah, that was a heated rival when Vancouver uh, bit Bergeron's finger. Uh, I just gave the link, buddy. I just gave the link. You can find it for free here, my dude. Yeah, that was nuts. Best two teams in that year, dude. Tim Thomas coming out of the fucking woods of Minnesota to win his team a Stanley Cup. And Milan Lucic was a young cat playing for Boston. Yeah, that was... I mean, Chara was mucking it up. Yeah, I got to be careful with Mob Ventale. Fuck Vancouver. That's wild, dude. My son's on an internship with the Celtics. Dude, that is so cool, man. That is so cool. I probably would have been a hoops guy if uh, the Grizzlies didn't move. Oops. Okay, apparently this is the best fight on the prelims. Oh, dude. He's a little bit of a head case, but all all good goalies in the National Hockey League are a little bit of a head case. Like, I mean, Mark andre Fleury's a little weird too, and look at what he's done, right? Patrick Waugh may be the most, like, crazy motherfucker ever, and he's one of the best goalies of all time. 70 players in Massachusetts last year. Nice. Uh, your son? Dude, that's awesome, eh? Tell him the City Life Project wishes him all the best in his uh, in his sport career, future endeavors, man. All right, I'm just going to update the ticker on the bottom of the screen here. We'll get back to it. We got Luca Sichetti, who is the Waco Pro World 2 Division Champion up against the 6th Crush Super Bantamweight Champion out of Japan. Bro, the pacing. Again, I can't raise K1 enough for the pacing, man. I thought this was going to be 11 hours. Now, again, assuming the intermissions don't like... Don't delay us. Don't make up all this ground that, that we've had. Uh, all right, round one. Let's get it all. No, I know. That's what's crazy. He was like mid until that fucking seat. But that's all it takes, man. It, it just takes one good goalie to, to put his team on his back. Dude, of course. Always, brother. Like I said, we're a community here. We help each other. We help each other and we support each other. All right, let's 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 turn our attention to this fight, which is billed as one of the best prelims on the card, and they're already throwing high kicks each. Bro, this Italian is yoked, man. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Body kick attempt by... Sech- Sech- oh, my God. How do I pronounce his name? Cecchetti? Sech- Oh, outside low kick by Chichetti and Kumura with a one-two. Chichetti, okay. That was close, that was close. Front kick by Chichetti. Inside low kick by Chichetti. Bro, Chichetti's been hanging out with Paulo Costa. And I'm not saying that as a diss. If anything, I respect that. Oh, big body kick by Chichetti. Body kick by Kimura. Kimura definitely lighter on his feet, but Chiquetti, you can tell he's got that power, man. You can tell he's got that power. 10 KOs in 44 wins, 5 losses, 22 wins, 11 knockouts. He's got some power too, does Kimura. Only 6 losses. Oh, a nice left to the body by Kimura. Yeah, Robert Whitaker said that was the best version of Costa. Get knocked the fuck out. Let's go, AJ. You need a hot goal in Stanley Cup hardest team. 
sport uh, trophies to win. Let's go. Dude, the Stanley Cup, it's one of the best tournaments in all sports. No weights and uh, fighting, body weight training. I, I always just tease that because he's got his whole secret juice thing, right? Which is amazing. And apparently it's going to be like an energy drink now. 42 seconds on the clock. Inside low kick by the Jetty. The Jetty with a nice counter left hook. Oh, AJ, he, I, I got you, brother. I got you. Ooh, swing and a miss on the high kick by Sachetti. Sachetti with the inside low kick. Kamura throws it right back at him. Kamura definitely has a little bit of the speed advantage. Him coming in and out of the pocket and throwing those kicks, but Sachetti's still in this, man. If anything, Sachetti might even have might have squeezed out this round based on the leg kicks. Oh, high kick by Kamura. And that is a good display of respect as they touch gloves there. I got this secret juice. <laughs> Dude, well, and like he's become like a meme on, on Twitter, which is amazing. He's my favorite MMA account to follow, or one of my favorite MMA accounts to follow. Wait, by the way, I know I'm going off on a tangent here. What the fuck happened to Corey Sanhagen's Twitter account? Did it get hacked? Or did he sell it? It's now like a a a woman's or like a mother's products account. Like uh I say mother's products. It's like baby shit. No joke. Like Sanhagen's account is not Sanhagen's account anymore. He either got hacked or he sold it. Locked in, baby. Uh, what's up, buddy? Good to see you. One championships kickboxing is great. They do have some awesome, awesome kick. They do have some awesome kickboxers. Eh? My only critique is it's not a very deep the roster's not very deep on the kickboxing side. They definitely have more um, more of a deep Muay Thai roster, but no, you're totally right. And I knew someone was going to write that in, which is why I didn't put it on the, the poll. So thanks, buddy. Sanhagen or Uma were on that belt. Dude, I love Corey Sanhagen, man. Oh, oh my goodness. Sashetti with a knee, with a jumping knee, and it landed, bro. Kamara just ate that. Kamara throws a high kick of his own. Round two, by the way, guys. Dude, this, this was billed as one of the best prelims, and it's delivering so far. This is a tremendous fight. Super technical. Not, not a brawl by any means. This is super technical, and every shot that they throw, intent to hurt. Oh, body kick again by Kimura, but Shisetti lands a one-two. Shisetti with the inside low kick. One good awesome kickboxing. That's what one should stick with Muay Thai and kickboxing. Good look, guys. Commentator mentioned my city in the first round. No way. Let's go. Dude, the broadcast for this event is nothing short of spectacular. 4K. And the color commentator and play-by-play, -play, I mean, absolute legends. And Kamara's lead left leg is starting to bruise. Very tight high guard, but it's a chetty. Oh, Kamara with the left and the right. And again, Chetty, he, he telegraphed that. Nice. AJ's been able to watch sweep. One minute and 18 seconds. Man, did Jay Smooth go to bed? I texted him. I said he could jump on and hang out for a bit, but I think he might have gone to bed. Body kick by Sachetti. That's great. They're doing a good job for K1. Oh yeah, dude, this is this is spectacular. I'm I'm so blessed. So blessed to be able to watch these tremendous fights and hang out with you guys. Seriously. I'm getting, I'm getting goosebumps just saying that, man. For me. This is what life's all about, man. I love this sport. I love hanging out with the homies here. I don't have a real job. You know, I do freelance work so I can have time to watch fights, baby. 35 seconds on the clock. He's body kick by Kamara. Look at the body of Sachetti, man. It's from asking the Discord. Is the attendance full? It seems like it. It seems like it, yeah. 
for the first few fights, no, but it's starting to fill up. It's hard to see because like the, the Japanese like dim or for this arena anyways, they they and I guess in Ryzen as well, they they dim a lot of light uh, a lot of the lights around the ring. But it looks pretty fucking full from the shots that I've seen. Oh I kick up by Kamura right at the bell. Man, that both of these rounds are hard to score. I mean, I could see Sachetti winning round one. I could see Kamura winning round two. What do you guys think? Jay never misses a promotion. He needed a night off. No, fair enough. No, and that's why I said if he just wanted to hang out for, for a few fights. Sandy, what's up? Good to see you. Sandy, how awesome has this card been thus far? Like... We're not even halfway done it yet. We've seen some TKOs. We've seen some excellent brawls. And the reason I'm whispering like a fucking crazy person right now is because my roommates are right above my office. And it's a Tuesday at 1 a.m. right now. And they already think I'm fucked in the head for watching as much combat sports as I do. So that's why I'm whispering. But it's good to see you. Glad you were able to take the sick day to watch this tremendous event. I mean, 4K Awesome broadcasting, amazing fights thus far, and we're not even on the the rise versus K1, let alone freaking tournament yet. So, thanks for stopping by, Sandy. Really appreciate it, Sandy. One of my friends on Twitter, by the way, for everyone who's uh who wants to know in the live chat here. Two minutes and fifty five seconds on the clock, and Sandy, I was saying, Sandy's like, let's get it all. Out of all my, you know, the combat sports uh, folks that I interact with on Twitter, she's the biggest J Kick fan out of all of us. Oh, big body kicks by. So Chetty early. Chetty looking for that high kick. Swing and a miss by Kimura. Yes, yes. I uh, I did go to university. Just working the AM. This is the first one he hasn't covered in four years. He needs a night off. Two minutes and 22 seconds on the clock. Ooh, high kick attempt there by Shachetti on the walk-in. Shachetti with the right. Swing and a miss. Counter right by Kimura. I'll get to the rest of you guys' comments here in a sec. I'm just, I am dialed into this third and final round. No, I know in the grand, I was, he was just, we were texting earlier. That's why uh, I told him I'd text him once it started, but hey, I, he needs to get his sleep, man. Just like I need to get my sleep eventually. <laughs> no worries. I'm glad one of us were able to do this. Divide and conquer, right? Body kick by Kamara. Counter right by Kamara. Shisetti now wearing some damage. Bleeding from his nose. Knee again by Kamara. Shisetti looking like... Er, Shichetti. 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 Oh, Shichetti, he's brawling now. As he needs a knockout, I think. He's getting desperate here. He's fighting desperate right now. Up the pace a little bit, gets hit with a left jab by Kimura. Kimura's still light on his feet, despite Kimura taking a lot of damage to his legs, his body. He's landed some clean shots to the head as well, but just will not go down. Chiquetti, high kick, and Kimura with a counter shot to the body, man. Oh my god, man. Chiquetti's eating shots from that left jab. Outside low kick by Chiquetti. Dude, Kamara might be one running away with it with this third in this third and final round. Yeah, we saw uh we saw Rena fight. She won a close, close decision. 23 seconds on the clock, and Sachetti, he has a pretty nasty cut under his left eye. Straight left jab by Kamura. Dude, Kimura's a motherfucker here because Sachetti is no joke. Oh, step back right by Kimura and then a knee. What a finishing sequence. Another right hand by Kimura. Bending ovation for these guys. Slow clap, slow clap. Wow. Props to both of these fighters, man. Props to the Japanese kid and props to this uh, Italian vet, man. They... They put on a hell of a show. That was a tremendous fight. Uh, how do you grade tension kickboxing? Well, he's one, he's one of the best in Japan. 
His boxing is bad, but his kickboxing is, is one of the best. Okay, one judge has it a draw. One judge has it for Kimura. And Kimura gets the second judge. I respect one judge given given it a draw, but I do think Kimura narrowly won that second round and he won that third. Oh, amazing display of respect. Kimura goes up to him, pointing at him, telling the crowd to cheer, puts his glove up and uh and Chiquetti, you know. Oh, and Kimura going to uh, Chiquetti's corner as well. To talk to him as well. I mean, yeah. That's what I love about this sport, man. That's what I love about this sport. But yeah, I did. I did. I, I was in university for way too long, dude, and then ended up dropping out to start a media company, which did well. And I ended up leaving the media company four years, four years after I was involved. And now I'm doing, now I'm doing all this. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's why for one championship in the morning, it's been tough for me. College was a waste of my money. I would say overall, I wasted a lot of money in college too. But I will say, if I didn't gain the skills that I gained there, which I probably could have found, you know, elsewhere. But to play devil's advocate, I uh, I did learn a lot that I directly apply to my work today. So I wouldn't be in this position. I wouldn't have started my last company. I wouldn't have made some of the relationships in life that are really dear to me if i if i didn't go so i mean at the end of the day it was worth it now am i still paying off student loans and probably will for the rest of my life yes but whatever let's go tally both guys are dogs aj saying robbery pizza pizza with nothing Another iced coffee. Sativa's hitting hard. Yeah, I'm. I have. Uh, I'm off the the cannabis for a few weeks. Because so. with me, it's like when I have it, I just, I just use it, and it's not like I'm like fucking chain smoking joints or anything like that. It's just like you know, like if it's there, I'm, I'm gonna use it. Yeah. Um, so every now and then, I just I need a break. I need to clear my head, clear my lungs. Um, I like the tolerance to go down a bit, and then and then when I but then when I use again, it's like okay, yeah, it's. I don't want to say worth it. It's just, it's a better experience for me, I guess, is what I'll say. So, taking a little breaky poo, and you know, it, I'm very very stingy with my budget, and if I am, you know, if I blow through it a little too quickly, then I'm I'm not gonna, you know, that that's that's my that's my cannabis budget for the month or two months, and you know, I'm I'm self disciplined in in that sense. So, I'll probably need to be off of it for a month or two, I think, until my until my. Uh, Roommate's bachelor party. Then we're going to fucking go hard. I'm all about networking. You should building huge businesses. Draw was crazy. Doctorates are past the bar exam? <laughs> Neither. My sister's a, my sister's a doctor, though. Not a doctor. She's a doctorate. Yeah, she's wicked smart. My, I have two siblings. I'm the oldest. I feel like the youngest because they're like so accomplished in life and <laughs> super well respected in their, you know, respected fields. And then there's me, you know, I'm like the black sheep of the family, the brown sheep, I guess, since I'm Persian, right? But you know, I, I kind of just take the road less traveled by. I'm the only one who dropped out of school. But I'm the only one who's with a business partner and a dear friend of mine started a company. So. How do you like that, siblings? Pizza, pizza with nothing mean loss, no beet or veggies on the pizza pie. <laughs> oh man! All right, again, the pacing of this card is spectacular. Let's get right to the next one. All right, how many fights are left? One, two. 15 fights left on the card, ladies and gentlemen, and we're just getting started. We're just getting started. 
You should buy a quarter pound a month on early retirement disabilities, believe it or not. Looking for a place in Thailand, South America, but in West Quincy my whole life. Quincy, can, Quincy City connected to Boston. Nice. Yeah, I want to go to Thailand um, and just like, I want to I want to do two months of like training and two months of partying. And like oh, partying slash, I shouldn't say partying. I should say seeing Thailand, divulging in some of the culture, drinking drinking my fair share of Chang beers, but also going to a lot of Muay Thai events, going to Lupini, going to Rajam Damdern. Oh, fuck, I totally messed up. Going to an RWS show. Raj Dem Darn. That's that's how it's pronounced, right? Um, going to a few stadium shows and then doing like two months of uh, just training, finding, going to a couple gyms. And so, uh, and so I come back in like the same, you know, this the same health. I'll, I'll go there, get in shape, get some training done, and then piss it all away, <laughs> drinking Chang beers. And, probably smoking cigarettes even though i don't even smoke cigarettes but i figure hey if you're in Tha if you're in thailand you might as well and uh, and go to some stadium series shows looking at houses twenty thousand on the water six months a year six months in america dude that would be amazing brother that would be amazing no i have some like friends who are who do kickboxing and muay thai and they just love thailand man all right, so we have Hayato Suzuki. 25 fights, 16 wins, 10 knockouts, 8 losses up against Alonza Ablaz. 62 fights, 52 wins, 13 knockouts, 10 losses. Both of them born in 1990. So what, 33, 34 years of age? Uh, once son is done college, like we did for our daughter, Tiger Muay Thai, Fair Tech, Fair Tech's gym. Oh, there's another big one that opened recently. That'd be cool to go take some classes at. All right, round one, ladies and gentlemen. In Arabe against Suzuki. Leg kick by Arabe. Suzuki with the body kick. Straight right jab by Suzuki. Suzuki definitely has the reach advantage. I mean, look how long the legs of Suzuki are compared to Arabe. Oh, nice kick by Arabe to the body there. Was looking to go high, but landed right underneath the shoulder. Two minutes and 18 seconds on the clock. Oh, yeah, way cheaper there. Two minutes on the clock. Yeah, dude, I've actually done a couple streams for kick for Fairtex kickboxing. And that uh, Petch one, the one with the green diamond, I've done a couple of those as well. Forgive me, I forget how to pronounce the whole name. But no, Fairtex promotion is actually awesome, man. There's some great fights, and they're all free on YouTube, which is cool. All Muay Thai, yeah, it's awesome. Oh! Spinning back was attempt by Arape. One minute, 39 seconds on the clock. Double right jab by Arape. Inside, look good. Yeah, I'll do what I can to your clips for sure. I think there's only two more fights until the next intermission. Dude, Arabe's a dog, man. Outside low kick by Arabe. Left and a right by Arabe. Outside low kick by Rob, and he drops Suzuki with the low kick. He drops Suzuki with the low kick, and he's getting the standing eight count. Inside low kick by Rob. Man, Rob is destroying the calf. And I'll get you guys' comments after this round. 50 seconds left in Suzuki now. He's just trying to pull the trigger here. Because he knows he can't, he can't last too much longer if that leg kick's going to continue to get absolutely ripped apart here. 35 seconds on the clock. Swing and miss with that left hand by Suzuki. But you can tell he's lost a lot of his mobility. Oh. Oh my god, dude. That lead right leg is messed up. And oh! A nice right hand by Suzuki drops Arabe. They each have a knockdown. 
Wow. And Suzuki pouncing right at him. Oh, my God. Runs right at him, dude, like a fucking Chelsea Chandler. Sorry, Chelsea Chandler runs away from people. That is it for the first one. What an exciting first round that was. The intermission is... Um, oh, after this, we should have uh, our first intermission. After this, so we'll go, we'll go over uh, the rest of the card after this, and I'll give some predictions for sure. Absolutely, buddy. Thailand is cheap. You could live a good life there with money. Yep. I fought amateur boxing for charity too. Running seven water tunnels in Massachusetts took up to 18 years of my life. Yeah, you were telling me about that on the last stream. Do you think Kung Lee would be champ in kickboxing now or Muay Thai? He's getting old, man. He's getting old. Maybe in his youth or when he was a little bit younger, but he was he was so good. Kung Lee. Definitely. Well, I mean, if he's facing younger, like up and coming competition, then maybe no. But like if he faced guys around his own age, then I think he would definitely be competitive. Nice. You watch Fairtex as well, sweet. No, I, I know, buddy. I know. I just want to let you guys know that I, I am going to read them all. So I appreciate you guys staying up with me. All right, round two. Let's get it all. Dude, Suzuki is all gas, no brakes right now because his leg, his calf, you can see like there's, it's so swollen. There's like veins popping out of it right now. And Suzuki looking for, oh my goodness, Suzuki with the entry with a nice right knee. Suzuki pushing off of Arabe with that right forearm. Oh, nice left by Suzuki. Dude, Suzuki has the dog in him. Step back right by Arabe. Bro, Arabe has visibly slowed down, says the broadcast. And it is true, man, because the pressure that Suzuki's putting on him right now is insane. Oh, Suzuki cracked him. Suzuki cracked him with a straight right. Suzuki cracked him with a straight right. Arabe desperately trying to clench a nice knee by Suzuki. Ref warns him, says you cannot drag him down in the clinch and, and knee him. What a round, dude. And a left and a right by Arabe. Arabe, man, his punches have slowed down tremendously. Tried to throw a high kick there, and Suzuki with a knee to the body and a left jab. How oh, is Suzuki still standing, let alone beating the piss out of Arabe right now? Knee to the body again, left and a right. Arabe wobbling. Arabe takes another left. Arabe's got to keep his hands up, man. One minute and 30 seconds on the clock. Ref separates. Suzuki thought he was going to get an eight count there. <laughs> Can Suzuki keep up this pace though, man? He's going to slow down eventually too. And he just ate two shots by Arabe. God damn, dude. What is going on here? What a fight. One minute, 10 seconds on the clock. Oh, a nice right to the body on Suzuki. Dude, Suzuki's slowing down too. I think he might have just blown his load. I mean, what? <laughs> Oh, big left to the body by Arabe. Another big left to the body. Dude, Suzuki's gassed. Suzuki's gassed. He took another big shot by Arabe. Suzuki saying, come on, let's go. What a crazy fight, man. What a way to close off this portion of the card, too. <laughs> Three minutes and, or sorry, 34 seconds on the clock. Uh, Ty Fight League is on YouTube, yep. Senjai's uh, promotion is also on, on YouTube. Most of like those really, really good Ty promotions are on YouTube. I mean, other than RWS, a lot of the stadium shows uh, are for free. Man, this is only round two. Oh, another outside low kick. Another low kick, another, he's just spamming them in the clinch, and that is it for the second round. Didn't that feel like a third round? Didn't that feel like a third round? Hey, man, thank you so much for staying up with us. Yeah, it's like 2 a.m. where you're at right now. Have a good night. Thank you for all the support, and uh, loved your new videos, man. And Kyle says the same. Uh, Kyle's going to be posting a lot more music content soon, so I'll definitely uh, let you know when, when that drops. Thank you for all the support, buddy. Appreciate you. The one fighter that guy told me to take is a plus 330. I don't know if it's a good one. 
All right, we'll, we'll, we'll go over them. We'll go over them. TIE Fight League is insane on Sunday mornings. Age might be a problem, but he has the skill. Discombobulated. Robbie got caught. Suzuki's a savage. Best fight so far. Leg kicks. Damn. Yeah, dude. Alpha Z is in college, so he's probably got a big day tomorrow, especially in exam season. It's exam time for everyone in university right now. All right. Round three, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get it on. That last round felt like the third round, the way that, you know, because they're both so labored right now. Oh, and a left. A left by Suzuki. He got the knockdown. He got the knockdown. Fuck, I wish I could yell right now. I wish it wasn't 1.18 a.m. That's the second knockdown on Arabe, first one in the third round. Dude, Suzuki's corner apparently is just screaming at him to finish the fight. Good job by Suzuki keeping that high high guard as Arabe almost tagged him with the knee. Man, this is this is just unbelievable. Like how blessed are we to watch K1? Fucking on a Tuesday, ladies and gentlemen. Right hand by Suzuki, man. They're both so tired, but they're both just savages throwing shots here. Left of the body by Arabe. A right and a left of the body by Arabe. Arabe utilizing that right jab, but he continues to spam leg kicks. Suzuki, man, how is he standing on that right leg? This is insane. Dude, Suzuki trying to get into the pocket there. They're both so tired. One minute, 33 seconds on the clock. Each of them just pure heart right now. And Suzuki, like he definitely tried to finish it in the first. But if Suzuki can survive this round, he will win this fight. Because that's an automatic 10-8. A left by Suzuki. How is Suzuki walking how is he putting any pressure at all on that right fucking leg, man? Pain is temporary, yep. Oh, he's going to feel that leg tomorrow morning. Oh, nice left by Suzuki. Left hook by Suzuki, I should say. 45 seconds on the clock. Suzuki desperately clinching right now. Ref in there right away to separate them. Yorabe's hands are low. Right and a left by Yorabe. Oh, Yorabe landed a big left hand on Suzuki. Suzuki's got a chin. Yorabe landed huge left hands there and couldn't knock him down. There was a slip there by Suzuki. Doesn't, it's not going to count as a knockdown. Oh, nice right uppercut by Yorabe. Yorabe still got a little dirty boxing left in him. A left by Suzuki. This is incredible. This is unbelievable, ladies and gentlemen. Final 10 seconds of the fight. And that is it. Fucking shit, ladies and gentlemen. Suzuki, take a fucking bow, sir. I mean, both of them are warriors. Shout out to Urabe as well, but Suzuki took so much damage and still was able to drop his opponent in the third round. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. And Suzuki's the first one to the center of the ring. After all of that, he's the first one to get there. Wow. Alright, one judge giving it to Suzuki. You have to give it to Suzuki, man. He got that. He got the 10-8 in the third. Yeah, he's going to win this unanimous decision. Yeah, let's go. What a fight. What a fight, man. What a fucking fight, bro. Great display of respect as they each bow to each other here. Man. Savage. Dude, I have goosebumps right now, man. I have goosebumps. His leg's going to hurt for a week. It's a little early, but this may be fight of the night. So far, this is fight of the night. We can all agree in the live chat. So far, right? We'll, we'll pin it right now as fight of the night. Let's see. So this has just set the bar. 
This has just set the bar. Wow, dude. Unbelievable. Honor is off the charts, dude. Look at his leg. Oh my god, his calf is destroyed, brother. Okay, the prelims are continuing. Oh, guys, I'm so excited for this next portion on the card. I'm so excited for this next portion on the card. So there's going to be a little bit of a break, but the prelims will continue. So they're still going to be free for you guys until 4 a.m. Until 5 a.m. Eastern, you guys get to watch free motherfucking fights with us. So there's going to be a little bit of a break here because we got K1 versus Rise next, ladies and gentlemen. Saturday, a good portion of the Rise card was K1 versus Rise. And now we get to see it again. K1, by the way, ended up winning the competition in Rise 3-2. to two. Let's see if Rise can, uh, can tie it up here. They both dug deep, yep. Dude, look at the emotion on Suzuki. Oh, man, like, he can barely walk down the stairs, but he's just like... <laughs> Oh, I fucking love this sport, ladies and gentlemen. I love this goddamn sport. Clearly, I'm like the only MMA YouTuber who's still up watching kickboxing at 2.30 a.m. Eastern. Let's fucking go. Oh, yeah, he's limping hard, man. John Jones limp. Um, all right, so we got a little bit of an intermission here. So yeah, let's take a look at uh, some of these next fights coming up here as we are in intermission. Well, this one says break, not intermission. So it's going to be a shorter break than the, the actual intermission. But in the K1 president who... Kind of looks like a young Saki Kabara son, just, just a little bit, except he's not wearing the black suits and bow, bow tie. Oh, Curtis, I thought I gave you the link earlier, buddy. On Fight TV, man. Um, 15 of the, or no, 16 of the 25 fights are for free. Do they make good money, uh, Japanese kickboxing? I mean, they're not making like boxer money in the united states or like ufc money but they make enough money that they can do this as a career and then a lot of them are like famous influencers as well right like even ren hiromoto who now is in rise and as an mma fighter um when he was doing when he was in he was in k1 or crush if i'm not mistaken but anyways he's like so famous he's more famous as being like a, a fighting icon um, for being like the a bad boy of Japan with his like neck tattoos and shit, then then he is even a, a fighter because he's like he's an okay fighter, like he's good, he's not elite, um, but he's like like cult famous, um, if that makes sense. He's got like a cult following. He's got like an you know all all the heartthrob uh, <laughs> women in Japan love him. So yes and no. Like if you if you're not going to promote yourself outside of the ring i don't think you can make too too much money but uh but you can definitely make a living i like for my second channel just started oh appreciate you buddy i think i liked your stream from both of my i'm only really active on two channels my uh soda pod and this one but uh, rush city once we get to 200 subs i'll be on that uh i'll be on that all the time Dude, you're the man. It's 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 awesome. To have we have a we have a cool crowd in the in the live chat here tonight. Okay, let's go over some of these fights coming up next. So we just went over this one. So Yutamatsu Yama against Haraguchi, twenty year old against twenty four year old. On his last fight at Rise, oh, he has a nice right hook. Oh, she's got a nice right hook. Yuta Matsuyama. Oh, so it's fun. Oh, shit. Okay. Uh, I am going to pick 
Matsuyama out of those two. Shoki Kaneda versus Daike Toida. Oh, I've actually seen Toida fight a couple times before. He's 28. Yeah, it, this, this is literally the fight that I saw. Beautiful, beautiful knockout in the second round. He's only 24. Oh, shit. He's actually really good. He's taking out some legit guys. And you found the Grand Prix before as well. Uh, I'm leaning towards Shoki as well. Um, who's the best pound for pound kickboxer? Well, I mean, Super Lek just beat Takeru, so no. <laughs> um, probably. What, Gregorian or. I mean, Petrosian hasn't fought in a little while. Gregorian. I mean, Takeru was up there. But again, Superlek just beat him. So, like, what does that say about Superlek? Um, who's pound for pound? I mean, Ursel has to be up there, right? Regan Ursel? Oh, Superlek, I think, would uh, would win that one. I think Superlek would still win that one. Just... Man, the, the Japanese kickboxers, they're super like, like the way that they, that their stances, the way that they are, the way that they fight stylistically is just, it's perfect for how super like fights. And that's one of the reasons why Takeru beat him. A lot of them have more power than the ties, but if super like can rip apart your legs early, you have nothing to push off of. Alazov, yeah, Alazov. I would say Gregorian. Alazov, yeah, how, how could I forget Alazov? Ursel. I think you, you have a you have an argument for any uh, all three of them. But again, I'm I don't follow the kickboxing scene as much as I do the global MMA scene. So I'm like, I'm the wrong person to ask. So if anyone's like watching this right now or re-watching this, like comment in the live chat and correct me. But probably Alazov, no. Um what what is uh, I'm sure the pound for pound ranking is is available, but because I've only really started watching a lot of um, like Crush and and Rise like regularly. Before then, I, I admittedly mostly watched this one championship. Let's see the kickboxing pound for pound. I mean, I Verhoeven. I'm I'm sorry. Like I I don't. Um, I don't put him in that conversation just because he's been he's been given easy path to victories. Okay, so Alazov is the pound for pound, um, according to Beyond Kickboxing. Super Bon is number two. Toki Tamaru is number three. Actually, you know, I'll just share this on screen. Why not? All right, so we got Alazov, Super Bon. Maru's one, two, three. Oh, how could I forget about Donna, uh, Donovan Weiss? Yeah, there's Gregorian. Bro, Chad Collins just got his ass beat over the weekend by this young guy. Patch is still... I don't think Patch should be in the top 10, but super lick my man. Let's fucking go. This He is my favorite fighter on the planet right now kickboxing mma more like out of all combat sports super lick is my is my guy nabati um can't say i'm super familiar to be perfectly honest but let's take a look let's take a look let's see fuck he's young still eh Oh, bro, he's legit. He's undefeated. So he's 20 wins, zero losses, and seven wins by knockout. And he was on the last two one Friday fights. So I imagine he's one fight away from winning a contract. Oh, he beat Pong Siri too. Wow. Dude, he's legit. Oh, I totally know who this guy is, man. Sorry, I didn't know him right by name. I totally know who this guy is. Yeah, 
man, he's beaten some fucking good names. Beaten Kromov, beaten Gafeng, Yapong Siri, beat Avatar in his last fight. Two decisions, though, but he did beat uh, Thorphone via spinning heel kick. Yeah, no, he's legit. He's still he's still really young. Oh, dude, he's so good. And, and, and he was fighting in the heavyweight division, bro. He was fighting in the heavyweight division. He's going to be in the light heavyweight Grand Prix coming up here, and he's going to absolutely destroy. What's up, Arm? It's good to see you. Super like his all-action must-see TV. Yeah, he's one of my favorite fighters. Yo, what's up, American Savage? Good to see you, buddy. I like the light heavyweights in glory. Yep. Super like is a savage. Absolutely. Dude, American Savage. Thank you so much for joining, buddy. Appreciate you. Okay, here we go. The break is over. The cold open just started. Um, here we go. Bro, I love this. The pacing to this is is unbelievable. I was scared that we were going to have like a 40-minute freaking break here, but already we are back to Rise versus K1, ladies and gentlemen. So last weekend on Saturday, and, and sorry I'm whispering, by the way, guys, it's 1.30 a.m. where I'm at right now, and unfortunately my office is right under where my roommate sleeps, so I'm, I'm just trying to be respectful. I'm not like my energy level through the roof. Volume? down here but uh but don't worry don't worry I, i'm not always whispering on 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 90 of fight companion basically any fight companion that's not in japan i'm talking like a normal person i swear <laughs> he was he should he would have had a chance versus uh granite my second, oh this is granite oh my god <laughs> i should have known i should have known american savage american pride let's fucking go um, here, I will, uh, I'll subscribe to your channel right after this, buddy. Or just like, um, send me the link or tag me the link on, uh, on Twitter. If I can't look it up anyways, actually, you know, if I can't find it, um, via just like looking it up or, or, or whatever, then, then I'll ask you for it. <laughs> I was like, dude, we got a new, we got a new, uh, subs <laughs> there's, there's a, there's a kid on a, a subscriber of ours. He's this kid and he, he changed, he has like a couple accounts as well. And he always messes with me. All right. TR, uh, TR clips. Who is the fighter again that our boy suggested was going to win? He said the, the Persian guy, right? Cena. Everybody wants C. Lu to win because he's a cocky motherfucker, but he is very much like, he's very good. He's very good. I just started, I'll send it when I put content this week by Saturday. Sounds good, buddy. Sounds good. So again, on Saturday, guys, we had Rise versus K1. And uh, and K one ended up coming out of the the five fights three to to two. So let's see if Rise can come back in this second matchup between them again on Saturday on the Rise event. Rise El Dorado. There was a portion of the card where it was Rise versus K one, and in controversial fashion, because the Rise fighter got spinning heel kicked right to the dick. And for some reason, the official gave the opponent the victory. So it was the only time in any combat sports that I've seen where someone got kicked in the balls and as a result lost the fight because the judge thought he got kicked in the thigh and that he was looking for a way out. So a little bit of fuckery, it, it could have been, it could have been uh, Rise that came out on top. Alas, Team Rise has a chance to uh, to come back here and settle the score. Cena. So he's the underdog, really. I would say based based on his based on his resume, he's not a bad underdog. 
but this this young Chinese guy just must be just that good. Right, let's take a look. But he's got fucking oh, it's a tattoo. It's like, but he's got fucking hickey based. Nineteen fights, sixteen wins, eight KOs. I mean, look at his look at his accolades. First and third of the K1 Grand Prix Cruiserweight Champion, K138 Anniversary Openweight Tournament. Got third place there. Won a bunch of amateur titles. Oh, he's from Isfahan. Dude, I have actually family from Isfahan. That's crazy. And he walks out to Notorious B.I.G. What a fucking beauty. Um... Oh, okay, but he's got the knockout power. This is why he's the favorite. This is why he's the favorite. He won, or he won the open weight tournament. Oh, shit. I understand why he's the favorite now. He is, he's got power behind his mitts. Maybe just sprinkle if you're going to go for the underdog. The only won the Grand Prix last year because Cena, the Iranian, wore out the fat Romanian guy. Cena's paying times 429. Biggie Smalls is the illest. And to my hooligans in Brooklyn. Biggie Smalls is one of my favorite rappers as well. I mean, I got him right here. Oh. Biggie Smalls, ladies and gentlemen. It's funny, I ordered Snoop Dogg and Biggie, but they gave me Tupac, so I'll take it. Uh, Tiago Tavares got TKO'd by a groin shot of PFL 2 in 2018. Um, yeah, but this, uh, I actually, I don't even remember that, to be honest. Um, did you see the meme that I shared on Twitter? Oh man, let's see if I can find it quick, and then and then I'll pick who I have in this one right after because the fighters are now making their way to the cage. Oh, sorry, to the ring. Don't say cage. This is kickboxing, bro. All right. Let me find the meme. So shout out to Barter. Barter was the one who, who made the meme, but it made me laugh. <laughs> the spinning dick kick is and has always been a legitimate technique. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my God. Mm -mm 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 -mm. My envisions of a rider. Yep, Puck and Smalls. Right, who do I have in this next one? Let's uh, let's get into it here. All right, we got Matsuyama Yuta up against Haraguchi Andre. Five fights, three wins, two losses, but all three of his wins have been via knockout. Dude, both of them, like, I look at a 1995 and I'm like, oh, yeah, you're 27. Like, you're still young. But he was born in 2003, dude. He's a baby. He's a fucking baby. Eight fights, seven wins, six KOs, one loss. Dude, somebody's going down. Somebody is going to get knocked out in this one. Oh, my goodness. Uh, oh, and he won one of his last fights with a flying knee. Dude, I'm going to go with... Oh, shit. This is a tough one. Fuck it. We're going Japan. We're going with the Japanese fighter. Locking it in. So Yuta won the 2020 high school championship, while Andre won a amateur championship. I started going to Twitter more only once in AM. Got to post and go something. 
Super Bowl versus Mariah, uh, Gregorian this Friday. Is that what's this Friday? I don't think no. I don't think it's this Friday. I would have I would have one hundred percent known about it. Like I remember I looked at the card and I was like I don't think I'm gonna do one. I'll double check after this, but I don't think it's this Friday. One championship never disappoints. All right, round one. Let's get it. I'll double check, but I don't think it's this week. I think it's the next week, buddy. I will double check between rounds, okay? Because we we got a fight to watch here. We got Rise versus K1. Uh, what's up, man? Pascal's winning this. Well, Pascal's not fighting yet, but uh, that's who you're picking. I'll, I'll lock it in. Thank you so much for joining, buddy. All right, two minutes and 30 seconds on the clock here as we start the Rise versus K1 portion of the card. In the blue gloves is Haraguchi in the red, Matsuyama. Haraguchi with the body kick tried to land a step back left hook. Right hand by Haraguchi. Again, thank you so much, Patrick, for joining. Appreciate you, brother. Ooh, a nice four punch combination by Matsuyama there. Every single one landed. Haraguchi with the right hand. Haraguchi with the right to the body. Haraguchi try to land that step back left hook again. Oh, high kick, high kick by Matsuyama. And Haraguchi ate it like it was nothing. Left and right by Haraguchi. Oh, a nice right hand by Haraguchi. And Matsuyama just ate that one. A left by Haraguchi and a right by Haraguchi. Matsuyama lands a left and a right now too, Haraguchi. He was wobbled there for a second. Nice right hand by Haraguchi. Dude, this is a scrap straight left by Haraguchi. Matsuyama now throws a left and a right and a right and a left by Matsuyama and a knee by Matsuyama by Haraguchi covering up high. They clinch. 58 seconds on the clock. Wow, dude. Forty two seconds on the clock. Left of the body by Matsuyama and the left and right by Matsuyama, dude. What a fight. What a fucking fight. This is insane. Step back left by Araguchi. Step back left by Araguchi. Left of the body by Matsuyama. Matsuyama looking to clinch it, but Haraguchi lands a right. Matsuyama lands a right hook. They're both in the pocket right now, trying to throw an easy Matsuyama. Matsuyama trips and falls. By the way, uh, April 5th, April 5th, Friday, April 5th. So still a couple weeks. And our boy, the Canadian Italian. Kickboxing champion of the world, John De Bella, will be headlining that card. And that is it for the first round. Dude, what a first round. That was absolutely insane, dude. I'm going to give that first round to Matsuyama. I mean, they, they each landed some big shots. They each rocked each other a little bit, but... I think Matsuyama landed the better shots. Let me know your thoughts in the live chat. Dude, how did he eat that high kick? How did he eat that high kick? Because he didn't block it with the padding of his glove. He blocked it with the wrist. Bro. He's so dangerous with those leg kicks in close. What a fight so far. All right, round two, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get it all. Inside Loki, but checked with the lead right leg. Bro, Matsuyama's got some good head movement. My God, he's quick. Haraguchi has good hand speed as well, but Matsuyama, man, he's he is fast on his feet here, in and out of the pocket, ducking these big shots. Oh, nice right hand. By Matsuyama. Man, what a fight. Oh, right hand by Matsuyama. Drops Haraguchi. Oh my 
God. Haraguchi's okay. He's back up to his feet. And a right hand by Matsuyama. Haraguchi with the counter right, but Matsuyama's looking to finish it here. Two minutes and 11 seconds on the clock. And Haraguchi with the knee. Haraguchi with the right hand. Haraguchi just swinging with some big shots here. I mean, Haraguchi, he, he looks like he wasn't even knocked down. He looks like he's already shaking the cobwebs here, and he's stepping forward, landing some big shots. Man, this broad... I know I'm going to say it all night. The broadcast for K1, one of the best in all of combat sports. I mean, on this card anyways. My God, it's amazing. One minute and 33 seconds on the clock. And there's that cut under that left eye of Haraguchi starting to open another knee by Matsuyama. Matsuyama lends another shot. Matsuyama with another left hand. Haraguchi with the left. Left hand by Matsuyama. Kick by Matsuyama. Oh, Matsuyama. He landed another high kick. He landed another high kick. Right hand by Haraguchi on the entry there. Dude, Matsuyama is fucking sick, bro. I mean, despite being dropped, Haraguchi, he, he is landing some big shots in the second round, but I don't necessarily agree with the broadcast saying that it was a better round for Haraguchi in the second. No, I mean, the first round was way closer. Haraguchi got dropped in this round. Oh my god, a left and a right combo by Matsuyama, and that landed. Nineteen seconds. Pressuring Matsuyama into the corner there, but in the pocket, Matsuyama has been looking damn good, and a right and a left by Haraguchi. Straight right by Matsuyama. Final ten seconds. I should say three seconds as three, two, one. That's it for the second round. Fireworks, ladies and gentlemen. Absolute fireworks. What a fight. What a fight. What a freaking fight, ladies and gentlemen. So under the left eye of Haraguchi, he's cut there. Let's take a look at this shot that dropped him. Oh, my God. Beautiful. Duck and check right hook. Oh, and it didn't even land on his left side. It landed right under his right, uh, right under his right eye. So Haraguchi's the rise guy. So the Matsuyama's from K one. He's competed in Crush, which is a division of K one. Oh my god, dude. So again, K1's up 3-2 based on last weekend, and they're looking good here right now. Japan, Denmark, Morocco, biggest kickboxing fans. Let's get it all! Yeah, because Thailand, it's Muay Thai. It's not kickboxing. Thai kickboxing, but it's its own, it's its own, it's its own world. You know what I mean? But totally agree. Morocco, they go crazy for the kickboxing. Very good high kick by Haraguchi early here in the third round. And Matsuyama, though, continuing with the pressure. Honestly, hmm, does this does, does this take the throne of fight of the night, or or do we still are we still giving it to the to the savages in the last one? I'm still leaning that last one because that was like. That was just insane back and forth, both of them just showing a lot of heart, but this is a very, very good fight. Body shot there by Matsuyama. Gucci swing and miss with that right hand. Ooh, body kick by Haraguchi. One minute and 43 seconds on the clock. Last fight takes the cake, but this one isn't far behind. Yeah, um, I agree with that. 
just because like the heart they displayed right it was just it was something special but this one's this one's damn good as well i see blood what a kick dude matsuyama man still light on his feet here howard gucci trying to walk him down left by haraguchi matsuyama with the counter left dude look at matsuyama's technique though there it is there's that check right hook again oh nice right by haraguchi but god he's just like he landed a right oh front kick right to the face by Matsuyama, dude, Matsuyama's, his combos and his hands are incredible. And he just threw a fucking front kick. Yeah, it looks like K1's going to be up 4-2, man. Matsuyama representing K1 here. Primarily fighting in the crush promotion. Front kick from hell. That was some Anderson Silva style shit. 15 seconds on the clock here. And yeah, K1's about to go up 4-2 in the Rise versus K1 affair that they got going on here. Right hand by Haraguchi. And you know what? Credit where credit is due to Haraguchi. He's, he's got hard. He's continuing to push forward. But that is it for the fight. Too little too late in an absolute, like near perfect performance. By Yuta Matsuyama. He, guys, he is a prospect. To keep your eye out for. Why is Matsuyama crying? He, he's going to win this. He's just so happy. It's like win or lose, the Japanese fighters just cry. Oh, he's so happy. All three judges, yep. Yeah. So first of five battles again, Rise versus K1. and Good display of respect going to the corner of his opponent. And they touch gloves. Fun fight, man. Impressive indeed, dude. This kid is going to be something special. He's going to be something special, man. His pro debut in 2020. Yeah, KO machine. Wasn't able to knock out his opponent here, but he like I said, he dropped him with that huge right hand. We're looking at the replay of it now. Damn, son. Unreal. All right, now uh well Rise be sweating now, ladies and gentlemen. Rise needs to get another win here. Four two right now. So, I mean, by the end of it, we're going to have 10 matchups based on the Rise card from El Dorado and this K1 card. Rise is a tall task to get back into even like a, a competitive contention here. Dude, that kick was gorgeous. Man, how blessed are we to be able to watch this card? This is tremendous. And there was a few fights that were like rejigged as far as um a, a few guys having to drop out. But when you have a card of 25 fighters, there's, there's bound to be there's bound to be a few who drop out, right? So I think it was only three fighters who dropped out, which isn't bad, man, which isn't bad. 13 fights left on the card. Hardcore heaven. Okay, they're giving the mic to the winners here for uh, for this Rise vs. K1 portion of the card. Oh my god, he was crying and he's apo he's apologizing to the fans for him not putting on his best fight. Dude, the Japanese are something else, man. He he's literally apologizing to the fans for not putting putting on a good performance. Yet I thought that was incredible. If that wasn't a good performance, bro, I cannot wait to see this guy 
on a good night, right? He's, he's upset that he wasn't able to finish his opponent. And that's why he was that's why he was fucking crying and so upset. Dude. Wow. Violence, so imperative, controlled violence. Hey, he's signing the camera. That's cool. I'm even tweeting about him. I'm saying that this kid's going to be something special. All right, I said, uh, Yuta Matsuyama is amazing. Wow. He's going to be something special. I mean, shoot, he already is. Unbelievable. By the way, guys, if you haven't already, go check out the K1 Battlecast. Um, it's an un it's an unbelievable podcast covering everything K1. No one goes to jail. Wow. Unbelievable. All right, I'm getting off Twitter. I'm getting off Twitter. <laughs> this fight might be insane. All right, representing K1 making his walkout is uh, Toita Daiki. 18 fights, 12 wins, 6 losses, or 6 KOs, 5 losses. So he's 12 and 5 with 6 KOs, 18 fights, and he's what, 27 years of age, 28 years of age? Going up against the fighter representing Rise, Kaneda Shoki. 23 fights, 21 wins, 2 losses, 8 KO, TKOs. I'm going with Shoki. Get Rise back in contention here. As right now, K1 is up 4-2 to two on Rise, despite that garbage controversial kick to the dick decision on Rise El Dorado. We'll pretend like that didn't happen. Let's get back into it. Let's go, Rise. I'm picking Shoki to win this one. Wait, did the broadcast just say that he took this fight in 24 hours? Okay, now I'm definitely taking Shoki. Okay, let me update the ticker in the bottom of the screen and we'll get right back to it. This event is also for free on Hulu. Oh, there you go. There you go. And it's also free internationally, I think, on Abima. Dre Day, for anyone who's still searching. God, I love uh, I love West Coast hip-hop. Just as much as I love Biggie Smalls, I mean, I love my West Coast hip-hop. Bro, he's walking out to Still Dre, or not? Yeah, Still Dre. <laughs> I know you guys can't hear the music through my broadcast, but Chronic 2, my bad. Ooh, which album do you think is better? The Chronic 2 or the first one? It's tough because they're both so good for different reasons, right? Like, obviously, for me, and this is going to be crazy, even though the Chronic 2 is a little bit more polished as far as the production, I think the, the beats and the production, given when it was produced, I, I think the first Chronic album is one of the best produced hip-hop albums of all time. Now, the Chronic 2, I think, like, 
had better single songs but i mean little ghetto boys is, is one of my favorite hip-hop songs of all time and like that beat oh man so good so good uh first chronic is still epic first one was so much better easy fair enough fair enough and see like i i lean that way as well but but every time I listen to Chronic 2, I'm like, oh yeah, I forgot how good this was, right? Like explosive on that track as well. One of my favorite songs of all time. But for me, Little Ghetto Boy is just oh, like Dr. Dre, Chronic, you know, Aftermath, all that aside. That is one of my favorite hip hop songs of all time. And I think that's a deep cut. I don't think a lot of people uh, would rank that one as one of the best but that beat man and how it just plays out at the end is so good anyways round one ladies and gentlemen Let's go. two minutes and 50 seconds on the clock Ooh, high kick attempt by canada and toita a little bit taller than canada toita a little bit lighter on his feet Canada looking for standing stoic there, looking for that big counter. Dax corrupt, ghetto boys. We can't be stopped in resurrection. Those two ghetto boys, LP. Yeah, I love like all genre music, but um, the '90s hip hop just hit different. Blues though is my is my favorite. Blues in in like uh like 50s and 60s blues that's that's my favorite music yes i'm an old man oh nice counter left by toita nice left hand by toita oh nice front kick by toita Toita with the left. Even though Kaneda's walking him down now, Toita's landing some good shots. Nice right hand by Kaneda. Oh, they each land some big shots. And a right hand by Toita. Toita with a big left and a right. Toita with a knee. Toita with a left right on the chin of Kaneda. Oh my god. Toita left and a right. And there's a step back right jab by Canada. Canada with a right jab. Canada with a double right jab. Only one of those got through. No, no, I say this all the time. Any jab, like my my roommates live, or I live with roommates and their bedroom is right above my office. And it's 2 a.m. on a Tuesday, so I just don't want to be a dick and wake them up, right? So that's why i'm whispering like a crazy person i promise that i talk normally on every other stream that i do but if it's late night japanese especially on a weekday uh martial arts yeah I, i'm just trying to be respectful that's all on the weekends they're more understanding because it's the fucking weekend but on a tuesday yeah they'll <laughs> rightfully so they both have to wake up at like 6 a.m for work Oh, a nice double right by Toyota. Step back left by Kaneda, but Toyota with the left. Right on the chin. Another left on the chin. Another right. Save by the bell. Save by the bell. Unbelievable. I did not think Toyota would look that strong in those punches. I didn't think he had that power. Man, he's got those straight punches man it's not like he has the, the craziest hand speed but those straight punches as he walked forward holy crap those look deadly <laughs> deep cover first track introducing Snoop is epic hell yeah last time they got pissed and slammed Tisha uh, what time is this? it's on right now buddy it's on right now if you're in Japan, you can watch it on Abima right now for free. Or here, or Hulu. Isha's locked in. It's going down already. Love the profile picture. Who, who? Who are you? Who, who, 
Who? 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 Oh, a nice left and a right by Canada. Inside low kick by Canada. Yeah, Canada's really going to have to push on the gas here. And Paul, man, it's good to see you, buddy. Thank you so much for stopping by, hanging out with us tonight. Canada looking good early here in this second round. Tweet does definitely won the first round. Oh, big kick to the shin there by Canada. That hurt Toyota. Canada with the right jab. Guys, don't forget to like the video, by the way. We're trying to get to 30 likes on the video by the end of the stream. It's morning here. Just woke up. Well, good morning. I guess it's technically morning here as well as it's 2 freaking a.m. So good morning, sir. Dude, Palman's awesome, man. Another another uh, friend of ours from Jay's stream. Appreciate you guys. Oh, nice left by Toita. Toita with a knee to the body and a right hand. Good head movement. Head movement by Kaneda. Oh, high kick swing and a miss by Toita, but he landed a right hand. Kaneda on the back foot. Kaneda eats a left. Oh, my God. Toita is a dog, man. He just ate four shots and a high kick. Toita. Just ate a motherfucking high kick. Dude, you're in the Netherlands? That is awesome, bro. I have some friends in the Netherlands. Our boy Volcan. I don't know if he's watching as well. If you are, what's up, Volcan? That's another uh, you know, kickboxing hotspot. Oh, nice counter lift by Canada. No, he's uh, on Ryzen. He's on Ryzen. So he'll be fighting on Friday. He's fighting fucking Kimura, too. Vanderlei is roided up freak kickboxer. Oh, nice knee by Kaneda. Dude, Kaneda just knocked out Toita. Kaneda just knocked out Toita. It's over. Can he get back up? Huge high kick in left hand, and he knocked down Toita. Toita's back up to his feet, but he's wobbling, man. It's all over. It is all over. Let's go. Rise is back. Rise is back. Rise is back. Let's go. It was so weird fucking celebrating, wanting to just scream at the top of my lungs, but I can't because my goddamn roommates are sleeping. Oh my god. What a comeback indeed, brother. Because he was losing that fight. He was getting beaten up in the first round. High kick and left, and he drops him. Bro, Daiki is still on the ground right now. Toita is still laying on the ground right now. I hope he's okay. Got knocked the fuck out. Boom. I love this new webcam of mine. 4K webcam and it like auto... It auto focuses. Dude, this was like a, a $200 webcam I found for 80 bucks on Marketplace. It's still in the box. So my my stream game got a little bit better. Damn, you know Volk? Volcan? Oh damn, I get this all wrong on the early morning. Stick a fork in Amisha. I am in Indonesia. Wait here. Hey, what is up? Look at this. We got the nether from the US of A to the Netherlands to Indonesia in the live chat right now. That is awesome. You all are amazing. I appreciate every single one of you. Yes, you watching right now. You're fucking awesome. Thank you so much for hanging out with us and watching this unbelievable event. K1 World Max 2024. So far, all the fights have been amazing. The chat has been buzzing. We have a tremendous crowd here hanging out with us tonight. So from the bottom of my fucking heart, thank you all for joining. Appreciate you guys. That shit beautiful than a motherfucker. Three continents in the live chat. How cool is that, man? And that's why I love this sport. It, it's a global sport. It's a global sport. Kick, just fighting in general is a global sport, man. And that's what's so cool about it is we get to get to know people from all around the world. And I mean, and I'm so blessed, A, to be able, like it's an honor to watch an event this, this amazing, and B, it's an honor to connect with all of you fight junkies like myself. 
I mean, how many other YouTubers are up right now watching K1? Like, I, I don't think there's any. I was the only one doing Rise. I don't think there's any other junkie. Like, there's a lot of MMA YouTube channels out there, but is the MMA guru doing fucking K1 right now? Is Mexican MMA doing K1 right now? I love our friends at MMA Holes. They got a family. They ain't doing K1 right now. Bro, we're the real junkies here. All of you in the live chat. What am I pointing here? All of you. You guys are the real ones. You're <laughs> breaking records right now. Dude, I'm just, I'm waiting because like once the pay-per-view starts, I mean, we might get a huge crowd here in the live chat. Like, remember when Jay was streaming one championship? It's like, there were quite a few people. But then when the pay-per-view hit, it was like, he had like thousands of people in his live chat. Now, I don't think we're going to get thousands here, but we might get a little uptick once the pay-per-view starts. We'll see. We'll see. All right. Jay's one streams are big. Yeah, uh, I think I had about a thousand people in that one. We both like he hit like two hundred thousand. I think I had a hundred and like twenty, a hundred and thirty on that one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we both hit big on those. Me too, King James. Me too, and King James is still here. You're an absolute beauty, my man. King James supports pretty much everything that I do, and uh, I can't thank you enough, sir. I can't thank you enough. Bowing to the king. <laughs> All right, guys, let's move on to the next one here. And again, so now we now it's uh four three for K one in the K one versus Rise. I'm gonna double check that, but oh no, Shoki was a freaking. Never mind, never mind. I take that back. 5-2 for K1. Kaneda was a K1 guy. Bro, the Rise fighters are getting destroyed. I feel so stupid now. I got so excited about the Rise guy. That's on me. That's on me. I got him confused. This shows how much of a fucking cash. What? Dude, Paulman, you did not have to do that, brother. Paulman with the two euros? Dude, thank you, dude. Thank you so much, brother. You didn't have to do that. I'm just glad that you're here. My apologies. I got too excited saying Rise is back. Rise is back. No, Rise ain't back, dude. Rise ain't back. The K1 guy won that one as well. <laughs> K1 is up five to two right now in the in the head to head. And again, palm in with the two dollar or the two euros, man. Thank you. Like I said, I'm never gonna ask for donations. I'm never gonna ask for memberships. All I ask is you guys smash that like button, leave a comment, say what's up, and keep coming back for more fight streams and and we post more than just fight content. Like we, we want everyone to get to know us on the channel as well, which is why we post vlogs and things like that. So look, I'm never going to ask for donations or, or anything like that, but I truly, truly appreciate it. And I'll, I'll continue to give you a shout out throughout the stream, man. Thank you. Really appreciate it, brother. You bet on Yuki. Yeah, man. Thank you, Paul, man. You're an absolute beauty, sir. Oh, I can't believe five one for or five two for K one right now. No victories for the Rise fighters yet in this head to head. And I mean, three more fights, man. Can they come back? I mean, Rise needs to win all three of those fights to tie it. Let's see if they can get it done. All right, representing Rise is Hitachi Huma. I'm just going to update the ticker on the bottom of the screen and we'll get right back to it again. Big shout to Palman, man, for the for the dono. A little dono hype. <laughs> Seriously, man, it means a lot. Yo, is Dylan Chaikin lurking here? I know he was he was busy uh today, but if, if Dylan's here, I just want to give him a special thanks as well. Hey man, you we've and, and this is, isn't just because you donated, but a little bit. Like we have such a great community, man, and and, and that's another reason why like Jay and I wanted to work together because we both have we we do have like guys and gals who go back and like who support both of the channels, but 
we figured that like we have a similar we have a similar chat we have a similar fan base we have a similar community and we might as well like you know we, we might as well mix them all together we might as well throw them all in the center and uh and start each you know collaborating and, and cross promoting and and it, and it's just so cool that like we both communities fit in so well in each other's chat and uh and i love it everyone in jay's chatter are all good people all fight fans all fight junkies so uh again thank you guys this has been such a fun stream so far and we have we got like five six more hours of this straight up savages let's go yuki igawa oh he's looking straight gangster as he makes his way i mean what is he wearing right now That shit's wild, dude. I don't know if you call that style. I don't know if that's a freaking... It's like a half jacket. I don't even know what that is. All right. Hitachi Huma. 15 fights, 10 wins, 8 KO, TKOs, 4 losses. I guess I can find all this info here. Cool. And so he's the rise fighter going up into the K1 fighter. 24 fights, 17 wins, 12 KOs, 6 losses. Okay, okay. Let me do another deep dive here on Tapology. Coming off a loss is the K1 guy. At K1 Rebirth. Where he lost unanimous decision. Before then, he was coming off two wins. Uh, where he won in the first round each at the 150 minute mark of the first round hitachi 26 years of age coming off a win where he beat katsu katsuji takahashi via left straight knockout in the second round uh, he lost two fights but before then was on absolute running he actually fought shooter box as well Come on, Rise. I'm going Hitachi on this one. That's my pick. <laughs> However, if Yuki wins, I'll be happy for Strainy as he'll win some money. Not everyone, Isha. We got a couple trolls in Jay's chat. Ever heard of Zach? Wait, was Zach the one who was kicked from our show? I haven't heard of him, but I'm pretty sure that was the guy that uh, Skatesman banned. I haven't heard of Zach. Okay, well. Most of the live chat. Most of the live chat. I'm pretty sure that was the troll who was going off about how Jonathan Martinez is going to get beat by, by Aldo and everyone was like, all right. All right, round one. Let's get out. Jay told me not to not to engage with the trolls after the stream. He was like, <laughs> he's like, that's the path you don't want to go down. I don't know, but we all hate him. Okay, well, fair enough. Fair enough. Okay, so... 90% of Jay's chat. I want to meet Buddy who apparently O'Malley beat up in high school. That's who I want to meet. I want that. I want to talk to that guy. <laughs> All right. Two minutes and 20 seconds on the clock, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see if our boy Strain is going to win some money. Yuki Igawa in the red. And oh, beautiful shot to the body by Igawa. Nice left hook by Igawa. Hitachi's in trouble here. Oh, a nice step back left by Hitachi. Justin or Dustin, you mean, I think? Well, he had a different name. He had a different name, but everyone's like, I swear this is Zach. And I, again, wasn't reading the chat too much up until the last segment. Oh, a nice straight left by Igawa. Dude, Igawa's throwing some bombs here early. Nice knee to the body by Igawa. Maybe that was also Zach. It has like 200 accounts. I don't know anymore. Okay, fair enough. Noted, by the way. Thank you for the fair warning. Oh, nice left and a right by Yuki Igawa. Yuki Igawa's got to be careful not to gas himself out early though because he's throwing some big shots and Itachi's starting to come back. Bro, could you only imagine how crazy this stream would be if I like wasn't whispering right there, but my roommates weren't sleeping? Bro, we'd be raising the roof right now. Oh, a nice right hand by Yuki Igawa. Left and right by Hitachi. Dude, Igawa is... <laughs> he's a savage, bro. High kick attempt by Igawa. Blocked by Hitachi. 
Again, another big shout out to the broadcasters here for K1 play by play in color. Tremendous. Kick to the body by Hitachi. High kick by Igawa. Left hook by Hitachi. Counter left by Igawa. Apparently, there's some bad blood between these two guys. Oh, oh my God. Hitachi. Hitachi with a few shots to the body. Hitachi with another shot to the body. Yeah, Hitachi's coming back late here. 18 seconds on the clock. Oh, big step back right by Hitachi. Hitachi with a step in left. Hitachi with a knee to the body. Hitachi with a right hand. Hitachi. Body shots. Bro, Igawa's hurt. Igawa's hurt. And that is it for the first round. What a comeback in that round. Crazy round. Tell them to sleep with earplugs when you're doing the late shows. I wish, I wish, but I'm their tenant. This is their house. Put it this way, Palman, on the weekends, they're a lot more understanding. I don't blame them for getting pissed off if I wake them up on a Tuesday. Left and rights from Hell Telegraphed. Looks like they're just swinging. Throwing bombs. Hitachi really wants that finish. Those body shots by Hitachi. I have no idea who won that round because like the first half of the round goes to Yuki, second half, Hitachi. Tell them not to be snowflakes. <laughs> like I said, they got to get up for work in like three and a half hours. So I don't blame them. I'm not agnostic. I'm egocentric. <laughs> Two minutes and 45 seconds. Oh, nice counter right by Igawa. They're getting married soon and they're going to kick me out. You know, I'm going to have to get my my own like place eventually. So you guys will know. Either the roommates are away. If I'm streaming Japanese kickboxing or, or MMA and I'm haul, hooting and hollering. Or, you know, I got my own place. <laughs> that will be the tell uh, the telltale for you guys. Two minutes and 15 seconds on the clock. Double left jab by Hitachi. But regardless, I'm stoked you guys are here, even if I'm going full ASMR as e shop in this motherfucker. I get it, just skill not screaming during a fight, dude. It's hard, man. It's hard. Ooh, poor Yuki takes a shot to the balls. Oh, um, it just grazed. It just grazed. Look, I'm, I'm never going to blame a man for taking time getting kneed or kicked in the balls, all right? There's so many people in my live chat, live chat who are like, oh, like you don't need five minutes, Polo. That barely hits you. It's like, bro, you're a man. You can empathize with even a grazing shot can hurt, all right? <laughs> okay, we're back at it. One, 150, one left. Cheers, buddy. Appreciate it. I mean, you guys are here, so it must, it must not sound too bad. <laughs> it probably sound funny, but... <laughs> Ooh, inside low kick by Hitachi and Igawa with the left and the right. Yeah, there's no way Igawa was going to keep that pace that he had in that first round. There was no way. Igawa looking for that flying knee. Ooh, and I straight left by Igawa. Even a nip to the balls, it hurts. I think you're the only one who's covering this. That was when I was I did Rise El Dorado on Saturday, and it was the same thing. Outside low kick by Hitachi. Double right jab by Hitachi. Hitachi pressuring Igawa into the ropes. We have to if we want decent coverage. <laughs> Appreciate it. Oh, a nice left to the body, dude. Hitachi. Picking up the pace in this one. Right hand by Hitachi. 
missing with the right uppercut. Igawa with the left hook. Hitachi, he wants one for Rise. He wants one for Rise. Thanks, buddy. Oh, man, those body shots. I think Itachi won both rounds. The first one's tough because Itachi ended strong, but Igawa looked good early. But you totally could be right. But for your sake, for your sake, let's hope Igawa gets like a straight late knockout. Oh, it doesn't look good. Hitachi's hurting Igawa. Igawa might be saved by the bell again. Oh, Hitachi's trying to finish him. Hitachi's trying to finish him. Save by the bell by Igawa again, ladies and gentlemen. Just like the end of the first round. Save by the bell for Igawa. Igawa may need a knockout here, guys. Igawa may need a knockout here. Bro, even when we do UFC um, and like other promotions where my, you know, my pick is is winning sometimes if, if you know if our live chat has money on the other i would rather my pick be wrong than you guys lose money i want you guys to make money some friends back home were uh they're like all right dude i'm going to bed and it's it's midnight my time No one else is doing this on YouTube. I told you, man, we're junkies here. We are fight junkies here, and I love it. If you want to make money, listen to Granite, uh, Granite's boxing picks. Okay, okay, I will, I will. I'm not a huge, <laughs> I'm not a huge gambler, but I'll, I'll, I'll dabble in his picks. <laughs> Two minutes and 40 seconds on the clock. The only, th I think I said this on the last stream, the only thing that I'm a degenerate gambler on is the, sh is the show Survivor. <laughs> I got three futures bets and I'm in three fantasy pools right now, or four fantasy pools right now. Bro, my friend's mom's in our pool and she won fucking five grand last year on a futures pick. All she needed was the first episode and she 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 knew who won based on like how they show portrayed each character it was nuts she's got a formula two minutes on the clock here in this third round oh a nice left to the body by Igawa by Hitachi pressuring him into the corner I do bet on fights like every, you know every now and then but not as hardcore as my chat oh Igawa with the left hand oh and they're counting that as a slip but that hurt Hitachi right up by Igawa Left and right by Igawa. Oh my god, Strainy. Strainy, are you on the edge of your seat right now? Igawa's landing some big shots on Hitachi. And Igawa stepping forward with the jab. Hitachi with the step in knee. One minute and 23 seconds on the clock. Left to the body. Oh my goodness, man. What a tremendous fight. Oh, and I step back left. Dude, I love Hitachi's style here. I love Hitachi's style here. What a fight this is. Absolutely. Dude, it's so awesome that you're you're hanging out with us here tonight too, Strainy. Sagawa Hitachi. Or Egawa Sadachi. Or Hitachi. Oh, Igawa just dropped Hitachi. Igawa just dropped Hitachi. Oh my god, that's huge. So now it's going to come down to the first round. Now it's going to come down to the first round. Hey, thanks, buddy. Oh my god, dude. 25 seconds on the clock. If Hitachi can drop Igawa here then that would be huge, but Igawa's going for it. Igawa's going for it. Bro, this is all going to come down to the first round. Oh my goodness, Igawa's just lighting up Hitachi right now. Hitachi with the left. Final 10 seconds. Hitachi with the left uppercut. What a fight. And that is it, ladies and gentlemen.
So this is going to come down to the first round because second round, clear victory for Hitachi. Whoops. Third round, Igawa got the third because of the knockdown. The first round literally split down the goddamn middle. Igawa winning the first part of the round. Hitachi winning the second part of the round. So, oh, oh, and if it's a draw, we're going to an extra round. Oh my God, please be a draw. Please be a draw. We need one more round. We need one more round. Oh my God, please. We need, we didn't, we need overtime. We need overtime. Oh, so one judge has it a draw. Second judge has it a draw. Bro, we're going overtime. We're going overtime. Let's fucking go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. God, I love this sport. Let's fucking go, dude. On great fight. Great fight. Just stating a fact, Granite. I see almost all your picks with boxing are correct. Oh. Bro, that straight right that dropped him. Oh my God. Strainy, your bet's still alive, brother. Your bet's still alive. By the way, everybody watching right now, thank you so much. I appreciate you guys. Don't forget to smash that like button. This this is like old this is like old old school ultimate ultimate fighter vibes. We're going to a sudden death overtime, not a literal death. YouTube, calm down, calm down. Here we go, round four to decide it all. Let's go. Two minutes and fifty five seconds on the clock. Oh, dude, those hands by it got like it got was boxing in the pocket is beautiful. Hitachi, double left jab, returning that left jab, Zagawa. Zagawa with the high guard. I was like, you're 18, now you're 21 likes, still going strong. You're nice, dude. Come on, guys. There's 16 of you watching right now. If you haven't smashed that like button, let's try to get to our goal of 30. We're so close. Ooh, nice left by Hitachi. We're already getting more likes than we did on the Rise El Dorado stream, so let's get to 30 here. I know we can do it. Two minutes on the clock. Dude, it's so crazy. Overtime round in kickboxing. And Igawa landed a left and a right in the pocket. I don't know if Itachi wants to fight him in the pocket, though, because in the pocket, Igawa's got the good, the better straight boxing. But if Itachi can keep him at range and keep hitting him with his jab, he might just score a little bit more. Front kick by Itachi. Yeah, let's go. Thank you. Thank you, American Savage. And the granite number two for giving me another like. Are right, you woke back up? What's up, buddy? Good power nap there. We're in overtime right now, dude. We're in extra round. Oh, a nice left and a right. Dude, I think hit... Oh, right hand by Agawa. One minute and 16 seconds on the clock. It's so close. So close. Nice left and right combo by Agawa. They clinch. Oh, kick to the body by Hitachi. Oh, knee to the body. And again, this play by play guy is amazing. He's commenting on the fight and he's listening to what the corners are saying and bringing that into his play by play. It's truly spectacular. Oh, shit. Oh, nice right hand by Hitachi. Yeah, this fight has been nothing short of spectacular. This might be fight of the night. This is, oh, there's a right up by Hitachi. This is fight of the night so far. This is fight of the night so far. Hands down, ladies and gentlemen. And, and the bar was set high earlier tonight, but nothing but spectacular fucking fights here on this card. And this one takes the cake so far. 10 seconds left. 
and they're just throwing men to left and a right by Itachi. Itachi with the right, and he backs away from that left. And that is it. I honestly do not know who won that. I am going to lean ever so slightly with Hitachi. Right, we're listening into the judges' scorecards. Or their decision, anyways. Okay, one judge has it for Igawa. One judge has it for Hitachi. Oh, it, you want Brady won some money. Rise goes down six to two, but Strainy won some money. Kaching, motherfucker. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> hey, nothing but respect to both of these guys, man. I feel bad for the Rise fighters. Six to two. They cannot, they officially cannot come back in this competition, but we got two more fights. Man, Hitachi, keep your head held high, buddy. That was an unbelievable fight. And so razor thin. I got to give a standing O. That shit beautiful than a motherfucking. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. That was such a good fight. Dude, this card... Put it this way. Most fight cards that are hyped up don't deliver, right? Except for, I will say... KSW Epic... And KSW Coliseum 2 were the two cards that like were super hyped and they delivered. This, like, man, I got goosebumps right now. Like, this card so far, and I know we have a lot of fights left, but so far, there's been no, even the women's fight was an absolute banger. There's been no stinkers. This is exceeding my expectations, guys. Like, wow, I'm just. I'm at a loss of words, and that's not a good thing to occur when you're streaming and have to talk for seven to or five to seven hours. But I'm just blessed, man. What can, as a fan of combat sports, how can you not be like fucking swooning right now over this? That shit's that's beautiful. beautiful than a motherfucker. Love how it's the Scottish guy that's translating. Yeah, man. Yeah, dude, you woke up. In, to a great card indeed, brother. All right, yeah, so the first women's fight on the card was, was actually super entertaining. And we have a 14-3 and three Miyu up against a 13-1 and one Koyuki. Yo, help a brother get some za? I don't even know what that means. I could go for pizza. Yo, Sean, what's going on, brother? <laughs> Our valued members of the community just became a member over the weekend. I've been live for about three hours and 38 minutes, my man. But don't worry, Sean, we have... How many more fights? Dude, these girls are a hundred pounds. They're tiny. A hundred pounds. What's that? 45 kilograms? 46? 11 fights left on this card. Sean, this was a 25 fight card. Bro, talk about pacing. This is like some Bellator pacing. Okay. 15 fights in three and a half hours. Dude, K1 is my new favorite promotion. K1 is my new favorite promotion. Sean Savage, what's up, Sean? K1 
can't say that this is the most inspiring uh, walkout song, but it looks like who's the blue corner? So it looks like Koyuki, or Koyuki is a champion. Let's take a look at her resume here. Oh, so she's the Rise champion. Okay, so well, there it is. So she's the Rise champion. Leave it to the wom the woman to get uh, a win for Rise. The men can't do it. Although Hitachi was very close. Let's see if uh, Koyuki Miyazaki can get it done. Uh, second Rise Queen Adam Weight Championship. Next Queen Tournament 2021 winner. Try Hard is a very, very good gym. She's super young too. Born in 2003. Uh, her opponent, Sagawara Miru, or Miu. She's a K1 champion. Second K1 World Grand Prix Women's Atomweight Champion. Third Crush Women's Atomweight Champion. K1 World Grand Prix First Women's Atomweight Champion. Tournament second place. Fifth K1 Amateur All Japan. I mean, my God. God, she's got a lot of accolades. This one should be a fun one, man. This one should be a fun one. K1 champ versus Rise champ. Let's go. I thought this was tonight. Honestly, Sean, I, I thought it was as well, but it, it's on Wednesday. It was on Wednesday, but it was on Wednesday in Japan, which is Tuesday for us. So my bad for mixing it up, but... I posted in the community tab uh, as soon as I could. But we got 11 more fights on the card. We got at least... I mean, they, there's going to be a pretty big intermission, I think, because the main card doesn't start until 4 a.m., so another, I guess another hour. Uh, don't lie. Realize. 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 Both got belts. Do we think the Rise Champ gets it done, or we, or is Miyu Saga, uh, Sagawara going to take this one? She looks dialed, man. Hmm. I want to root for the Rise Fighters because I just want them to get a, at least one win. Japanese girls in general can get it. It's good to wake up to you. Absolutely, Sean. Yeah, you're waking up early, Sean. Eighth. Are you, are you usually an early riser, man? I mean, this is like 3.45 a.m. early riser. Yeah, hopefully rise. 100 pounds, man. They're tiny. All right, here we go. It's cool how uh, K1 and Rise have kind of like Bellator versus Ryzen. They got this cool uh, professional relationship where they're able to put fighters up against each other for these cool, uh, cool shows. All right, guys, round one. Second women's fight on the card here. We got the Rise Adam White champion against the K1 Adam White champion. Let's get it on. Let's get it on. Sugawara in the red. Miyazaki in the blue. Miyazaki in more of a karate stance. Where Sugawara, more of a traditional tie stance here, lighter on her feet. Two minute thirty three seconds on the clock, and a left, right, and a right hand by Sugawara. Inside low kick by Miyazaki. Yep, I need to start taking a gummy to help me sleep, but I'm hyperactive, so I'm up and at. I'm got you, got you. Um. Oh, thank you for watching the the seltzer vlog. By the way, I hope you liked it. We're we're gonna do more beer reviews, more seltzer reviews, more friggin' THC product reviews moving forward, my man. Is this the haircut that all Japanese women walk around with? It's seemingly so, but hey, I like bangs personally, so I'm all right with it. 
light sleeper then. One minute 53 seconds on the clock. Nice right hand by Sugawara. Straight right jab by Miyazaki. Minute 32 seconds on the clock. Faints by both these women. Oh, nice kick to the body by Sugawara. Inside low kick by Sugawara. Outside low kick by Miyazaki. Miyazaki in with the left and right. Fainting with that right hand on the entries. Miyazawa trying to land that big left, but Sugawara, great step back combo. One minute and three seconds on the clock. Ah, I kick swing and a miss by Miyazaki. Ooh, and I step back left by Sugawara. Oh, a nice push kick right to the ground goes Miyazaki. Probably shouldn't be doing edibles next month, but I'll let you know what mango margarita tea tastes like. Yeah, that sounds, uh, I mean, you were mentioned that in the last stream. That's, or on the comment. That sounds really good. Oh, yeah, they all got the same cut. Like I said, I like bangs. So sign me up. Oh, a nice left, straight left by Miyazaki. And I'm pretty short. Like, I'm not, I'm not a tall dude. So, I mean, like, the Japanese women, just based on their haircuts and how tall they are, that's <laughs> that's that 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 checks all the boxes, right? That's it for the first round. Instead of going full rampage, I gotta instead of ask or learning, uh, do you like black guys? I, I gotta I gotta learn in Japanese. Do you like Persian guys? I bro, I did, but I didn't know you weren't here. I literally went over the whole card in depth. We went over every single fight. <laughs> I thought you were here, dude. You should have seen that THC can drink video. Oh, cheers, man. Yeah. Shout out to the Smazies. Basically, TR clips. I said in regards to the Persian fighter who's the underdog. Don't go crazy betting on him if you can still bet on him. Maybe just drop a little half uni because he's a he's a good underdog, especially at plus three thirty. But his opponent is no joke and has eleven knockouts. Nineteen forty three serial size bowl cuts. Sugawara has a weird top. Yeah, one of the other uh, K one fighters had this had a similar top. I watched it too, Isha. Um, but TR uh, C clips, I'll definitely. Do a quick rundown again uh, for you, buddy. No problem. All right, round two. Let's go. I totally thought you were in the chat, though, when we were going over it. My bad, my bad. You took a quick power nap. Good on you. Hey, thank you. Yes, you were commenting on it as well. Thank you, buddy. No, no, it's all good. It's all good, dude. I don't blame you, man. I don't blame you. <laughs> two minutes and 24 seconds on the clock. Even out west now, it's late. Or early. You should get an equity deal. Two minutes on the clock. Oh, outside low kick by Miyazaki. Dude, Miyazaki's looking good here, man. Miyazaki's looking good. We might actually get a rise win. One minute, 43 seconds on the clock. Left and right by Sugiawa. Sugiwara. One minute, 30 seconds on the clock. Not yet, buddy. Not yet. Thank you so much for stopping by. Two minutes and 21 seconds on the clock. Sugiwara with the left and the right. All right, I got all the the odds now on screen. So between fights, we'll do a, we'll do a little bit of a rundown. Mm 
One minute on the clock. <laughs> he didn't fight yet. He didn't fight yet, dude. <laughs> oh, nice left and a right by Sugiwara. Miyazaki's landing like that. She's landing big shots, but volume-wise, Sugiwara is outlanding her. Yeah, dude, it's almost 3 a.m. where I'm at. It's almost 4 a.m. Eastern time. But honestly, this, this four hours have gone by like that, bro. We've been almost streaming for four hours. Doesn't feel like it. This has been the this has been like this has been one of the best streams I've ever done, to be perfectly honest. I'm gonna say it. This has been one of the best streams we've ever done. As far as like pacing, as far as like uh, fighting there in the clinch, yeah, pacing, chat, vibes, and just like, despite being up at an ungodly hour, it's like I'm not super tired because the fights are delivered. Now, this one's not the best, but hey, the women are throwing, so I can't complain, can't complain. 153 for me. Nice. We're all in like different time zones. We're all scattered around the world and in different time zones. All right, so yeah, the pay-per-view starting in exactly one hour. Um, all right, end of the second round. Mm -hmm. Third and final round. Yeah, Palman's just waking up. Seven, oh, and Strainy too. Well, like Strainy's not waking up. Strainy's stayed up. Third and final round. Let's get it on. Two minutes and 50 seconds on the clock. Oh, a nice left and a right by Sugiwara. Yeah, Eastern time. It's, it is early. Yeah, I'm central time, so I'm just one hour behind you. Ooh, nice left and a right to the body by Miyazaki. Miyazaki, the right to the body, right hook, another right hook by Miyazaki. In the pocket, Miyazaki definitely, definitely doing some damage, making it hard for Sugiwara to establish her range in that jab. Austin, Massachusetts. Oh, big step in left by Miyazaki. Oh, step in right uppercut to the body by Sugiwara, but a nice overhand left by Miyazaki. This third round is the best round so far between these two. They're scrapping here. Absolutely scrapping. Push kick by Sugiwara. Double right jab by Miyazaki. One minute and 15 seconds on the clock. Ooh, Sugiwara, a little duck and roll there. Nice right hand. Oh, they're, they're 100 pounds each. That's crazy. Ooh, nice high kick and then a low kick by Miyazaki. I fucking curled 100 pounds the other day, bruh. Like, come on. One bar, one bar. Let's, let's not get crazy here. <laughs> Inside low kick by Miyazaki. They clinch. A little face wash there by Sugiwara before she knees Miyazaki in the body. 33 seconds left on the clock. Twenty seconds. Nice job by Sugiwara getting out of the way there. It's almost three a.m. here, but I wish I had a hundred milligram cola drink. Yeah, you and I are same time zone, right? You're Illinois. I'm 
Minnesota. Minnesota. Oh, swing and a miss by Sugiwawa. And that is it, ladies and gentlemen. Hmm, interesting fight to score, man. You guys think this goes to a fourth round? This one could go to a round four. This was this was another razor thin one. First round, I think, Sugiwara won, but the second and third. All right, one judge has it a draw. Second, we're going to a fourth. We're going to overtime, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go. I thought Rise won it. I thought she did enough in the second and third as well, but 10 10 every round on every judge's scorecard. All right, let's do it. Dude, now you got to imagine that they're just going to go balls to the wall, or should I say vagina to the wall? Oh, sorry, buddy. Okay, I will make it up to you, I promise. So I feel bad, so this is on me. I should have ran it down at the beginning of the show, so I promise um, to make sure you get your rise and picks early. I'm, I'm filming a video on Thursday. And I promise I will drop it Friday morning for you, brother. All right? So if you want to bet on Ryzen this weekend, because we will be hosting a fight companion for Ryzen, I promise I will get you my Ryzen picks, okay? All right. Fourth round. Let's get it on. But, I mean, sprinkle a little half unit on the Persian guy just in case. Even though he's a pretty big underdog, I mean... Sprinkle a little some sum, sum. I mean, at this point, you're... so you don't have much to lose, but a little bit to gain. But I did pretty good on my rise and picks last time, so I'm confident going into this card. All right, extra round has begun. Let's get it on. Oh, a nice left in the pocket by Sugiwara. I'm going to go through and just pick a few right now. <laughs> just hammer through it. Hammer time. Chicago is beautiful. Yep, Shirley, Illinois. At least we have a good chance to get a sweet 16. Real close one to call. Let him fight another round. Yeah, I've never been to Chicago, but I'm going to do a road trip there uh, probably at the end of the summer. All good. Just Silva fight closes. Got 20 minutes. Okay, sweet. Too much violence, especially downtown. Eh? One minute, 41 seconds on the clock. Look, there's a lot of them. Even Minnesota's crime, is, or Minneapolis's crime is going up as well. St. Paul isn't too bad, though. One minute, 23 seconds on the clock. I'd say there's more violence in Minneapolis and more homeless in St. Paul. The homeless aren't as, you know, they're not really violent. One minute, 12 seconds. Just got a little nice in the summer. Man, most, like, Illinois and Minnesota are beautiful in the summer. Wisconsin, well, it's Wisconsin, but... Boston's always been violent. All the older cities, yeah. 55 seconds on the clock. Miyazaki, Miyazaki's... She's been the more active fighter in this round, man. Oh, a nice overhand round by Miyazaki. Miyazaki blocked a lot of Sugiwara shots in this round, and she's the more active fighter. Nice right hand and ducked under that spinning back fist that Sugiwara wanted to throw. Come on, Rise. Leave it to the women to get to get a win for Rise. Kick to the body. 13 seconds left. Outside low kick. Dude, I think Rise is going to take this one. I think Rise is going to take this one. 
And that is it. I think she's gonna go. I think she's gonna go. She she thinks she thinks she's got it. She thinks she's got it. Um who do I take in the Silva fight? I'm leaning the Japanese fighter just because he's fought in better kickboxing promotions. So I'm leaning him. I know the Japanese fighter is the favorite, right? Miyazaki's gonna win it. I mean, she does. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> finally has a win. Leave it to the woman going overtime round. Unbelievable. Oh, Silva's fought fucking 46 fights, though. It's just tough because he's fought recently, anyways, not as good competition as Riku. Five KOs, 23 KOs. I'm leaning still the Japanese fighter. Like, he's good, don't get me wrong, but recently he hasn't fought. Like, he's fought in what, what the fuck promotion has he been fighting in? Yeah, like, he's been fighting in Centuron, SFT, like, whereas Riku's been fighting in, uh, oh man, he's been fighting in fucking K1, Crush, Shootbox. Yeah, that's another one though where Silva's not a bad underdog. I'm leaning. Oh no, that one's a pick em on my odds here. If the Brazilian's the underdog, you know, he's not a bad underdog at all, but I'm leaning towards the Japanese fighter. I think we have one more K1 versus Raz. Before we get to the pay-per-view. Uh, I'm good where I'm at here in central Illinois. A lot of people from Chicago are going to Minneapolis. Chicago a lot in the 2000s and Al Capone days. Cat Williams said that the famous Richard Pryor was a dick-sucking crackhead. <laughs> well, I do know he smoked crack, but he's one of the greatest comedians of all time. Him and George Carlin are my two favorites. I have some, I have Richard Pryor records that my dad gave me. Leave in Boston less than two years, buying a house in Thailand and a place in northern Alabama or Mississippi, six months each a year. Grow a bunch of old school strains. Let's go. Hey, shout out to the rice. Oh, that's a beautiful belt. The rice belt. Ooh, chef's kiss. I'm from Richard Pryor's hometown and Sean Livingston. Oh, nice. He fought Uber drivers. <laughs> yeah, I like to I like to dabble in the fun guy as well. Haven't for years though, but back home on Vancouver Island, man, you could just go foraging in certain spots of the island. I know the good spots. Chanterelles and magic mushrooms, picking them each on the same trail. Ooh, Blood Moon. That's a good one. Yeah, yeah. On uh, So, Palmen, I'm originally from Vancouver Island, British Columbia, and they grow wild there as well. Sean Chicago got mad history. You went Silva? All right, let's do it. He's from Peoria. Oh, okay. okay. Pryor and Carl. Yeah, they're, they're, they're legends. That's a dope belt. I went silver too. Okay, well, Strainy's been lucky so far, man. Strainy's been lucky so far. I've been 13 years since I It's been about... I want to say 10 for me. Uh, maybe 8. 24 hours, you should be sure. <laughs> That's a good idea, Grant. You're going to live good. 
Dude, sh- shrooms humble the most egotistical of people. I wouldn't dare to pick them in the wild myself. I'm not knowledgeable, knowledgeable enough to do that. Yeah, so I, I went with like a forager, and that's what he does like for a living. He's a mushroom picker. He picks chanterelles. He picks all sorts of uh, mushrooms. And he sells a lot at like farmer's markets. Like he's a straight fucking hippie back home. And uh, he's got the good shit. But no, um, you can even look it up for yourself. Uh, it's called Sandbar Trail. So many mushrooms you can pick there. Yo, what's up, Adam? Do you know where I can watch Jason Fawcett versus Adam Spall? So I'm watching on... Uh, I bought the pay-per-view, but try this, buddy. Again, unconfirmed. I haven't looked at it yet. But usually you can find kickboxing fights here. Uh, Adam, try that out again. Again, no guarantees. No guarantees. Or try this one. But again, I bought the pay-per-view, guys. I bought the pay-per-view. I got to be ego just confident. You had to be feared, at least respected where I grew up. No, fair enough, dude. smart enough 24 years ago yeah man I mean, you've, you've told me a little bit you know surface level about your story and, and i've told you like i got nothing but the utmost respect and and you know you're an inspiration to me man i mean you when, when i meet people who've like come from the bottom back up to the top i mean it, it shows that like you know if i'm feeling shitty one day or if it's like you know doubting myself it's like nah man i know people in this case, not personally, but f- for the sake of conversation, you know, I, I know people in my personal life who've gone through and you know a, a lot, a lot worse things, and have been able to come out of them even better. And like I said, like that's why my dad's such a big inspiration. I mean, the guy escaped a fucking war-torn revolution at 17 years of age, and he made something of himself. Like, you know, not that that's why I have the respect for people like you guys. Uh, in about two hours, buddy. In about two hours. Who's my most confident pick out of the main card? Hmm. Probably Pascal and Verdonk. Uh, I also really like the Thai guy. Uh, what's his? Where is he? When's he fighting? Um, what the fuck is his name? Hold on. Uh, oh, the guy who's against uh, Buckboard. I like the tie fighter up against Buckboard. For some reason, I, it's not on my betting line here. But I like him as well. Uh, I don't really, to be perfectly honest, buddy. Um, I'm more of like a global MMA fan as far as like me following all the fighters and all the regional scene. I'm just a fan of kickboxing in general. And I know a few names on this card, but you know, I'm, I'm never going to miss uh, the K1 World Max. So my apologies, Adam. But is anybody in the live chat have any opinions on uh, Fossa versus Adam Sp- uh, Spool? Thank you. Should respect you, your dad, your chat, good people, 70s, 80s, 90s, different era altogether. Absolutely. Uh, Jack D, scroll up in the live chat, buddy. I already shared some. My tie uh, guy fight yet he'll win. We have a comedy club here. You should check it out. Yeah, man. Well, I'll hit you up definitely when I come to when I come to Illinois, man. I like the Muay Thai fighter. I haven't said anything in a while, but I'm still here. Hey, still awake. Let's go, the bra. <laughs> Don't know anyone fighting, but every MMA style is important. Absolutely. He's got good odds to win. Okay. All right. Our last Rise versus K1 matchup, ladies and gentlemen. We have Gunji Tato 
representing K1, 30 fights, 24 wins, 5 losses, 6 KO TKOs. Up against Monguchi, Keisuke, 18 fights, 15 wins, 2 losses. He's representing Rise. Rise has only won one single fight on this K1 versus Rise matchup here, ladies and gentlemen. Let's take a look at uh, Monguchi. Who's his last few fights? So, oh, he's on a six fight win streak right now in Rise. Six fight win streak right now in Rise, but only one finish. He's gone up against uh, th three out of those six are, are really good opponents. The rest are... Mm. Taito Gunji. Oh my god, he's on a huge win streak too. Six, eight, ten. Twelve fight win streak. Four finishes in that win streak right now. He's the fifth K1 World Grand Prix winner is Taito Gunji. I'm going with the K1 guy. But I'm rooting for the rise guy. Oh man, intense stare down. All right, last of the K1 versus Arise. And we have two champions here. We have two champions going up against each other again. All right, round one, ladies and gentlemen. Let's I know I've been saying it all stream, but how awesome is the broadcast here tonight, guys? The announcers, the play-by-play, -play, the color, it's amazing. Close across the street from our racer. Oh, nice. Dude, the bra has been here since the beginning. Who do you offer the for Tara fight? I only have like eight fights. You're, again, you're asking the wrong guy, dude, but I'll give you the best. Uh, Tara versus Akopin. Honestly, I I don't know either of them, dude. I'm not going to lie. But I'll lean Armenia over Ukraine. Two minutes and 14 seconds on the clock. Gunji in, uh, in the red corner. Monguchi in the blue. Nah, he... Uh, he got some much needed sleep. He got some much needed sleep. <laughs> Inside low kick by Kunji. But I mean, he might be waking up soon, so maybe he'll just jump on and say what's up. One minute and 40 seconds on the clock. Outside low kick by Kunji. Right hand by Monguchi. Right by Kunji. Left of the body and Mong Monguchi a lot more stoic. Really cool shorts though by Monguchi guys. Here we go bombs. Oh nice! Oh they're swinging in the pocket. They're absolutely swinging in the pocket right now. Each of them landing some huge shots and a nice knee by Gunji. Oh knee knee knee! Monguchi landed a knee right through the pocket on Gunji. One minute left. Pretty much non-existent. Uh, it was just legalized, so a lot of unregulated smoke shops, and the products are horrendous. They're so bad. So I don't. Uh, yeah, because uh, it was it was literally just legalized like four months ago. So it's going to take like a year or two for the proper rollout. Thirty seconds on the clock. Ooh, a nice double shot to the body by Gunji. And a nice counter left. And there's another knee by Monguchi. What a fight. What a fight. So yeah, Sean, they actually don't sell just pure flour. It's all just Delta 8 and Delta 9 fucking bullshit. With like coated flavors. And, yeah. Oh, a nice right hand by Gunji right at the belt. Dude, what a round. What a round. Oh, yeah, it's going to help the state out for sure. It was the same in Canada provincially. Boxing is much better uh, for Gunji for sure. Yeah, Delta products are junk. 
They're putting together some nice combos, man. Well, I like how Mongucci's, he's got more knees. He's got more of like a, well, a kickboxing and, and, and Thai style where Gunji's way more just like traditional boxing. Hell yeah, granted. Dude, back in Canada, it's wicked cheap. Like, and it's like primo. Well, in British Columbia, anyways, I can't speak on the behalf of the rest of Canada, but in, in British Columbia, it's primo, that BC bud, baby, and it's so cheap. I love what we're talking about weed on a Japanese stream where it's like so illegal in Japan. <laughs> 200 grams of 1k euro. Okay, okay. Round two, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go. Nice, Sean. That's the way to do it. Two minutes and 36 seconds on the clock. Oh, a nice left and a right by Mongucci. Gucci, again, very, very stoic here. Not really light on his feet at all. Left in a high kick by Mongucci. <laughs> Gunji light on his feet. Gunji maybe trying to draw Mongucci into the pocket there. Nice right hand by Gunji. Left to the body by Gunji. Knee by Mongucci. But that's like top notch. Okay, got you. So in Canada or in BC, I guess I can get I can get an ounce of Primo for eighty bucks. So it's about half, you know, less than half the price. Oh, counter right and left by Gunji. What a fight! What a fight! Yeah, not in, not in uh, BC, but in Minnesota, it's this. Yeah, Minnesota is the same age, but in in BC in Canada, and again, I can't speak on behalf of the other provinces because I just I don't know. Oh, a nice flying knee attempt by Mongucci, but but yeah, you you can get you can get an ounce for anywhere between eighty and one fifty in Canada, depending on what you're looking for. Denver, the highest taxes state in the U.S. Oh, shit. Even over California for their cannabis products? 44 seconds on the clock, by the way, guys. Oh, nice step in left of the body. Dude, both of these guys' styles are so different, and that's what makes for such a great matchup here. That's why everyone in Canada is stoned, bro. Because alcohol is so expensive up north, so, but weed's so cheap. Oh, and it's legal. A nice right to the body by Gunji. And Mongucci clinches there. Nice left hook by Gunji. What a fight. What a fight, man. Every fight on this card is delivering. Wow, Sean. I like this Gunji guy. Yeah, dude, me too. All right, that's the end of the second round. What a fight. What a fight. How are you guys scoring this one? How are you guys scoring this one so far? You don't pay taxes on me. It's still expensive. Ah, got you, got you. Wait, it's not legal? Than that. Well, I guess you... I guess you got Amsterdam in your backyard, though, right? <laughs> so if you need to go somewhere where it's legal... It's not far, eh? Or it's not, it's easy to travel there. Oh, really? Is it like decriminalized then? All right, third and final round. 
Two minutes and 57 seconds on the clock. Nice, AJ. Monguji first round and Gunji second round, I think. Yep. Yeah, because yeah, Monguji landed that beautiful knee in the first round. Oh, okay, Sean. If they freaking round up over 35%. Outside low kick by Monguchi. I just love the clash of styles between these two guys. Such different styles, but it's making for such a tremendous fight. And a nice right uppercut by each of them. And a right uppercut and a left and a right by Monguchi. Now a knee by Gunji. Oh my god, dude. What a tremendous third round. I can't keep up with the combos that they are throwing on each other, ladies and gentlemen. I cannot keep up with the amount of strikes that these guys are throwing. This is phenomenal. Oh, nice right hand. Knee to the body after landing left and right by Monguchi. Right uppercut by Monguchi. Left hand by Gunji. Seems like a Muay Thai fight instead of kickboxing. You have some weird laws. And Jeremy Weed is about to be like, oh, okay. Weed's been legal in Saskatchewan since 2018. No clue if it's good, though. I can't legally try for another month. Oh, okay. Well, in another month, the bra check back. I imagine it's. I imagine you get most of it from from British Columbia. Dude, shout out to Sasky, by the way. Some of my best friends are in fucking Saskatchewan. Four of my dearest friends, man. Um, Two of them are in Saskatoon and one's right outside of Regina. He, he has a farm. Uh, 55 seconds on the clock. And people from Saskatchewan are just way nicer than people from Alberta. 42 seconds on the clock. I lived in Alberta for a bit, so I know. And I like Alberta. It's based, but Saskatchewan is like real Canadiana. And fuck Ontario. 25 seconds on the clock. Oh, overhand right by Monguchi, man. I have no idea who's going to win this third round. Dude, this, this, this might be fight of the night. This, like, the bar keeps getting set higher and higher, ladies and gentlemen. Final 10 seconds. Oh, knee by Gunchi. Knee by Gunchi. Oh my god, they both just let loose. And neither of them are wearing much damage at all. Some of the products here wants to cash in. Call it the calling it the gold rush. Dude, every fight has been off the freaking hook. And this one might be oh, this one could go into overtime. Okay, one judge has it for Monguchi. Dude, has been. One judge has it for Monguchi. One judge has it for a draw. And one judge has it for Gunji. We're going over time. We're going over time. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God. We're going to overtime. One judge had a Monguchi, one judge had a Gucci, and one judge had a draw. Bro, we are fucking spoiled, ladies and gentlemen. We are fucking spoiled. This is the, the best fight of the night, and we get one more fucking round. Let's go, let's go. Fuck yeah. Let's fucking go. Oh my god, dude. That shit beautiful than a motherfucker. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Thailand weed is legal, but they want to make it for medical use only because of a lot of kids start smoking weed because of the legalization. Now, fair enough. I want Gunji to win. <laughs> Worst feeling in the world. My heart is racing out of my fucking chest, man. 
Dude, Gunji looks dialed, man. Round four, ladies and gentlemen. What a treat. We are blessed. We are blessed. Inside Loki by Gunji. Double F jab by Gunji. Left and a right by Monguchi. Oh my god. You exhausted and the judges say they need another round. <laughs> yeah, I could imagine. These guys are both like, oh. all right, one more, baby. They both look relatively fresh, though. Oh, like we're just picking up where we left off in the third, dude. In the pocket? I mean, in the pocket, they're, they're, they're freaking fighting like Navarrete and Valdez, man. There you go in the granite. There's a freaking boxing reference. Right hand by Gunji. Nice counter left by Gunji. Monguchi with the left of the body. Step and knee by Monguchi. Oh, beautiful counter. Right, left, and a left. And oh, Gunji piecing him up. Gunji piecing him up here. Overhand left by Gunji. Man, this is tremendous. Another knee by Monguchi. What? Gunji with the left and a right. Walking forward is Monguchi. Checking the leg kick, Monguchi. The, pressuring him into the corner and a great tuck and roll by Gunji getting out of the corner. Back to the center of the cage. And a nice left, right, and a left by Monguchi. And dude, Gunji's just still got the speed. Gunji just still has the speed. Gunji with the left and a right. Gunji with the left and a right. Gunji with that counter left hook. And a knee to the body by Monguchi. One minute and 10 seconds on the clock. And Monguchi needs to do something huge here because Gunji is outworking him in the fourth round. And Monguchi steps in with a knee. Where the great white sharks swim, deep waters bite down on those mouthpieces. And the left and a right and a counter left by Gunji. And Monguchi just doesn't have the energy to match him. Dude, I saw from the moment the camera went to Gunji's face right before the fourth round, I knew he was going to win this one. He looked at dialed. This is absolutely insane. 30 seconds on the clock, ladies and gentlemen. Monguchi takes another left. Gunji pushing forward. They clinch. Fifteen seconds. And a left and a right by Gunji. Gunji with a left hook again. 10 seconds, 10 seconds. And a right and a left by Gunchi, and that is it, ladies and gentlemen. Gunchi's gonna take this. Gunchi is gonna take this. Monguchi climbs the ropes there, and he's getting pumped, saying, I won. Judges wanted, bro, I won another round. Let's see how they score it, man. Dude, fight of the night so far. Gunji got one. Dude, one judge is a Monguchi. Oh my god, wait, here's the tiebreaker. Split decision. Come on, Gunji. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He won. He won. Gunji wins split decision. It was the right decision. 15 rounds in boxing before 12. Oh my God, dude. What a fucking fight. Almost that was too close. Gunjai. What a fight. Standing O, oh, man. Standing ovation. Oh, that was awesome. That was fucking awesome. Fun guy, man. Wow. Yeah. Wow.
The fights just do. And Strainy, we're moving to the main card now, ladies and gentlemen. Now, we are going to be moving to pay-per-view. And I mean, if you guys, if you guys are not entertained, you're crazy. It, it, this is worth the, how much does it cost? What, like 20 bucks? Unreal. Uh, nine more fights left, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. Unreal. Unreal, ladies and gentlemen. Entertained is an understatement, right? Wow. That was incredible. That was unbelievable. He is such a good boxer in the pocket, man. Such a good boxer in the pocket. I'll find it somewhere for five fingers. Definitely. Dude, I'm like, I'm just coming down from that high that was that fight, man. said his opponent was really really strong dude and it's crazy like they he said uh well k1 by the way guys they cleaned up man they cleaned up eight to three over the weekend and today rise el dorado and k1 world max K1 cleaned up eight to three, but two very, very close matches. Yo, what's up, Jonathan? Good to see you, buddy. I don't know what emoji you posted there, but what's up, Jonathan? Unbelievable, guys. All right, well. Time to fire up the pay-per-view, ladies and gentlemen. Time to fire up the pay-per-view. That was so awesome. That was freaking amazing. Yeah, only 14 minutes till the... 14 minutes. All right, purchase all set. Let's go. All right, so 15 minutes. That's not bad, man. 15 minutes till the pay-per-view starts. Trying to translate this pay-per-view purchase from Japanese. Okay, well, um, Jonathan, I'm watching it on uh, Triller. So if, if you're in Japan, you can, uh, I think you can watch it on a Bima, no? Yeah, don't quote me. I'm, I'm in the United States. So I just, I just bought it off Triller. It was 24 bucks, um, USD. I imagine it's the same in Canada or maybe it's $30 in Canada. I don't know, but fuck man, if we're getting fights like this, holy shit, it's worth every single penny, we're worth every single penny. All right. So yeah, this final portion of the card, uh, for me anyways, is you know, twenty four bucks. But um, you guys might be able to find it here. Again, I haven't double checked this. Again, I haven't checked either of those. I I bought the pay per view for me. Like this is. I'll I'll save on a freaking fast food meal or you know I'll I'll budget a little bit more on my next grocery trip to be able to pay for this cuz this is and I I want to be able to download this after like I I want to keep this event so I'm I'm 100% buying the pay-per-view Uh what's up buddy 
Uh, we got uh, Vetch Sport Info here. Uh, Romano uh, Bakbur was the only fighter to miss weight. He will be fined 20% of his purse. Starts the fight with a one-point deduction. Additionally, he has to wear 10-ounce gloves instead of 8-ounce. Wow, I did not know that. Thank you so much for that info, buddy. I mean, Vetch Sport Info. It's, it's in your name. Thank you, dude. Beer, are you going to finish my cleaning? See you once the pay-per-view starts. Sounds good, dude. Big up, man. Oh, Jonathan, thank you so much for stopping by, dude. And guys, sorry that I'm whispering like a fucking crazy person. It's 3.30 a.m. where I live right now. And my office is right under my roommate's bedroom, unfortunately. So if this was the weekend, I'd be hooting and hollering. But like because it's a Wednesday morning and they're going to be waking up for work in like two hours, I, you know, I want to be respectful and just not a dick. So... That's why I'm whispering like a crazy person. But as you can see, the energy levels are here, even though I'm going full ASMR up in this motherfucker. I appreciate you guys. Hey, smash that like button if you haven't already. If you want, subscribe to the channel. Again, I promise I'm not just, I'm not a crazy person who whispers through streams. If you want to check some of my last streams, you know, I actually talk normally, but uh, we do play-by-play -play commentary and host multiple fight companions kickboxing, Muay Thai, MMA, boxing, jiu-jitsu, you name it. If it's combat sports, we cover it here on this channel. We stream up to 40 hours a week hanging out with you guys, watching the amazing, well, everything that is a combat sport. So again, big shout to everyone who's joined us here tonight. And we got nine more fights, man. Vet Sport Info, Jonathan, appreciate you guys for just stopping in. You guys are amazing. Everybody here has been amazing. These fights have been amazing. Man, like, this is arguably the best card of 2024 so far. MMA, kickboxing, more, it doesn't matter. This is arguably the best card in 2024. You know what? <laughs> Excluding one Friday fights, because those kind of always deliver we just see these nasty fucking Thai guys knock each other out with crazy ass elbows and shit but uh fuck man over overall this has been absolutely tuning in from holland dude that shit beautiful than a motherfucker we have netherlands holland various parts of the united states canada unbelievable we got people from all over the world here hanging out with us here tonight so i appreciate you guys all right I'm going to, oh, Scotland as well. Let's go. Let's go. Dude, I want to go to Scotland so bad. I want to go hiking in Glasgow. So I want to do like a, like three weeks in Scotland. I want to go hiking in Glasgow, and then I just want to drink for the rest of the time. So I want to like do kind of like my, my planned Thailand trip where I want to like train for the first few weeks and then just drink, smoke, and... Uh, and uh, and go and watch a bunch of Muay Thai. Oh, pfft. hey, well, when I when I visit, I'll uh, I'll let you know. And beers on first, second, and third round on me, buddy. The Limburg and Holland are provinces in the Netherlands. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. I sounded like an idiot there. We're both Dutch. Let's go. Oh, we are in Limburg. I haven't done a lot of traveling um, outside of North America. Like I've seen so much of Canada. I've seen so much of the United States. I've seen some of Mexico as well. But I'm one of those who like my vacations were like I went hiking, you know, or road trips around North America. But um, I'm, I'm hoping that I can start seeing the world sooner than later. I know you'll love it here. Yeah, um, I, I I dated a girl who went uh, who went there and did a bunch of hiking. <laughs> hey, and now we have a little show with all the ring card girls, dude. K one is based, bro. Are you guys Are you guys seeing this right now? I'll say it. I'll, I've said it once. I'll say it again. Rise and K1 ring card girl fight kits blow horizons out of the water. Yo, Ippo, come visit us, Suze. We'll take you to glory event. Yes, dude. How I will. I want to go to a glory event so bad. Hey, 
you guys, if you subscribe to the channel and keep watching, we'll, you'll, you'll get updates on when I'm going to come visit. Isha, what do you, what do you, th who do you think is taking the Grand Prix title home? Mm -mm -mm. I am leaning towards C. Liu. I know he's the favorite. Cena is just way too confident coming into this one. I'm hoping NHI brings it home. I love the Oh, sorry. Uh, that's the Grand Prix. They're fighting for uh, the Cruiserweight champion. My bad. My bad. Um, I'm hoping that's for the, so for the Cruiserweight belt. I, I think C. Liu is going to take it. Um, and I'm rooting for the Thai guy as well, buddy. I'm rooting for the Thai guy as well. Palm always comes through in Asia. Let's go. Bro, there's a straight up like ring card girl show going on right now. Yeah. I could move to Japan. <laughs> Excited for Cena. Interviewing him two weeks ago. Let's go, dude. Yeah, I'm half Persian. So like, I'm like, I'm rooting for, you know, my... My distant Persian cousin, but uh, I know I know the Chinese guy is the is the favorite, and he hits really really hard. All right, guys, I'm gonna take a quick break. Um, I'm just gonna grab a little bit more coffee. I'm gonna drain the main vein. I gotta pee, and then we'll be back here to cover the pay-per-view ladies and gentlemen that's right the pay-per-view starts in just a few minutes so we will be back to cover the pay-per-view here for the k1 world max grand prix literally starts in four minutes so i'm gonna take a four minute break talk amongst yourselves we'll be back in just a few minutes this is the first and only break of the show ladies and gentlemen smash that like button subscribe and we'll see you on the other side for the main card of the k1 max 2024 you need strong coffee <laughs> shoot i might have to just brew some i think this is the last little bit of it anyways back on the other side do not go anywhere and tell the chat if there's a lot of people who start joining tell them don't worry he will be back we're just taking a quick break here k1 world max 2024 opening round back here on the other side do not go anywhere we'll be right back
It's I'm talking to you. Go to this shit. Don't go against me. Never again. We boys, though. We boys, though. City Life Project YouTube channel ASMR edition because everyone in my house is sleeping because it's almost 4 a.m. Back here for another fight companion, ladies and gentlemen. Appreciate every single one of you who have been joining us throughout this entire card. That is right. We have been streaming for almost five freaking hours, ladies and gentlemen. And what a tremendous card it has been. One of the best cards of the year kickboxing mma it, it doesn't matter this is one of the best cards of the year ladies and gentlemen and i appreciate everybody in the live chat here it's been an amazing vibe bites have delivered some of you have been winning some money as well again so freaking excited for now this final part of the card the grand prix the tournament ladies and gentlemen anyways another big shout out you all for joining i mean i cannot thank you guys enough this has been such a fun freaking card so i'll dim down the music so you guys can listen to this shit on repeat and uh, we'll get back to the coverage i mean very much more of a chill stream as i've been given live play-by-play -play commentary you've been seeing my reaction we've been interacting with you guys throughout the entire stream but because it's so late slash early for me like the energy has been high but i've had to be pretty quiet here so i'm not a crazy person i swear <laughs> you can check the tape you can check old streams <laughs> nine times out of ten i talk normally but uh, hey whenever we have these late late night slash early morning cards in japan i gotta be respectful for those who live and who are sleeping above my office uh, if you're new to the channel, smash that like button and subscribe as we do Fight Companions every single week. We stream up to 40 hours a week covering the world of combat sports. And we're starting early this week. Usually we start on Fridays, but we're starting on a Tuesday. Well, now Wednesday. So uh, like I said, smash that like button and uh, let's get right back to the comments here. Bum, 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 bum. City love, city love, boom, boom, boom. Let's go. 
Armenia, Netherlands, Russia, Dutch, four of the finals. I'm glad I watched this one. Yeah, I'm glad I uh, jumped in your live chat and reminded you or just like, you know, nudged you a little bit because uh, this has been awesome. You're fine. You it's all good. This was epic. Mm -mm -mm. All right. Man, all these... uh. All these panelists here in Japan, the women and the dudes, I mean, they're all they're all swagged out right now. Beautiful red dress, white dress, and buddy in the freaking pinstripe black on black suit. Like, damn, I'm jealous of that suit. Uh, hey, thank you guys. All right, so the next fight coming up here is Dengue Silva up against Riku. Riku's got 12 professional fights, nine wins, two losses, five knockouts, though. So 60% knockout ratio. Looking at his opponent, 46 fights, 42 wins, 23 knockouts, four losses. Hey, he's my age. He's my age. We're, Riku's a little bit younger, a little bit younger. Uh, let me know your guys' thoughts in the live chat. Who do you think is going to win this next one? Um, love the interaction. So, yeah, keep the live chat coming, ladies and gentlemen. Keep the live chat bumping. It has been bumping all evening. And, again, if you can't find a place to watch this, ask the live chat. They can help you out. I bought the pay-per-view. I'm in the United States. So, I, uh, I can't speak on behalf of those who are overseas or who are in Japan, but... I did give some suggestions in the live chat, and I see a Palman and Stand uh, Stand Mup are uh, are helping each other out there. Viva Silva, the Asian in this one. Um, fights should start at the top of the hour. By the way, they're just uh, the panel here is previewing all the fights coming up. Oh, it hasn't even started yet, brother. It hasn't even started. So you're good. You're good. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see how everyone's loving this on Twitter. Everyone seemed to be enjoying this on Twitter. Wow, this is this is unbelievable. Oh shit, guys! Breaking news: Liam Harris. And signed a contract. He's gonna him and one championship are about to announce a fight. Wow. I'm just going through Twitter right now, seeing uh seeing how everyone's digging this card. And I mean everyone is just swooning over it just like us. I'm just going to comment too on Twitter saying and say that this is one of the best cards of the year. I'm going to say one of, if not the best combat, combat sports cards of the year. Hey, the former K1 CEO is making his walk in. Now, that's cool. Yo, we're Scotty Coker. Is he here as well? <laughs> K1 advisor, Kazushi, or Kazushi Ishii. All right, so yeah, the pay-per-view has begun. Dude, everyone's just loving this card right now. Wow. I mean, as they should, but like it is it is buzzing on Combat Sports Twitter. I'm sorry, Cena should take it. Isha, I'll lend you two tracks on Twitter and your DMs. Yes, yes, please do, please do. Oh, thanks, buddy. Mm 
Mm -hmm. right, so it looks like Ishii's just going to address the audience a little bit here. We got no translation on the pay per view? Bruh. The English broadcaster, he's just taking a break. He's just taking a break. Yo, stand, uh, stand him up. I don't know what you're saying, brother. You and Palman are knee deep in your conversation. But if you can, smash that like button on this video as we're trying to get to 30 likes on this video. And uh, don't be shy. Subscribe to the channel too. <laughs> All right. What, what fights coming up are you guys looking forward to the most? Nine more fights left on the card, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what this guy's saying, but like, I'm I am enthralled. <laughs> Um, by the way, a big shout out uh, to Paul, man, for the two euros, man. Donated this a while ago in the stream, but uh, haven't forgotten. So thank you, buddy. Bro, <laughs> Jay's probably waking up for work right now. All right, we're just waiting for the, the fighters to... Uh, well, to make their walkouts, but they're just, uh, like I said, former, wasn't he the CEO, former CEO, now advisors, just addressing the audience here. Jay will jump in. Silva for this one? It's it's close, man. It's close. Because, yeah, he has the experience. I mean, the betting odds are a pick -em right now. I think they were like minus 115 apiece. Yeah, he's got the experience, but like this kid hits hard, man. And I don't know how fast he is. So I'm, I'm interested to see this one. And, and even though he only has 12 fights, he's fought arguably in the better promotion, right? Because what we'll highlight both of the fighters here, but Silva fought in SCT primarily. SFT, my apologies, and, and Centurion. So, I mean, compared to his opponent, despite him having more fights, this guy's fought in yeah, K1 and Crush, Shootbox. Oh, shit, that's actually pretty cool. He's done some shoot box as well this one's a pick em, but uh i'm leaning towards the japanese fighter they always talk much those old ceos <laughs> uh, where's your cash app i haven't made a cash app yet dude i was saying this in my last stream in canada they like Money apps aren't a thing because everyone you can do direct, uh, you can email money to each other via direct bank to bank. So, other than PayPal, and I just set up a Venmo, you know, I'm still, I'm still new here, right? I just set up a US bank as well. So, not US bank, but a US bank account. So, I don't have a, I don't have a cash app yet, but I'm, I'm slowly adding all the apps because one person has Zelle, the other person has fucking PayPal, one person has. Venmo, another person is Cash App. I can't keep up with all these friggin' apps. <laughs> Hurry up before I fall asleep. What's up, Nate Vell? Uh, I bought the pay per view, buddy. Uh, Nate Vell, you can try this.
Yeah, you, you, you don't need to give me anything, Mr. Uh, Mister In the Granite. I'm just glad you're here, buddy. I'm just glad you're here. Dude, I'm going to be streaming Rise and I'm, oh man, in, you're, you are far too kind. You are far too kind, dude. I'll get to that in one sec. Buaka, yes. I can't wait. And dude, I will be streaming that. I will be streaming that. I know that, Paulman, but YouTube, look, I don't want to be pee pee whacked by YouTube. Let's just say that. Let's just say it's a little bit more, uh, how you say, totally legal if I write it like that. And a certain and a certain algorithmo doesn't pick up on it. But uh, thank you, Mister, in, in the granite. But just quickly to uh, to address this comment that's on screen, I will be streaming Ryzen this weekend as well as Jay Smooth. So you have your pick of the litter as far as uh, we want to hang out with for that one, or if you want to go back and forth. But yeah, I mean, knock on wood that Kimura makes uh, or passes his drug test because Ryzen said if he fails a drug test, he's not fighting here anymore. And in the granite, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, sorry, that was super loud. Thank you for the super sticker, man. I'm just jumping on YouTube right now to see what the sticker is. It's, I'm on my streaming, I'm on StreamYard right now. But seriously, man, you did not have to do that. I'm just so fucking happy that you've been hanging out with us throughout this stream. You're an absolute beauty, man. Seriously. Let's check out this sticker. Fucking go. We're about to we're about to work get a workout here, man. We're gonna get, we're gonna get a workout here if I if I leave my seat again and start shadow boxing. By the way, 26 likes. We're trying to get to 30. Smash that like button. Smash that like button. Bro, thank you so much for the super sticker. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, I'm going with Rafael Silva because his name reminds me of the former Pancrase champ and Bellator and one FC vet, Rafael Silva. Locking it in. It's jump change. Stop, hey. It means a lot, buddy. It means a lot. Uh, it, however, however, you, I have a PayPal. Uh, he says, "Chump change. I don't put more than twenty dollars in my PayPal. No problem at all." I just brought. I just got one of those bro sound cards. Let's go. My PayPal is just my email, by the way. But uh, if you prefer, if you ever like, if you feel you want to donate again, which again you don't have to, um, yeah. You, I can I can hook you up with my Venmo or PayPal on like we we can connect on Twitter or something like that. We don't have to do it in the live chat. But again, thank you so much for the super sticker. I appreciate it. But uh, yeah, dude, Ryzen this weekend is gonna be awesome. As far as mixed martial arts go, Ryzen is my favorite promotion. Now I know it's not the best promotion. Obviously, that's the UFC. The UFC is the the Premier League, the NFL, the NHL, the MLB of mixed martial arts. Oh, my God. Did we just lose the signal? Oh, no. Are you guys seeing what I'm seeing right now? What the fuck, Triller? Uh oh, we just lost the signal. We just lost the signal. Look at this shit. Uh oh. Okay, well, hopefully we get literally turn the cold open. Literally turn. Okay, okay, we're back. We're back. It scared the shit out of me. Signal's working on Hulu. God damn it, I should have just gone to Hulu. <laughs> no, we're back. We're back. Someone tripped over the freaking power cord in in the arena. All right, we have the cold open, ladies and gentlemen, which again, men, Japanese combat sports, whether it's MMA, whether it's kickboxing, like they have the, whether it's just boxing, they have the best cold open 
best cold opens, best intros in in the world. All right, so the intro to the K1 World Max 2024 Grand Prix is on right now. They're showing a little introduction of all the fighters. Oh, dude, reminds me of Godzilla. Dude, I love this. This is awesome. That's so cool. Like all these, all these fighters that they're uh, that they're highlighting here who are participating in on this card. Anyways, it's cool to see that one shot of them with like all their fucking belts. This guy with the mask needs to go. That's what that's what Jay was saying. Again, big shout out to everybody who's joining us live here on the channel. Don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe. We're gonna do live play by play, commentary, reaction, and most importantly, live interaction with all you amazing folks in the live chat here. We're just getting started, baby. Right, they're just showing Silva right now. Ooh, he fights out of Fighting Nerds? Fighting Nerds is a good gym, man. Fighting Nerds is a really good gym. Zenzation, where, where are you at globally? Where are you at globally, buddy? You can try either of these, but... Again, I, I don't know if these work or not because I bought the pay-per-view. The mass dude is German. No, he's good, man. Pascal, and he's the favorite, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, man. This, uh, this gold open just giving me chills, bro. I love how the Japanese put put together just unbelievable cold opens like this. He's the underdog plus three three. Oh shit! Tr clips is on top of it, guys. Yeah, because you were just making some bets before the line closed, so you would know. You would know. Man, this is so cool. We have so many people in the live chat here from all around the world, like I, like I was saying. And 4 a.m. my time. We got like 30 plus people in here. Guys, smash that like button if you haven't already. We're trying to hit our like goal of 30 likes on the video. Bro, I'm not even tired, man. Seriously, like when we do Ryzen streams, because there's some, sometimes such a lull between fights. And their intermissions are like 40 fucking minutes. Like sometimes I fade, but look, I'm not even close to fading right now. I'm 10% German. Jay doesn't like this guy. Probably won't like him just the way it is. <laughs> loyalty is royalty. I heard that, brother. I heard that. Uh, I've been like casually sipping on a big cup of coffee too throughout the whole night maybe that's the case maybe there's just maybe i haven't had that caffeine drop yet oh we're three likes away come on guys some make like that hitchhiker and some mash some mash some mash make like habib and smash 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 that like button dude appreciate you all By the way, we have a huge weekend of streams coming up. Um, we'll qu we can quickly just go over it here. Big weekend of streams, guys. Obviously, starting with the K1 World Grand Prix, which we're streaming right now on a freaking Wednesday morning. We'll be back Friday for Bellator. 
and BKFC Ryzen as well. Um, Octagon 55 on Saturday. Then I'm taking the night off. So no UFC for me Saturday night because I'm going to be doing Octagon during the day. But Sunday, I'll be back for Fury FC 88. So Sunday, Fury FC 88. Saturday, Octagon 55. And also Ryzen. Um, Friday night, BKFC 58. As well as Bellator. And uh, while you're watching K1 right now in the opening ceremony. With a little drum show is going on right now. Thanachai will win easy this Grand Prix. Let's go. Uh, these fights really pick up though. No delay after it starts. Oh, we got the whole opening ceremony now. I knew this was going to happen, TR Clips. I knew this was going to happen. We got a, we got a whole we got a whole show going on right now. Yeah, the BKFC card is going to be good. Um, it's an actual numbered card too, and I believe they're in Belgium for that one. Sixty percent Irish, thirty percent cool, or Sicilian, ten percent German. But yeah, it should be a really good card. 80% alcohol, 10% Dutch, 10% Ethiopian. <laughs> Sounds like RIP Neil Pert. Once it starts, probably, probably no delay. Uh, yeah, yeah, for sure. Like, there's not going to be a bunch of shit between each fight, I imagine. There's just a uh, Japanese and African drum show going on right now. Yo, what's up, Melly? Good to see you, buddy. Proud of my Irish and Italian. Let's go. I mean, it can't be a Japanese combat sports uh, card without, without a drum show. I mean, that's dating back to the pride days, man. Oh, here we go. Here's the big one. Dude, rest in peace, Neil Pert. I know Pert was the best drummer on the planet from the Canadian band Rush. Dude, I love Rush. Nah, I like it. Big show for big fights. Absolutely. like you don't see this shit in the ufc you don't see this in glory you only see this in japan i will say though the pride fc theme song back in the day when they boom 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 And the violin start. Oh, dude, that song slaps. The Pride FC theme song is like one of the one of the greatest theme songs for anything. Combat sports, TV, whatever. Glory finalized the Paris event card for April 27th, put it online, but removed it five minutes later. Oh, interesting. I haven't bought the pay-per-view for it yet. I always just buy a day of. Eight drummer sounds like one Neil Pert beat. Four countries killing it now. No, that's cool, man. I, I didn't I didn't know that there was gonna be a little bit of a show uh in the beginning. And I, I'm a music guy. I dig it. I love like there's so many different types of perc percussion instruments here too. Hey, fucking rights, bro. Oh, we got another song. 
All right, song number two. Oh, now they're playing the, the intro song. It looks like a Pink Floyd backdrop from the, the 80s tour. Dude, I just, oh, this is why Japan crushes it with their combat sports shows. They put on, it's just such a show. They got pyrotechnics. I mean, look, they got fireballs. Unbelievable. Dude, this is nuts, man. Bro, if, if I took a smoke break in that break, I'd be tripping right now. <laughs> what an opening ceremony. Uh, is this real live? What's up, Chris? It's good to see you, buddy. Chris, this is just a fight companion, man. This is just a fight companion. You got, you got to go buy the pay-per-view if you want to watch the video. We're just hanging out, talking about the fights. I'm doing play-by-play -play and commentary, but right now, right now, um, the fighters are now making their walkout. All right, here we go. Riku is making his walkout, ladies and gentlemen. Riku is making his walkout. Hey, yo, yo, what's up, our man? Good to see you, buddy. I wish I could pass this joint through the screen. I know, dude. <laughs> oh, sorry, all the fighters are making their walkout right now as they're going to introduce them all. Hey, there's Tanachai. There's Tanachai. In a way, and Tank and Crawford, my favorite smaller weight boxers. Inoue and Tank got a fight. Oh, man. Inoue is my favorite boxer right next to Neverette. He's Emmanuel Neverette. Is, he's unbelievable. Zenzation. I gave so many links, man. I literally gave it to you three times already, brother. You, you, got, you got to keep your eye on the live chat, my man. And if these don't work... You shit out of luck, bro, because I bought the pay-per-view. I don't mind helping you guys out, but if you're going to keep nagging me for stuff and not look at the live chat when I give you, you know, your gift, I don't got patience for that. Like, I'm not going to keep entertaining your comments if you, you ask me, I give you what you want, and then, you know, you don't even go use it. Been watching the prelims on a Bima and fight started at 8 30 a.m. a.m. here. It's almost 3 p.m. now. Bro, I've been watching uh for free on fight as well. I just bought the pay-per-view. Um I started at 11 p.m. on Tuesday. It is now 4 20 a.m. on Wednesday. The monster. Fair enough, dude. Fair enough. Uh, R.I.P. Marvelous Marvin Hagler, my favorite ever. Yes, rest in peace. My dad was a big boxing guy, and he was a big he was a big fan of uh, Marvin. All right, so all the fighters are uh, making their walkouts right now, as the opening ceremony is coming to a close. Unbelievable. Let's go. So like I said, guys, opening ceremony is just wrapping up. Um, all the fighters are on stage right now. They're getting a grand entrance for this Grand Prix opening round.
dude, six hours has gone by pretty quick, to be honest. Well, almost six hours, five hours and 19 minutes. I buy the Ryzen pay-per-view, but this is too much. Yeah, I mean, for just nine fights, I totally understand it, dude. I totally understand it. Compared to Ryzen, where you get the entire card. I love MMA and kickboxing and Muay Thai. Uh, as much, though, just boxing was before UFC when I was a kid. No, for sure. So I grew up more with MMA, right? Where, like, my dad and, you know, that generation, your guys' generation, way more boxing. Let's go. Dude, this is this is giving me chills. The smoke machines out and everything. Yeah, and once the fights start, the pacing should be good. Yeah, it's absolutely epic. Yeah, the pacing, like like I said, once the fights begin, the pacing should be, I mean, should be like the rest of the card. Because if anything, like they were 20 minutes early for their pay-per-view start, so it wasn't like they were rushing for, just for that. Like they were going to hit it regardless, because we had two overtimes as well. Muay Thai violence is the best, and that's just my opinion, yeah. I'm I'm more of a Muay Thai guy as well, as far as like my favorite type of combat sports. All right, guys. Dengue Silva and Riku coming up next year. Yeah, Muay Thai's off the change, especially the small gloves, man. Like one championship, they did it right with their Friday fights. That shit was wild. Yeah, K1's pacing has been really good, comp especially compared to Ryzen. Yeah, Ryzen's pacing is like, it puts you to sleep. <laughs> especially here when, I, when like the card starts at 1 a.m. I like them all equally. I love that. As long as there's violence in the granite is there. <laughs> Elite levels. All right, guys. Prediction time. Who you picking? Who you picking? Final chance to get your predictions in the live chat here. The fighters are going to be making their walkouts very, very soon. And again, cold open for this next fight is playing now. So right after this wraps up, there'll be a They'll be making their walk to the ring. In the grants, going for Silva. One Friday fight's pacing is amazing. Yes. One, one's pacing generally is really, really good. Sometimes during the rise in intermissions, I go for my grocery shopping. <laughs> I love that. I'm just watching some of the highlights from uh, both Silva and Rico in this cold open as well. Uh, you don't mess with a man who has a nickname based on a disease. So I'm going with Silva. Yeah, TR Clips, he's going with Silva as well. One championship gets rid of bodies quicker than any promotion, dude. All right, here we go. The official walkouts are happening now, ladies and gentlemen. Oof, Rico's walk or Rico's walkout song sucks. Hey, thanks, buddy. Appreciate you. Yeah, for anyone who wants to follow me on Twitter, uh, I'm most active on that uh, social media platform. Dude, I was just thinking that. I was just thinking that. 
All right, Riku in his robes, making his walk out now. Nine wins, two losses, one draw, five knockouts. Oh, I'm so excited. He's only 25 years of age. Back to the fights, ladies and gentlemen. I'm so stoked. I'm just commenting on uh, Shivalo and Jonathan Schur. They've been the broadcasters for tonight, so I'm just commenting on Twitter saying that they've been amazing. It's like some of the best broadcasting in the game. <laughs> hey, our man, I just saw that. I'm going to follow you back, buddy. Boom. Not for uh, probably another one, two, three, uh, th three more fights. Oh my God, Silva's walking out until I collapse. Bro, Silva's walking out until I collapse by Eminem, goaded. On Silva's Instagram, so there's a pic of him with a cheeseburger and fries 23 hours ago. Who is he tied to Ivasa? Oh, yeah, he's one of the best, dude. And he like, and this is his domain. He's pretty good, <laughs> damn good. Hey, thank you, thank you. It's better when I don't have to whisper, so I don't have to wake up my roommates. <laughs> hey, no problem, dude. Silva looks confident, yeah, dude. And that walkout song is a badass fighter walkout song. Yep. Dude, that's like one of my workout songs. That's one of my fight songs. If I ever, like, if I'm in a street fight, that's the song that's like playing in my head. If, like, and it's funny, that's the second song on my uh, workout playlist. So, guys, when I work out, I, when I start my workout, I do this every time. It's like a ritual. I play the Pride FC theme song twice and then till I collapse. And then I, then I click random on my playlist. Eyes don't lie in a fight. I've heard you both. Well, yeah, you've heard me like normal, normal stream and also Japanese time stream. <laughs> Bro, did we hit 30 likes on the video yet? I feel like we're getting close. I got like 3,000 tracks. Each of my playlists, uh, still not done. All right, here we go. Brazil versus Japan, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, dude, like, um, have you seen Napoleon Blown Apart? Uh, he's a YouTuber, his um, Pride documentary. I love how he talks about the Pride theme song. I just want to run through a fucking wall whenever I hear that song. It takes skills to keep quiet during these savage fights. Yeah, it's, it hasn't been easy. All right, I'm going against the grain, guys. I'm going Riku. Especially since Buddy was eating freaking cheeseburgers and fries last night. <laughs> All right, here we go. Round one. Let's get it on. Let's get it on. All right, here we go. Every time, dude. Me too. Two minutes and 32 seconds on the clock. Ooh, body kick by Silva. Silva's so much taller than him. Holy crap. Straight left by Riku. 
Outside low kick by Rico and a nice right hand by Silva. Oh, a nice left and a right by Silva as Rico attacked that leg. Oh, dude. Pride never die, baby. Dream was really good, too. The theme song, not as good. Silva got matching shorts to his hair. Yep. <laughs> he's got a good he's got a good get up. One minute fifty two seconds so far. We're very, very early into the fight. Silva's landing the better shots. A nice right hand by Silva and a high kick by Silva. Yes, yeah, Silva's looking better. Dude. Oh, and a nice knockdown by Silva. I'm interviewing her in two weeks. Lene Hart. Also the voice of Tekken. Oh, Silva, dude. Looking for a high kick. Already cut on the side of Riku's face. Oh, nice right hand by Silva. Looking for a flying knee. One minute, 18 seconds on the clock. Over and right by Riku. Riku's already cut next to his left eye, and he's already knocked down once. He's just like Alex Pereira. Oh, and the doctors are going to look at the cut right now on Riku. What's up, Ling Zhang? Probably like three hours, dude. Probably like three hours. <laughs> Eyeball soup. Yeah, Riku's bleeding next to his left eye. Oh, beautiful right hand. I think it was that follow-up right. It was a double combo. Dude, Silva's good, man. Silva's good. Silva's got his SFT belt chat tattooed on his chest. Kicking four rights. This fight is over. Silva wins. Silva wins. That's the one thing about Japanese kickboxing. They like, they just <laughs> blood, man. Oh, actually, that's a pretty nasty cut. I'm not going to lie. So the cut's like right here. It's in like the worst spot. You guys were right. I was wrong. Silva advances. Dr. Stoppage. Yep. Dr. Stoppage. Dr. Stoppage. Dr. Stoppage. If the doctor stop it, uh, what happens? Uh, it's a win for Silva. He just said Silva's the tallest man to have ever competed in K1. Oh, yeah, he destroyed him. Let's go, Silva. Yeah, TR Eclipse put some money on it. Silva should put some money on that. I didn't realize how much bigger that he was. I mean, I should have looked here, but still. I mean, great win. He got the knockdown and, and he cut him early and it's that's all she wrote. <laughs> A little freaking key blast after Dragon Ball Z style. God. Rest in peace, Akira Toriyama, by the way. Damn, good start. That replay of the knockdown. Dude, Silva's fucking good, man. His hands are lightning quick for how big he is. Hey, what's up, buddy? Good to see you. Shansuk, good to see you, buddy. Wow, and just like that, we're one fight in. Chow saying he looked like Pereira. I should have put way more on him. Dude, I can't wait to see him in the next round. Unbelievable win. Guys, 
we just need this card to end uh, in, in four hours. If it ends in four hours, I'll be happy because I have a meeting in four and a half hours with a client. And I don't want to message the client and be like, hey, sorry, can't make our meeting. I'm fucking still streaming Glory nine hours or still streaming K1 nine hours later. Maybe they were talking about in his respected division. But yeah, they said right, maybe, or maybe they meant like right now on the roster. He was the tallest guy to fight in K1. Alex Pereira when he was a middleweight in glory. He filled, oh yeah, he was a skinny boy in glory for sure. Well, he fought 205 in glory. Wonder how a backboard will do as a last minute replacement. I think his opponent's going to beat him. I think Ban Chai is going to absolutely destroy him. The RWS Stadium champ. Oh, this is dope. It's a tournament like the other promotion. Yeah, yeah. The Grand Prix, baby. C'est la Grand Prix. <laughs> All right, so the cold open is playing for this next fight here, guys. Like I said, the, the pacing as we get through this entire uh, main card is, is going to be just as quick as the prelims, which, again, the pacing for K1 has been tremendous. I mean, the first break was only like five minutes. And I mean, and the second intermission going from the prelims to the main card. Yeah, it's it, it's it was a little long, but we expected there to be some time, right? And it wasn't rising long, and we got to see a cool opening ceremony, so no complaints on my end. Yo, what's up now? Uh, Silva's the best of Brazil, and that's not surprising. He comes to be the best of the world, dude. I can't wait to see him fight next. He had a tremendous performance. Thank you so much for, for joining. I appreciate you. I see we have a lot of mutual followers on Twitter. How come I haven't seen you in my timeline before? I don't know. I, I, I post MMA stuff every single day, but hey, now we follow each other, my dude. Everyone comes to America to get heavier, but he was winning. You should eating better light heavyweight than wanted to eat better UFC. No, that's true. That's true. If only I could get a little heavier living in the U.S. I'm like losing weight living here. Yeah, it's unique. Let's go, Tanachai. He's a last-minute cannon fodder. <laughs> I hope that after this first round event, there will be a tournament like the old days in the quarterfinal to final three fights in one night, dude. I hope so as well. I mean, Glory does one-night tournaments, so... Hopefully K1 uh hopefully K1 can start doing semifinals and finals in the same night. Good to see you by the way, uh Shunsuk. Guys, don't forget to smash that like button if you haven't already. All right, Thana Chai Sitsong Pyong is making his walk out now. Ninety-seven motherfucking fights, ladies and gentlemen. Seventy-seven wins, nineteen knockouts, twenty losses. He's going up against the late replacement Romano Bak Board. Twenty-five fights, seventeen wins, nine knockouts, seven losses. God, this dude, this play-by-play -play announcer is just. Like I said, best of one of the best of the best. So, Rajam Earn World Series Super Welterweight Tournament winner, WBC Muay Thai, WBC Muay Thai. He's already he already has a ton of accolades, and he's what twenty four years of age. How old is he? Do, 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 do. 
Glory is a different approach to the Grand Prix. June light heavyweight coming up on our sources. Tell us. Yes. I can't wait for, for the light heavyweight Grand Prix. Leli, good morning. Welcome, welcome. How are you this morning? Cheers. Uh, Leli, this has been one of the best cards of the year in all of combat sports. It's been one of the best cards of the year. Oh my goodness. Top of the morning to you. Always walking out in a freaking monkey mask. In an eerie looking monkey mask at, at that. It's <laughs> a pretty badass walkout. I'll give him that. Dude, we're just missing Lene Hart. That's all. For this to be just like, you know. Perfect. We we need Lene Hart, but she's busy. She's busy this weekend. <laughs> In the red corner. <laughs> Trying to get out of bed and getting ready for work. Leli, we've been streaming. So it's 4.43 a.m. right now. We've been streaming since 11 p.m. yesterday. <laughs> this kid's a savage. Bakpur wearing an eight mask. Dude, listen to this announcer. Dude, this you know what? I take it back. I'll take I'll take this guy. I'll take this broadcast team over Lene Hart intros. Yep. Dude, um we were going back and forth on Twitter. Um and yeah, she she agreed to jump on the podcast and I'll interview her for the channel. I can't wait, dude. She's she's unbelievable. But uh, Leli, I hope you have a tremendous day at work. And uh, yeah, happy to have you in the live chat while you get ready. And while you're at work, because I imagine we're going to be streaming for another three hours or so. As long as I can make my 9.30 or my 9 a.m. meeting, we're good to go. All right, so because, like our like our boy said in the live chat here, because backboard or backboard missed weight, he's already down a point, and they're and he's got to fight in ten ounce gloves instead of eight. If this is still on during my work hours, I'll play you in the showroom today. Awesome, Leli. Hey, again. Hope you have a wonderful day, Leli. And I posted the stream schedule for the weekend. And uh, we'll be doing member streams tomorrow and UFC uh, prediction video on Thursday. Yo, 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 Irish snack box. What's going on, brother? Good. All right, round one, ladies and gentlemen. Already with a knee. By Thanachai. Thanachai with the left. High kick by backboard. Swing and miss. Oh, nice knee by Senachai. Um, just remember, you'll be all fired up for the meeting after the violence you've been experiencing throughout the night. No, absolutely. Um, Milan, try these two. I got you, Milan. Two minutes and 17 seconds on the clock. Double lift jab by Sinichai. Sinichai with a knee, and he clinches. Backboard, walking down Sinichai. Inside low kick, but Sinichai with the check. Ah, okay. Sorry, guys. I don't know then, Milan. One minute, 54 seconds on the clock, and a nice knee to the body. Sorry, Milan. I bought the pay-per-view. Ooh, a nice... Right uppercut by Sinichai. Sinichai with the left. Or Thanachai, sorry. Thanachai with the left. Thanachai with a right uppercut. 
Oh, thanks, Milan. Hey, appreciate you, buddy. I'm sorry that I'm whispering like a crazy person. Usually my streams are a lot better because I'm talking, not whispering, but I appreciate you, my man. Thank you. Thank you. One minute and 20 seconds on the clock. They clinch again. Then the shot with a nice right uppercut. Then the shot with a knee attempt. It's a, it's kind of a brush of fresh air watching like a pure Muay Thai guy here, eh? I mean, the Brazilian definitely had more of that style as well, but 54 seconds on the clock. Looking for that overhand right is backboard, doesn't land. Oh, a nice left and a right by backboard. Thanachai is clinching a little too much here, though. This ain't Muay Thai, brother. This is Japanese kickboxing. Oh, I got Debella, baby. I got Debella. <laughs> I'm a little bit biased. Yeah, I did interview Ma. Thanks for watching that. It's going to be a good one. Pranjenshi is no joke, but I think Debella is the better boxer. 21 seconds on the clock. Double left jab and a right to the body by Thanachai. Thanachai trying to pierce the guard with the knee. Oh, your internet sharded? Well, I'm glad you're back, Strini. High kick. Thanachai clinching here. Final seconds of the round. That is it for the first. I checked everywhere for the Captain Jack Sparrow stream. Couldn't find it. And then finally ended up on your YouTube live, which is a hidden treasure indeed. Oh, thanks, Armin. But yeah, Pran Genchai, he's really good. But, I mean, Debella just keeps getting better and better, man. And his hands are so quick and his footwork's so good. And again, I'm a little biased because I know the guy, but I, th I think he'll I think he'll win that one. Too much clinching. Yeah, this <laughs> this ain't RWS, bro. Should be a great fight. I got Brent Genshai, but it won't be easy. Hey, it's going to be a good one. It's going to be a good one. And uh, we'll be streaming that for sure. So I hope to see you uh, in the live chat then. All right, round two coming up, ladies and gentlemen. Round two coming up here. Really appreciate all of you. Yes, you, you watching right now. Thank you so much for joining. Smash that like button if you haven't already. We do live play-by-play -play commentary, reaction, and interaction with all you amazing folks in the live chat every single week. Pity there's no open scoring like Glory had. Or like Rise had. Uh, Rise El Dorado had open scoring last weekend. Oh, round two. Dude, the Glory Grand Prix was an absolute farce, man. Literally, Rico Verhoeven made the picks so that he could win. The light heavyweight guy was the best part about the Glory Grand Prix. Other than that, it was an absolute disgrace. I do love Glory, but that was just the Rico Verhoeven show, and he almost lost too, man. I don't know. I love Glory, but I, I didn't like the collusion that happened there. It was the Rico show again. Two minutes and 20 seconds, but thank you so much for joining, and I appreciate uh, your opinion and, and commenting, my dude. Two minutes and 14 seconds on the clock. Martial arts was the first sport uh, I did as a kid, and I've been in love with all martial arts ever since. Yo, MMA uh, Blood, um, do you have a YouTube channel? Can I follow you? Happy to support you, brother. You supported us by, by jumping in the stream. I'm happy to support you. Let me know. One minute and 52 seconds on the clock, and yeah. Thanachai's got to stop clinching here. I mean, I love Rico, but like, come on, dude. We're going to have a heavyweight Grand Prix. Let's bring in some better fighters. When Kachab makes it to the second round, I mean, come on. I love Kachab, but still. One minute, 31 seconds on the clock. Nice right uppercut by backboard. Oh, he's so good. He's so good. One minute, 18 seconds on the clock. Oh, Thanachai with a net. Walk in left. Backboard's going to have to throw more in the pocket here. Thanachai, man, he's just... He's throwing more uppercuts than he has jabs right now. 55 seconds on the clock. Trying to get in close and cut off that range left to the body by backboard. Backboard on a big right. 
Good job by Thanachai, keeping his hands up there and blocking that big left hook of backboard, backboard with the low kick. Thanachai with a knee. Ooh, a nice left to the body by backboard. Backboard, another left to the body. Thanachai with a knee. Right hand by backboard. Sadiq needs to be back for sure. Oh, a nice left hook by backboard. Backboard with another left hook. Left jab by Thanachina. Left uppercut. Oh, counter right by Thanachai. Thanachai with a straight left, piercing the guard of backboard. Thanachai with a left. Another left by Thanachai. Backboard swinging, missing with that left hook, and Thanachai clinch. That is it for the second round. Glory are a bunch of bitches. They screwed over their own people. The card was for free everywhere but in the Netherlands. Really? Dude, that's crazy. But yes, Sadiq needs to be back. Backboard's not doing that bad, I must say. No, dude, he's actually doing pretty good. He's just... Oh, look, like he's landing some big shots. And he's smart. If he... If he can't hit with if he can't hit Thanachai clean um, in the face or in the in the side of the head, he's he's going to the body. So he's doing all the right things here. He's employing some leg kicks as well. But it's tough because even in the pocket, Thanachai can land some nice shots, but obviously he does his best work at uh, at range. Yeah, I really miss Jamal and a Plazibat in the Grand Prix. Are you excited for the, the light heavyweight Grand Prix? I just want to see uh, Glory just like sway some more fighters and sign some more guys to their roster. Like it, it sucks that they're kind of like trimming the fat on the lower weight divisions as well. All right, round three, ladies and gentlemen. Looks like we all underestimated backboard. And left and a right by backboard. Outside low kick by backboard. I mean, shoot, he's playing with house money right now, down a point in the first round. Oh, missing with that right uppercut to Thanachai, and a nice left to the body by backboard. All right, so he's kind of playing with house money at this point, his backboard. He's already penalized point, money, bigger gloves, so he's just going to go balls to the wall in this one. The light heavyweight Grand Prix will be crazy. Can't wait for a showdown between Tariq and Bahram, dude. Bafram Raja Badste is one of my favorite fighters in glory right now. And I will definitely be streaming that, brother. So I hope to see you in the live chat. Someone will die. Two minutes on the clock. Ref separates them from the clinch. The fact that he did so well at heavyweight too is insane, man. And I say that in the best way. One minute, 50 seconds. They clinch again, separate. Then a chai with a knee. Back, backboard getting a little annoyed at Then chai here with all the clinching. I don't blame him. Oh, a nice left by backboard. And refs warning Then chai, yeah, you, this ain't Thailand, bro. You can't clinch this much in in K one. And backboard stalking Thanachai into the corner here. What a fight. Oh, Thanachai with the counter left. Thanachai duck and roll with the right hand. Double left jab by Thanachai. Yeah, the ref's going to have to be quicker here to separate the men. Because this is clearly Thanachai's game. I mean, he's he is a Muay Thai fighter, right? Forty-five seconds on the clock. Oh, a nice step in right uppercut by Thanachai. Inside low kick by backboard. Dude, respect to backboard, man. Even even down around here, or potentially down two rounds here, he's still just bringing the heat and employing his game plan with ease, not letting Thanachai get in his head. Twenty-one seconds on the clock. Here we go. Backboard really. Has to go for it now. Then I try with the right uppercut. Backboard with the left. Backboard with the right. Backboard continues to walk forward. Oh, a nice left by backboard. Then I try trying to clinch, but backboard is just pushing forward, looking to land a big shot. Nice duck and roll by Then I try. Final seconds, and that is it.
Yo, what's up? Mm? How's it going? Double M or mm? <laughs> Bro, I gotta give another shout out to those who donate a little sum sum tonight. Palman in the granite. I'm gonna get a nice, I'm gonna get a nice mocha later today on you guys. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> I'm usually just a, a black coffee kind of guy, but I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna spoil myself today. All right, so we got two. We're going to a fourth round. We're going to a fourth round, dude. Based judges, based. Fuck the clinch, based, bro, based. <laughs> <clears throat> Oh my god. You know what? I respect it. Then I was clinching too much, bro. Let's fucking go. I, I honestly think Thenachai probably did enough to win, but I'm I'm totally down with some overtime. Dude, could you imagine if Bakbord wins this one? He's going <laughs> There's going to be so many angry gamblers out there. Dude, Thanachai's coach has to tell him, like, stop clinching. Employ that uppercut. He's doing a good job with the duck and roll. Oh, my God. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Here we freaking go. Fourth round. All right, round four. Here we go. <laughs> Two minutes and 53 seconds on the clock, ladies and gentlemen. And backboard with a nice right uppercut. Backboard with a left hand. Senechai pulling that left jab. Step in knee. Dude, Senechai's got such good head movement. High kick by Senechai. Two minutes and 33 seconds on the clock. Another knee by Senechai. You cannot clinch Senechai. You need, you need to score without clinching. Thenachai pushes him away. Nice left body shot by backboard. Thenachai with a right uppercut. Knee by backboard. Knee by Thenachai. Another knee by Thenachai. Another knee by Thenachai and a left hand by backboard. Thenachai with another knee. Backboard walking forward. Continuing to pressure Thenachai into the boards. Or sorry, into the ring. Boards. That was some hockey lingo that slipped out there. Do you like Feng to win later? Uh, I do, I do. One minute and 47 seconds on the clock. Oh, Thanachai with another knee. Thanachai wants to clinch so bad, but he can't here. He's going to lose the round. Oh, my ref separates. Come on, ref. You got to be quicker. Bro, this ref's more sleepy than we are. It's 5 freaking a.m. Oh, a nice knee by backboard. One minute and 18 seconds on the clock. One minute and 11 seconds. Then a shot with a double left jab. Then a shot with a knee. I was watching that stream too when he was saying he wants to see him get slapped. Uh, Jay. <laughs> 51 seconds on the clock. Hey, appreciate you uh, watching that stream too, TR Clips. It's a fun show we do every Monday. Oh, a nice knee by Thanachai. 35 seconds on the clock. Oh, a nice right hand by Backboard. Backboard. Oh, that one was blocked by Thanachai. 25 seconds on the clock. Double left jab by Thenachai. A nice knee by backboard. Oh, front kick to the face by Thenachai. Front kick to the face by Thenachai. And here we go. Backboard's just swinging in the pocket. They're each swinging in the pocket here. Thenachai going for the clinch. And that is it, ladies and gentlemen. Honestly, the front kick sealed it for me. The front kick sealed it for me. But what a tremendous performance by Backboard.
Wow. Wow. I mean, I think Thanachai did enough to win that round. But we shall see. Oh, one judge has her backboard. One judge has her then a child. Backboard wins. Oh my God, he did it. Oh my goodness, then a child is eliminated. Thenachai is eliminated from the tournament. Romano Bakbord knocks out the tie. Oh my. Oh my God, dude. Dude, I'm going to check how big of an underdog he was. Holy shit, that was crazy. Backboard can't believe it. Wow. Why can't I find the odds on this one? Was this one taken off the... the hmm. I can't find the odds for this one, but I imagine Thenachai was the big favorite. I think because he took this on short notice, they took it off my betting site. God damn. This is sure going to be the upset of the event. That went too wrong, man. I never seen it when I was looking. Yeah, I didn't see it either. Yo, Good morning, my man. It's good to meet you and everyone pulling up to the city life. I got called into work at 3 a.m. my time, but I've been checking in and listening whenever I could. This card is crazy good so far. Jay, this is arguably the best fight card of 2024, man. This is our, like, oh my God, the first half of this card. Banger after banger after banger. Oh my God, look at this cold open here. Whoa, dude. This hits this hits hard, man. The hope of Ukraine. Did you see that shot? It was like a kid standing in the middle of the rubble. J man. Um, have a great day at work. And if you dude, when you have a chance later today, re-watch the first part of this card on fight. Man, the Best combat sports card of 2024 so far. Unbelievable. But uh, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for liking, man. And I hope you have a great day at work. I know you got called in so super early. Um, get some rest later as well. And uh, dude, I cannot wait to talk about this on the next Rush City Fight Show. Because this card, like, dude, do I even look tired right now? I ain't tired at all, bro. It's because this card has been nothing but banger after banger after banger. Everybody in the live chat, go subscribe to my boy, Rush Hour Fight Club. Gunji, dude, unbelievable performance. Good night, man. It's too late, but appreciate the stream. Hey, Milan, thank you so much, brother. Thank you for all the support, and I'll, I'll see you on the next stream, all right? Dude, I think some people made some serious money. Bro, whoever believed in that guy made some serious money. Jay Insane, brother. All right. Let me just update the ticker on the bottom of the screen, and we'll get right back to the next one. Seven more fights on the card, ladies and gentlemen. All right. I'm excited for this one. Well, I'm excited for every card down the stretch or every fight down the stretch here. Let's be perfectly honest. They're all going to be bangers. All right. We have Taurus Hnatchuk. 25 fights, 22 wins, 11 knockouts, two losses. 
up against Zora Akopin. 32 fights, 28 wins, 9 KO, TKOs, 4 losses. So 28 and 4 with 9 freaking KO, TKO. I'm just going to look on Tapology. I just want to see what their last few wins look like here. Okay. So, Akopian is coming off a win in a modified rules Muay Thai fight where he won via knee in the first round. Before then, he lost the unanimous decision to Alexei Ulyanov in RCC and before then was on a five-fight win streak. Uh, Taras and Nachuk out of the Ukraine is making his walk out right now. He's 24 years old. Lost his last fight actually in Octagon. Um, but before then was on a... Oh, dude. Oh, he's on a win streak. It's crazy that he actually fought back in 2019 in Bellator kickboxing. That's crazy. And Nachuk fought back in 2019 in Bellator kickboxing. I got Zora as well. And Melly, thank you so much for joining as well. Guys, we have such a tremendous crowd here. We have such a tremendous crowd in the live chat. You guys are awesome. Really appreciate you guys. Double champion. All right, so he trains out of Italy. ISK World Lightweight Middle or Light Middleweight Champion, W A or the Waco Pro Intercontinental Middleweight Champion. Okay, so he's a double champ right now. The uh, ISKA and WA or Waco Pro. All right, Zora making his walk to the ring now. He's the FEA lightweight champion, RCC welterweight champion, and Tatnef Cup 2019 lightweight tournament winner. And I mean, they're not just inviting nobodies here for the Grand Prix. Australia's going with Tares. Hey, thanks, buddy. I got Zora. I got Zora. But this one should be a very, very good fight. I'm digging this traditional music that Zora's walking out to. It's a little change of pace. All right, here we go. Out of, out of the red corner, Zora Akopian making his walk out now. Just love all the pyrotechnics that are involved. Nine knockouts, 28 wins, like I said. Four losses up against Hanachuk. 22 wins, two losses. Going with Zora. So the broadcast is saying that Zora, during like the fighter interviews uh, yesterday <laughs> and photo shoot, he was shaking everyone's hand. He was dressed rather dapper. He was all smiles, dude. He's all business right now. He's all business right now. Oh, wow. Alazov actually was singing his praises recently. Wow. The goat, Alizov. Current pound for, well, he's not the current pound for pound number one, but shh, he's up there. Going Taras here, locking it in. Hey, dude, rush hour. We, they've been holding down the fort. They've been holding down the, the rush hour fort here. The animal house? That's, is that what you guys call it? <laughs> All right. 
Round one, ladies and gentlemen. The animal room. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I fucked up. The animal room. We're holding we're holding the fort here. I'm going to Zara too. All right, round one, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get on. All right. The Natchuk up against a Kopian. Ooh, body kick by a Kopian. The Natchuk with more of the traditional Muay Thai style. Outside low kick by a Kopian. A Kopian with an inside low kick. They trade in leg kicks early. But the animal room, the animal room is on another channel. <laughs> Jay said this kid was cool. Isha Jay always said to support you. Oh, cheers, Jay. Thanks, buddy. Ditto, man. That's why Jay and I teamed up for Rush City, man. We both vibe well. We're both on the same wavelength. Two minutes on the clock. And we both love combat sports. Oh, a nice left body shot. By a Copen. One minute forty eight seconds on the clock. Natchuk. Pressuring a Copen into the ropes here. A Copen with a nice outside low kick. One minute thirty one seconds on the clock. Inside low kick by a Copen. Trying to step out to that left side in line of check left hook. Swing and a miss. Oh, big left to the body, man. A Copen hits hard, dude. Wow. Another big body shot by a Copen. Left and right by Thanachuk. More muscles than a seafood buffet, dude. What a line. What a line. More muscles than a seafood buffet. Oh, my God. That shit beautiful than a motherfucker. Oh, a nice right hand by Natchuk. And clinching is Akopin. Akopin meets him in the center of the ring and a left and a right by Natchuk. Outside low kick by Akopin. Left and a right by Natchuk. And Natchuk having a hard time get through the, getting through the high guard of a Copian. Ooh, knee attempt by Anachuk. A Copian, oh, he's, he's clowning a little bit. He's clowning. Ooh, nice step in left uppercut. Outside low kick by a Copian. Copian's got to be careful, man. He's clowning a little bit and... Can't always dodge those high kicks into the first round. Mm, Granny, you got the same board, like soundboard? I have the Zoom PodTrack P8. That's what I use. It's a third of the price than the rod the roadcaster and it's a thousand times better all right round two coming up here guys so far good fight so far good fight All right, round two coming up. Nice, nice. Let's get it all. I think just barely, but it's close, man. It's close. He he landed more body shots, but the leg kicks are even. Close round, Melly. Close round. Two minutes and forty-seven seconds on the clock. I like a Copian's body uh, work on the body. Oh, nice double left jab by Hnatchuk. But Hnatchuk's not, you know, not out of it. It's a very close fight. Oh, a nice right hand by a Copian and a left to the body. Oh, 
Adrian straight left by Akopi. Now he's starting to pierce that high guard of Hanachuk. Hanachuk with a left and a right. Akopi with a nice high guard. Oh, a nice left to the body by Hanachuk and trying to land a big counter. Uppercut is Akopi. Akopi with a left. Akopi with a right. Akopi swinging and missing with that left hook. Akopi with a straight left. Kopian with an outside low kick. Nacha cannot pierce that high guard of Kopian. Dude, Kopian's a scary guy here because unassuming, showboating a bit, but he's just trying to land that one big shot. Oh, nice knee by Nacha. Oh, but it looks like it was a little bit low. And, ooh, high kick attempt by Hanacha. Hanacha with a right hand. Ooh, and a counter right by a Kopian. And they clinch, separate. 57 seconds on the clock. Dude, Hanacha, he's, he's meeting a Kopian in the center and, and walking him down. He's not afraid of that power. He's felt it already. 40 seconds on the clock. Right hand by Hanachuk. Ooh, spinning heel kick attempt by Hanachuk, but each of them are employing a good high guard. Ooh, a nice counter left by Hanachuk. Dude, Hanachuk might win this round. 15 seconds left on the clock, and Hanachuk with a right. Swinging a miss with that high kick again is not chucking out. I think it's one round apiece. I think it's one round apiece. By the way, guys, if you want to follow me on Twitter, here's my handle. That's the only social media that I'm really active on. How do you guys score this one? I got it. First round, a copian. Second round, not chuck. 1-1. One, one. Yeah, good good round by Hanachuk. Made it a lot harder for Kopian to hit him. Oops, round three coming up. Starving here. What about you, City Life Project? Well, now that you mention it, I am a little hungry. I need to grab a snack between one of these fights. Third and final round. Ooh, and a nice left and to the body and right hand by a Copian. Ooh, kick to the body by Hanachuk. Inside low kick by a Copian. High kick by a Copian. Copian with a nice right hand on the entry. Some knees in the clinch there by Hanachuk, ref warning him. Ooh, nice left and a right. Outside low kick by Akopian, and Hanachuk blocked all those punches. Oh, and they clinch. Two minutes on the clock. You guys are starving. I'm fasting another two and a half hours and I break my fast. Hey, you got this, brother. You got this. One minute and 53 seconds on the clock. Oh, nice counter left by Copian. Outside low kick by Natchuk. One minute and 36 seconds on the clock. Oh, a nice left hook by a Copian. 
Dude, Okopian's he's doing well this round. He looks a lot like how he looked in the first round. A lot of body shots. A lot of body shots. Dude, Okopian's looking damn good in this third round. Trying to throw a spinning back fist was a natchuk, but didn't have a lot of power on that. Yeah, respect, brother. No eating, no drinking, no smoking from dawn until sunset. Fifty six seconds on the clock. Oh, big left by a copian. Oh, nice right hand by a copian, and and Hatchuk's trying to pressure him into the corner, but a copian just keeps evading that and resets. Oh, beautiful left to the body by a copian, and trying to land a knee is Hatchuk, straight right by a copian. Left hook by a copian. High kick by a copian. They each land a low kick. Knee attempt by a natchuk. He's trying to land that flying knee. Oh, big left by a copian. Dude, a natchuk can take a motherfucking punch. Oh, and there he goes down. A natchuk. Beautiful right hand by copian. And now. That is it for the third round. Man, right at the end of the third round, Zora Akopian scores the knockdown, and that should seal it. What a round. I will say, Hanachuk is tough as nails, ladies and gentlemen. Absolute warrior. He just did not stop. And like The amount of times that Akopian fucking landed some huge shots on his body and barely flinched, continued to walk forward. Crazy. Props to both of them. But Akopian's going to win this. Now one judge, Akopian. Akopian wins on all the judges' scorecards. Great display of respect between them. And on to the next round. Uh, I don't know. I bought the pay-per-view. I bought the pay-per-view. I'm not sure. I'm watching it on uh, Fight TV. My my other sites don't have it, so I'm sorry, brother or sister. There you go, Armin. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, next we have Stoyan Koprivlensky against Kasper Muzininski. Poland versus Bulgaria next year. Um, Muzininski is 26 years of age, 24 fights, 22 wins, 10 knockouts, one freaking loss, ladies and gentlemen. 22 and 1 with 10 knockouts. That's pretty damn good. Looking at his opponent out of Mike's gym. <laughs> 26 fights, 19 wins, 7 losses, 6 KOs for Stoyan Kopfrilenski. I'm going with that legendary Polish power. I'm going with Casper. He actually fought MMA as well. Hmm. Uh, he's on a win streak right now, but again, Typology doesn't have too, too much. He's coming off a win. Glory 89. That's right. That's right. I totally forgot about this. And the Jujendo and Hari card. I'm still going with the Polish fighter. <laughs> Only six more fights left, man. The the fun. The, I I just can't believe that like the the fun is is going to end eventually. But uh, what an amazing night of fights it has been. All right, just gonna update the ticker on the bottom of the screen. I'll get right back to your comments.
the comments coming by the way guys we do live play-by-play commentary reaction and interaction with all you amazing folks in the live chat the only reason i'm whispering like a fucking crazy person is because it's 5 30 a.m right now my roommates are still sleeping dude there is no one i'm telling you you fire up a vpn on a beamer but i bought the pay-per-view uh they haven't fought yet buddy they haven't fought yet they're fighting right now they're about to fight right now what's up thomas good to see you buddy About to get a Bima app on VPN. So there you go. There you go. Bro, they haven't fought yet. What's up, Wallace? Wuzinski's the best. I picked him to win. I got Casper. Wuzinski win. Casper win. Legendary Polish power. What's up, Balaszczyk? Thank you so much for joining. <laughs> Damn, Isha's savage. <laughs> Bro, I mean, he commented like three times. It says next on the bottom of the screen here. Oh, <laughs> cold open him. Dude, oh, he looks like, uh, who's that? He looks like that UK MMA fighter. What's his name? Uh, uh, uh. Something wood. I don't know why I'm blanking right now. Casper's the future dude. He looks damn good. Nathaniel Wood. He looks like freaking Nathaniel Wood from the UFC. I always greet savages. I love it. I love it. All right. Cold open for this next fight, guys. That will be making their walkout soon. Nathaniel Wood. Yep. Does, doesn't he not look like him? Or does he not look like him? All right, here we go, guys. All or nothing. Fighters about to make their walk out now. Let me know your predictions. I mean, I'm guessing most of you are picking Casper Wuzinski to win this one. Melly as well. Yeah, he does. Ooh, great walkout song. Great walkout song. Little white stripes. Love it, love it. I've seen the white stripes in concert a couple times. They put on a hell of a show. Well, I mean, they used to anyways. Jack fight. Jack fight. Uh, white used to. Not yet, buddy. Not yet. I will let, like, I will give focused play-by-play -play commentary you will know exactly what's going on when the fighters be when the fight starts they're just making their walkouts right now and i do have the ticker on the bottom of the screen that will reflect the round uh casper muzinski is making his walk right now Ganskow, what is up buddy good morning dude this has been arguably the best combat sports card of 2024 man like if the free prelims are still available on Triller, you got to watch them sometime this week, Gansko. you got to watch them sometime this week. The One of the best combat sports cards of the year. It's been unbelievable. we got six more fights left. We've already gone through 19. It's been unbelievable. Yeah, Gansko was a... Uh, Gansko's been around for city life or been around on city life for a little while now as well uh, as well she he even uh, became a member a few months ago or a couple months ago hell yeah a big shout to Ganscow. he hooked us up with each jay and i with a dono on our last uh, show so really appreciate uh the support all the support that Ganscow shows us Check it. Brad Pickett is in the corner of Casper. If yes, then he's definitely Nathaniel Wood. <laughs> that shit beautiful than a motherfucker. All right. Making his walk out now is Stoyan Kopfrilensky. I go to rush hour when city life is off. Dude, love that you're supporting both of us. 
How's your week going uh, so far, Gansko? I hope it's hope it's going good. Hope it's going good. We got a lot of fights this weekend coming up. Uh, UFC predictions video on Thursday. Busy, busy week of content. All right, the Bulgarian's making his walk to the ring now. No, I'm just glad that you dropped by and said what's up. Most normal people have to work today. Hell, Ganskow, I have to work today. I'm hoping that this card ends in three and a half hours because I have a freaking client meeting at 9 a.m. my time. <laughs> Again, man, have a great day at work, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. I think what we got three and a half hours for seven fights. I think we can get through it. I think we can get through. All right. Bulgaria versus Poland. Again, I will give you guys play by play. They're just being announced now in the ring. We are all addicts. What's up, King James? Still here, King James. You're the man. Peace out, buddy. Have a great day at work. All right. Fight is about to begin, guys. Live play-by-play, -play, commentary, reaction, and interaction with all you amazing folks in the live chat. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Vote in the poll question. And let's freaking go. Ref just giving them instructions. No, Casa, I had to buy the pay per view. Fire up a VPN on a, B, a Bima or, or buy the pay per view. Round one. Two minutes and 56 seconds on the clock. Outside low kick by Korpilensky. Push kick by Muzinski. Nice left to the body by Koprilensky. Come on, guys. Smash that like button. Smash that like button. Two minutes and 34 seconds and a knee to the body. And huge four-punch combo by Muzinski. Two to the body, two to the face. Front kick by Koprilensky. Oh, Koprilensky with a nice left to the body and left hook on Muzinski. Muzinski checking the leg kick twice there. On Kovrilinski. Oh, a nice straight right by Kovrilinski. Another right by Kovrilinski. That one blocked by Muzinski. Outside low kick by Muzinski and a left and a right combo by Kovrilinski and a check left hook by Muzinski right after he landed that combo. Left of the body, right hand by Kovrilinski. Kovrilinski looking for that left high kick. One minute and 47 seconds on the clock and a push kick by Kovrilinski. Outside low. Do Kovrilinski or Muzinski does a great job of checking the leg kicks. One minute and 28 seconds and an outside low kick by Muzinski. Push kick by Kovrilinski. Nice right hand by Kovrilinski and trying to land a Counter right is Muzinski. Muzinski with a left jab and a kick to the body. Push kick by Muzinski. Left and a right by Korvalinski. And a counter left by Muzinski. Bro, both of these guys have tremendous lightning speed hands. Ooh, left to the body by Muzinski. Straight left by Muzinski. Straight left by Korvalinski. Man, this round is dead even. Inside low kick by Korvalinski. Oh, left to the body, left hook, and another left to the body by Muzinski. Body kick by Muzinski. Outside low kick by Muzinski, but he ate a left jab by Korpolinski. 35 seconds on the clock. Oh, a nice right hand by Korpolinski. Nice body shot and outside low kick by Muzinski. 
left jab by Korpelensky. Outside, low kick and a high kick by Korpelensky. Korpelensky hurt Muzinski. Muzinski's hurt. Muzinski took a left and a right. Muzinski walking forward in final seconds. That is it for the first round. Huge high kick there. Landed by Korpelinski on Muzinski there, but saved by the bell, man. First round's done. Uh, I would say 10-10. I think it's dead even. I think the first round is... I think it's a, it's a draw the first round. I mean, that high kick could have sealed it, though. For me, it's either a draw or it's going to Korpelinski. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. He, uh, unanimous decision and basically ripped the body over and over and over again. And that's that's what ultimately won him the fight. And I was it was a good it was a good uh, it was a good scrap, but definitely won because he just outlanded him and just pieced apart his body. All right, round two coming up, guys. Two minutes and 59 seconds on the clock. Oh, they each land a nice right. Right hand by Muzinski. Muzinski blocked the combo of Korpelinski. Korpelinski with a push kick. Oh, yeah. Nice checking of the leg kick by Muzinski. Dude, I watched uh, I watched the old school ones like Mark Hunt, Krokop, Bukow, Kovalinski, and Akapoyan are my favorite in the tournament. Glory is 100 better simply because it is worldwide. The Japanese made it impossible for us to watch. Well, I mean that has nothing to do with the fighters. With all due respect, I mean I, I respect your opinion on if you like it better or not if you, you like one better or not, but the question was more, is it better because of the, the quality of the fights? But uh, yes, it is easier to watch. One minute and 51 seconds on the clock. But I mean, I don't think K1 and or Rise are hard to watch either. Rise was free on the weekend. One minute and 42 seconds on the clock. Push kick by Korpelinski. If anything, Glory is harder to watch because I have to buy the pay-per-views for Glory. I've never not bought a pay-per-view for Glory. Or Rise and, and K1 I've had for free. One minute and 22 seconds on the hook. Nice left hook by Muzinski. But hey, thanks for commenting, Casa, on the poll question. Really appreciate you. Oh, nice left and a right by Muzinski. You can watch all the fights a week after on YouTube channel and with the K1 Max events, they're going to broadcast more worldwide. Yeah, absolutely. He's six seconds on the clock. Well, we got fucking 17, or was it 15 free prelims? You only get two for glory, right? Bro, you know Google's a thing, my friend. Google's a thing. <laughs> 34 seconds on the clock. Oh, a nice right hand by Korpelinski. Oh, big overhand right by Korpelinski. Left jab by Muzinski. Nice left of the body by Muzinski. Oh, Beautiful right hand by uh, Korpelinski and Muzinski landed a nice spinning back fist after. Good round, good round. But again, appreciate you commenting and giving me your opinion, man. And if and if that's what, if that's what's like the most important is how easily accessible it is and how you're gonna rate them, then you know, fair enough, man. Fair enough. Seems, dude, first round is 10 10. Second round, it, uh, I don't know, man. It's so close. 
Metallica fan, no joke. This is the best best fight card of 2024 so far. It has been nothing short of spectacular, bro. Especially the first half. Like it, it's the the first half of the card is free on Triller. Go watch it sometime this week or, or later today, man. Hands down, the best combat sports card of 2024 so far. I have it a draw. I have it 10-10. I bought the pay-per-view, buddy. I bought the pay-per-view. Two minutes and 56 seconds on the clock because I couldn't find it for free. Round three, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, nice knee to the body by Korpelensky. Oh, a nice right hook by Musinski. Musinski with the left and a right. Beautiful combo there by Musinski. Outside low kick by Korpelensky. Cheers, buddy. Thank you so much for stopping by. I appreciate you guys. Smash that like button if you haven't already. And big shout out to my fellow. Oh, and the only Canadian on the card won Metallica fan, and he got a knockout. Two minutes and 20 seconds on the clock. Sorry I spoiled it for you, but I'm fucking stoked. Nice left and a right by Korpelinski. Musinski with the counter left. Musinski with the left uppercut. Musinski, beautiful tuck and roll there in the counter right. Now they're just swinging with those big right hands. Yup, that one was an unbelievable fight as well. Nice counter right by Musinski. Musinski really turning it up in this third round. Dude, if Musinski wins this third round, that will win him the fight. If, Muzin if Musinski wins this third round, I, I imagine he will win this fight. That is my opinion. I think the first two rounds were pretty much a dead even draw. And oh my goodness, Korpelensky just landed a high kick. Oh my goodness, I'm jinxing it. One minute, 39 seconds on the clock. Man, I could see it. The matchmaking was great for this card. Most of the fights have been pretty competitive. Yep. Nice left. Other than the cats who got knocked out, the rest of the fights have been competitive as hell. Bunch of overtimes. One minute and 18 seconds on the clock. Right hand by Korpelinski. Oh, Muzinski starting to slow down. Muzinski starting to slow down. Korpelinski might be one, running away with this now as he's been landing the bigger shots here in the final two or minute and a half of this round. A knee to the body on Muzinski by Korpelinski. Oh, nice high kick by Muzinski. That landed... But Korpelensky, he's landing too many right and left hooks. He's landing too many right and left hooks. Again, sorry I'm whispering, guys. My roommates upstairs are sleeping. It's still only 5 a.m., 5.45 a.m. And a beautiful shot by Rosinski. And getting the eight count is Korpelensky. Korpelensky just got rocked. Rosinski's going to win. Rosinski's going to win. Korpelinski is cut next to his left eye. Muzinski just landed a huge shot and he got the standing eight count. Nice counter left and right by Korpelinski. He's going for it. He's going for it. Final 10 seconds. Left hand by Muzinski. And that is it. Man. That was almost an overtime. That was almost an overtime. Right in the final 20 seconds, man. In the final 20 seconds, Muzinski scores the standing eight count and cuts Korpelinski on the left side of his eye. Wow. Oh, I didn't know that. Muzinski fought Korpelinski in his first amateur fight. Muzinski wins a round. Muzinski with the second round here. Dude, or the second judge. You named. Let's go. Let's go. Polish power. Polish power. Polish power. <laughs> the win goes to Poland. Let's go. Great victory. Great victory. I mean, this fight was so close, ladies and gentlemen. It was razor thin. He scores the beautiful shot there at the end, cuts open his opponent, and gets the standing eight count.
unbelievable. By the way, every single one of you in the live chat, you are all amazing. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you for hanging out with us. Don't forget to smash that like button if you haven't already. Let's go, Poland. Boska, baby. Beautiful right hand. Oh, nice knee. We're looking at the replays here, guys. Unbelievable performance by both of these guys, honestly. Oh, thank you for joining, buddy. Thank you for joining. I appreciate you. Sorry that I'm whispering, but like I said, my roommates are sleeping. Wow. And look at the young man. He's so excited. Great job. Great work. Great win. Five more fights left on the card. Another banger indeed. Yes, he did, Philip. Yes, he did. Let's go. All right, guys. Next fight coming up here in just a moment. I'm going to update the ticker on the bottom of the screen. And we'll get right back to it. Uh, does Verdunk fight already? No, not yet, buddy. Not yet. Five more fights. Five more fights. Or four more fights. Mm -mm. Did they go to commercial break? What the heck's going on here? Right, we're just awaiting the next two fighters to uh, make their walkout. Okay, here we go. Now we're going to the cold open. Yeah, but you have to buy the pay-per-view now, buddy. You have to buy the pay-per-view now. So the first, what was it? First 15 or 16 fights were, were free. Maybe it's a little bit more than that, but the last nine fights. I'm too tired to do math. The last nine fights are pay-per-view, so I bought the pay-per-view. Philip, I said he won. Philip, I said he won. David, if I knew a place to watch it, you'd think I'd buy the pay-per-view, buddy? David, if, if if you could watch it for free, do you think I would buy the pay-per-view, sir? It's not free, guys. Jeez. You guys in the live chat are savages, man. <laughs> I tried to help you. I gave you my sites. None of them are showing it. Buy the pay-per-view. It's worth it. If you guys are real K1 fans, you'll buy the pay-per-view. This ain't no UFC pay-per-view price, bro. You don't think I'm broke as shit? You don't think I sold an Xbox to watch this card, brother? <laughs> well, it's true. I did. And an iPad. An old iPad, though. I sold it for five bucks. Save your money. Don't buy a McDonald's meal this month. Don't buy Starbucks. Buy K1. <laughs> Again, and to be serious, guys, my links that I shared with you guys, they, they're not showing it. It's not my fault. It's not my fault. <laughs> And Palman's doing God's work here. It's free. I'm watching the full ad to support. Oh my God, you are far too kind, buddy. You donated and you're watching the full ad? Thank you, dude. <laughs> Man, our live chat's been unbelievable tonight. Seriously. You guys have been awesome. All right, let's highlight these next two fighters. We have Antoine or Antonia uh, Prifty against Saho. Antonia or Antonia, Jesus, Antonia Prifty 
against Asaho. Antonia, 25 fights, 22 wins, 2 losses, 5 knockouts. Looking at her opponent, 18 fights, 16 wins, 2 losses, 1 knockout. So Prifty actually has a little bit more power in her mitts. Mm -mm -mm -mm. She was second in the last K1 Grand Prix. WKU World Champion, WKU Greek Champion, and Vendetta World Champion. And Saho. 18, like I said, fights, 16 wins. S1 Ladies Bantamweight Champion, S1 Ladies Japan Bantamweight Champion, WMC Japan World or Women's Super Bantamweight Champion, and the former NJKF Minerva Super Bantamweight Champion. So each of them actually have a have quite a bit of hardware there on their shelf. Well, there wasn't a fight on, so no problem. Oh, you're the man. You're the man. Did you find it, buddy? Did you find it? Hell yeah. Glad you, glad you found it, buddy. Uh, oh, uh, oh, don't forget to thank Paulman for helping you out, guys. Uh, everyone in the live chat owes Paulman a thank you, man. He's doing God's work. All right, Saho, inner poncho, making her walk out now. All right, guys. Who are your Who are you picking to win this next one? Let me know your picks in the live chat. All right. So out of Greece is Antonia. She actually fought some MMA as well, but kickboxing is her bread and butter. She actually fought in K One Rebirth, where she got a win over Kana Morimoto. Saho on the other side of things on a four fight win streak fought in K1 Rebirth World Grand Prix 2023 Crush Ring of Venus as well as NJKF where like I said she won some hardware in her last few fights uh, Coach Mike won't like that fumble by Stoyan at all uh oh it was a good fight, though, man. It was a good fight. I didn't delete your comment. I didn't delete your comment, dude. Antonia and Stu. I don't delete comments. Saho. <laughs> Especially since you're fucking donating and watching ads, I would, I would never... Oh man, Antonia, the flyweight champion. All right, so this is for the uh, well, the KJP fifty two kilogram champion. Hmm. Well, there you go. Huh. I swear, man, I didn't delete it. I don't even think I can. I can't even delete comments. Okay, I, I guess I can from StreamYard, but it, it's like a three-step process to delete a comment. So there you go. Just subscribe to Rush Hour Fight Club. That's what I'm saying. YouTube's AI is a little funky, which is you know you asked earlier, and you're like, dude, it's it's your stream. You can you can share links. Well, sometimes for those certain links, YouTube goes, mm -mm -mm. and maybe for maybe it's I, I don't know why they would in, in this case do that, but yeah, go subscribe to Rush Hour Fight Club, guys. 
All right, the title is on the line, ladies and gentlemen. Dude, the broadcast was saying that like the crowd is absolutely going crazy for Saho right now. Understandable. Goddamn YouTube AI, dude. They're always watching us. Dude, Saho's had like five war cries so far. In the case, Saho's been like screaming. Right? She's been kiai every every inch of this uh of this ring, but oh my goodness. Dude, Antonia looks she looks mean. She looks mean. The K1 World Grand Prix Women's Flyweight Champion, Antonia. And this is a title match, ladies and gentlemen. They touched, dude. Antonia's going to win. Look, just like in the granite said, look in her eyes, man. She is dialed. That's my pick. Damn, YouTube police. Dude, there's another war cry. Dude. This chick's just yelling. All right, guys. Round one. Let's get it on. Let's get it on. And already, Brifty, with a couple of shots of that lead leg of Saho. Oh, a nice right hand by Sao. Prifty trying to attack that lead leg of Sao. Sao with a one-two. Prifty with a kick to the body. Oh, Sao's, Sao's got some power, man. Prifty with a body kick. Two minutes and 20 seconds on the clock. Sao swinging a miss with that left hook. Ooh, a nice right hand by Prifty, but Sao just tagged it with the left as well. We have a scrap, ladies and gentlemen. We have a scrap. One of my cats is sitting on my chest and blocking my view. <laughs> oh, oh my goodness, Sao with a two-punch combo and a low kick. Dude, Sao's looking calm, cool, collected here. I, I may have underestimated her. I may have underestimated the war cries, ladies and gentlemen. I may have underestimated Saho's freaking war cries. <laughs> One minute and 48 seconds on the clock. And a nice right hand by Prifty. Counter right and a push kick by Saho. The push kick didn't land. Nice right hand and a follow up. One, two by Saho. Push kick by Prifty. Prifty checking the low kick by Saho. They clinch and separate. One minute and 22 seconds on the clock. And a nice left hand by dude, Saho. Is, she's got some fucking hands, man. She's good. Saw with another left. Saw with another left and a right. Nice knee by Prifty. This is a scrap. This is a this is a scrap, man. Inside low kick by Prifty. Outside low kick by Prifty. Knee to the body by Prifty. Right hand by Saho. Oh, a nice right hand by Prifty. Outside low kick by Saho. 32 seconds on the clock. And oh, nice right hand by Prifty. I don't know what Saha was doing there. She like evaded that right hand and was like walking away lackadaisical, but Prifty just stalks her down. 15 seconds on the clock. Ooh, a nice left hook and a right hand by Saha. And a nice knee by Prifty, but Saha tags her with the left. And that is it for the first round. What a scrap. I got Saho winning the first round. I got Saho winning the first round, man. She's 
She's good. She's got some fast hands. Let me know your thoughts in the live chat. Who do you think won that first round? Dude, saw was boxing in the pocket there. <laughs> Armin, your cat is the view. Oh, man. What a first round. Dude, and that's the thing. Prifty looked like mean, dialed. Rosaho like looks relaxed, man. Round two. Relaxed, loose, and kind of in a flow state right now. Or at least was at one point in that first round. Nice left hand by Sahu. Let's see if she can get back into that state here early in the second round. Oh, beautiful inside low kick followed by right hand by Sahu. Prifty getting tripped up. Oh my god, Prifty just walked into a beautiful left by Saho. Man, I am impressed. I am impressed by Saho. Both women's fights before this were good. This this one's on another level. This one's on another level for sure, and so is Saho. Two minutes on the clock, and saw with another left and a right as Prifty goes for the leg kick. Bro, shout out to the women here putting on an absolute show for us in this title fight. Oh, Prifty's right eye is starting to swell up here, guys. Prifty's right eye is starting to swell up here, and Prifty walking forward. They're fighting in the pocket. Saw, that's another big shot. Look at Prifty's right eye, man. It is swelling like crazy. Oh, nice knee to the body by Sao, but Prifty, or by uh, Prifty, and Sao lands it left and a right in a counter. Right hand by Prifty. What a fight, man. What a fight. Oh, nice inside low kick by Prifty as Sao. Lands a kick to the body, but stepping back, retreating after, and Prifty caught her there with that low kick. Oh, Saho with another left and a right. Look, Prifty, she her talent is is on display. Her technique is really good, but Saho is just a little bit quicker and seemingly hits harder. Putting together her boxing combos a lot better. Nice right hand by Prifty. She just Prifty just can't get in range. And there's a left hand by Saho. Prifty keeps walking into those. Oh, shoot. I'm going to plug in my iPad here. It's about to die. <laughs> 22 seconds on the clock, and now Saho clowning a little bit. 14 seconds on the clock. Nice body kick by Saho. Oh, Saho, they each throw some big shots there at the end of the second round. And another big round for Saho, man. Obviously, yet, but kickboxing title fights are five rounds. It depends what promotion. It depends what promotion. It depends what... Yeah. For the most part, any any title fight in kickboxing or even MMA is, a, is five rounds. This one, though... This one is three three-minute rounds. But yes, for them, even even in like even in rise and one championship glory, they're all five round. But this one, and and I don't know why. Um, but I'm sure uh, Vet Sport info. Why is this a three-round fight, not a five-round fight?
Jude, man, look at the right eye of Prifteen. Saw was not wearing any damage at all. Round three. Oh, and the doctor's going to take a look at Prifty. She can see. She can see. She's good. She's good. It's not closed yet. Yeah, no, she's good. She's good. Oh, those left hands, man. Yeah, she's fine. She's fine. What's up? Cruiserweight champion matches next. Also three three-minute rounds. Oh, okay. I guess K1 does three-minute round title fights. I'd have to look into it more. Two minutes and 39 seconds on the clock. I admittedly didn't do enough prep for this card. I just was like, you know what? I am fucking pumped. I'm watching as a fan with the boys. They should put Rico Verhoeven against Jamal Ben Sadiq in a three, three minute rounds. Let's see who wins. Oh, please, please. Bro, and like Glory now has promotional material with that in ring brawl, right? Two minutes on the clock. Swinging Isaho. Big right hand by Prifty. Prifty now swinging for the fences because Prifty needs a knockout to win this fight. Outside low kick by Prifty. Ooh, that hurt Saho. Saho didn't like that. Vet Sport Info. Do you know why K1 don't have five uh, five round title fights? They're just like, this card's way too long. We're making the title fights three rounds tonight. Yo, what is up, my man? Thank you so much for joining. Guys, if you're on Twitter, go subscribe to combat sports today one of the best uh twitter follows out there for any combat sports news woman in 20 seconds on the clock dude this has been the best card in 2024 so far one minute and 10 seconds on the clock yo combat sports today why why aren't k1 bouts here or why aren't k1 title fights five rounds we've been trying to we've been trying to get to the bottom of this Hey, Combat Sports Today, man. Big supporter of everything Jay and I do. And uh, they're an unbelievable Twitter account. It's normal K1 rule. All fights are 3 3 minute rounds, side of fights, or no title fights. Okay, so that's, yeah, that, that's what I figured. Oh, and they're just swinging in the pocket here. They're just swinging in the pocket with 38 seconds on the clock. Huge, huge shots by both of these women. 30 seconds. 25 seconds left. Appreciate you, Arman. 15 seconds. Saw with another left. Saw with another left. Saw with the outside low kick. Saw is going to be the new champ. Saw is going to be the new champ. Saw continuing to throw here. Right hand by Saw. Left by Saw. And it is all over. What a fight. Shout out to the women. They put on a fucking amazing performance. Unbelievable. Unbelievable, dude. The Japanese crowd is going to erupt when she gets that belt. So I was going to win unanimous decision. No doubt. No doubt. No problem with it for one three minute round extension if the initial three round ends in a draw. Yeah, and we've seen a lot of draws here tonight, which, hey, we got a lot of fun overtimes. You guys rule on Twitter respect. And no. Wins unanimous decision. Dude, she is so good. That what a performance. What a performance by Saho. And Saho, she's got stars in her name. 
No wonder she's going to be a superstar. She's got stars in her name. Unbelievable performance. Dude, that was awesome. Hey, Vet Sport, you just follow me on Twitter. I'm going to follow you back, dude. Dude. I'm just tweeting quick here. Wow. Unbelievable. I'm just swooning. Not at the ring card girls. I'm swooning over that performance. It was nothing short of spectacular. I like K1 places instant clips on Twitter. Other organizations, other organizations can learn from. Yeah, dude. KSW um, MMA, they do a good job of that as well. Saho won. What a dominant performance. Look at that beautiful belt. Look at that beautiful belt. Honestly, the Rise one is better, but it's still a gorgeous belt. I can't believe this sexy Yama is ringside right here. I know uh, Takru and Tension were at the rise of Well, Tension's little brother was fighting. Hey, Takeru's back doing live sparring, eh? Originally, he was supposed to be out of competition for a year, and that's not because Shotri's, you know, holding him in a freaking prison cell. Uh, <laughs> Tongue-in-cheek. But, uh, yeah, no, he, I was watching some sparring footage of him Back to light sparring. I mean, I still think he's not going to fight for another at least you know six to seven months. But uh, good to see his recovery is going well. I want to see Takeru versus Rod Tang so bad. All right. What what belt do you guys like? All right. What belt do you think is more aesthetically pleasing, the Rise belt or the K one? Like I said, I think I, I like the Rise one just a little bit better, but the K one the K one belt is absolutely beautiful. And so I was just thanking everybody right now who came. They, you know. Her winning the belt, they gave her uh, the mic here to address the audience. Nobody can compete with one championship belt. I'll say this. No belt weighs more than the one championship belt. Hey, what's up, buddy? Good to see you. Chester. How's it going, dude? Oh, I hear one roommate's awake for work. Chester, how have you been enjoying the card here tonight? Dude, these seven hours, this has been like the easiest fight companion to host. Like, I'm not even tired, bro. I haven't slept at all. I'm not even tired. If anything, I'm just freaking jacked for the next few fights. I know win or lose, they cry. Dude, the sun is starting to rise. The bro, the sun is starting to rise, man. I'm central time, dude. Sun rises like 6.30, 6.45 here. I think they... 
um, I think, you know, when they lose, they cry because like it's, they put a lot of pressure on themselves. They, they want to bring honor to their coaches, family, their name to Japan. And when they lose, they feel like they, you know, it's a very much a cultural thing and steeped in traditional martial art. But yes, like every rise and fighter who loses seems to cry these days. For a second, I was like, oh, is that Uriah Faber? Oh, no, it's just Saho. There's a camera angle just to the back of her head. Hey, my Canadian brother, I'm in Ontario, just got to work. So I'm just uh, trying to listen to who wins. Awesome, buddy. Hey, shout out to one of my Canadian brothers here. Appreciate you, my man. Sorry, I'm whispering through it. Like I said, you know. It's super early. Um, I, I'm in Minnesota, so I'm, what, one hour behind you, but uh, it's still pretty early, and, I mean, I've been streaming all night. Just didn't want to wake up my roommates. <laughs> Maybe too much anime. <laughs> Again, awesome performance by Saho, guys. Hey, cheers, buddy. Dude, the only Canadian on the card got a knockout. There was a Canadian on the card, and he got a beautiful knockout. He's 5-0 and now with three knockouts. All right, yeah, we... We got another fight to get to. Four more fights left on the card. Cruiserweight championship. Then we get back to the three final Grand Prix fights. First round KO sends his opponent into retirement. All right, Saho, you've taken enough pictures. Let's go, let's go. <laughs> awesome. Uh, no, he's the last fight on the card, buddy. He's the last fight on the card. <laughs> Let her have her moment. Bro, I got a work meeting in a few hours. I'm actually going to text my client right now and say, uh, can we just push the meeting till later today? Literally texting my client right now. <laughs> I'm literally. I'll tell you guys what I'm what I'm about to like. Uh, what I'm saying to my client. So we have a meeting that uh, I actually messed up. The meeting's at eight a.m. my time, so nine Eastern. So in an hour and a half. And I literally am saying, good morning. Is there any way we can push our call a bit later? I am still streaming a Japanese kickboxing event that is going to go potentially nine hours. <laughs> Dina coming up next. Okay, let me finish this text and we'll get right back to highlighting the fighters. One sec, guys.
All right, cold open here for the Cine fight coming up next, ladies and gentlemen. Have I seen Izawa's interviews in Ryzen after her win? She always cries as if someone just died in her family. I'm not playing hooky. I'm just trying to push the meeting. Well, it's that or I have to like end the stream and I ain't ended the stream. I just didn't think it would go this long. Well, that's not true. I thought it was going to start a little earlier. That's all. I was just like, I did not expect it to be this long. Okay. My client's super cool and we got a good relationship. So you guys will get the live Isha work updates here this morning. All right, here we go, guys. Cold open. The picture, the picture of Leo C that he broke in half at the press conference. Eight and a half hours, and we still have four fights remaining. I know that that's literally what I said. And and I told her, you, <laughs> you know where to find me. I'll send my stream link. I'll send my YouTube channel. <laughs> she probably thinks I'm crazy. But like, what do you mean you're still streaming? You didn't sleep? I'm gonna be like, nah, nah. All right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my goodness, this is going to be amazing. We have the man, the myth, the legend, Sina Karimian against Liu Si. Sina, 19 fights, 16 wins, 3 losses, 8 freaking knockouts. Looking at his opponent, Liu Si, 11 fights, 10 and 1. Eight KOs. And bro, Leo Su is a lot younger, a lot younger than that of Cena. As uh, Leo C makes his walk out now, 36 years of age is Cena Kaumian standing 6'7". He's a, he's a big boy. He's a big boy. And again, this is at cruiserweight. So these are some big big fighters he lost his last fight unanimous decision to claudio istrate before them was on a hell of a run two four six fight win streak looking at his opponent si liu on a tremendous win streak right now two four six fight win streak fighting in k1 and wu lin fang also fights a little MMA as well as he's a professional MMA record of two and zero. Chinese drago time. Oh no, I'm not complaining at all. I'm not complaining at all, dude. This has been like this is why I'm I'm like still awake. If this was rising right now, we'd all been <laughs> because of the pacing. Can't complain about K1's pacing of the fights. They didn't waste much time except for the interval between the prelims and main card, which was 30 minutes. Dude, honestly, this is this has been like this is like Bellator pacing. This is like freaking Bellator pacing. It's amazing. And they dimmed the lights right when he was his quarterman was taking off his shirt. Oh, the second Eminem track. Till I Collapse is a way better Eminem song to walk out to. That or uh, what's oh, what's that one off Slim Shady LP? Uh, 
<laughs> like if you like walked up to like a deep cut like brain damage or something but hey, lose yourself isn't bad till i collapse is a little bit more like fight music though but this is a pumping song ooh love the get up Let's go, let's go. That is a massive Persian flag. All right, guys. Prediction time. Let me know in the live chat. Let me know in the live chat. By the way, we hit our like goal. We hit over 30 likes on the video, so thank you, guys. Thank you. If we're close to 40, come on. Let's try to get to 40. Let's try to get to 40. And he's trolling Liu Si as he walks out in the traditional Chinese uh, attire here. He is the champion right now, by the way, guys. He is the champion. So he is looking to defend it. Oh, my roommate's making coffee. I'm so excited for this one, guys. I'm so excited for this one. The Iranian, ba the Iranian battling ram. What a friggin' moniker! Let's go, man. Let's go. All right, both of the fighters are in the ring, ladies and gentlemen. And they do not like each other. They do not like each other at all. The champ is here. All right, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, is this not the people's main event on this card? Is this not the people's main event on this card? Uh, 24 bucks. 24 or Canadian. Uh, it was 24 bucks USD. So maybe 30 Canadian. But again, the entire prelims, and we're talking like, what was it? Uh, like 14 or 16 fights were free. 14 fights, I think it was. And honestly, the, the prelims have overall the like these are very good fights on the pay-per-view worth every penny but like the japan versus japan prelims unbelievable dude but yeah, it was 24 bucks or 25 bucks 24.99 usd so you know, probably around 30 canadian but or or maybe it's just 24 or 24.99 up in canada as well i'm not sure Oh, look at this staring contest. Oh, Lucy didn't want to touch gloves. Or C. Lu, sorry, C. Lu didn't want to touch gloves. Or Lucha, that's how, that's how he pronounced his name. My apologies. Lucha. All right, here we go for the Cruiserweight Champion, round one. 
Let's get it on. And body kick by Lucha. Caribbean on the back foot here. Outside leg kick by Karumian, but Lucha with a nice left hand. Yep, just like the rise in price, I, I agree with that. I have no issue paying. I have no issue paying fifteen bucks for Glory. I have no issue paying twenty bucks for Rise, and I have no issue paying twenty five bucks for for K one. This ain't no like UFC hundred dollar fucking pay per view that's going to disappoint us. Two minutes and 14 seconds on the clock. Ooh, a nice left to the body by Lucha. Inside low kick by Karimian. Outside low kick by Karimian. Ooh, a nice left by Lucha. Oh, Lucha just dropped Karimian. Lucha just dropped Karimian with the right hand. He's getting the eight count right back up to his feet, though. That was just a flash knockdown here, but Lucha, high kick. Lucha with the right. Lucha with the left. Lucha with the right and left. Dude, Karimian, he's wobbly. He's seeing the Tweety Birds right now. Oh, my goodness. The Chinese giant. Yao Ming of kickboxing, ladies and gentlemen. Lucha with an outside leg kick. A left and a right by Lucha. Caribbean. Bro, he's seeing the Tweety Birds. He's wobbled. He's not doing good right now. He is hurt. One minute on the clock. And another knockdown by Lucha. Oh, no. They're going to call it a trip. Straight left by Lucha. Oh, my goodness. This Chinese fighter is a problem. And he fights MMA. Are you shitting me? Another knockdown. Oh, come on, ref. That was a knockdown, bro. That was a knockdown. All right, ref's waving it off. 41 seconds on the clock. Bro. Pressuring Karimian into the corner. Karimian just needs to survive this first round. Karimian, he's, like I said, he's still faded, bro. Spinning back with attempt by Krimin, and he almost fell. He almost tripped himself up there. Double left jab by Lucha. Lucha with a right hook. Lucha with another right hook. Right hook by Lucha, and he knocks Krimin into the ground for the second time. Oh my god. One way traffic. And he survives the first round. Somehow, some way. Oh my goodness, freaking Yao Ming of kickboxing is an animal, dude. And, and I say that just because he, I'm, I haven't seen a Chinese athlete this big since Yao Ming. Wow. <laughs> I love uh I love uh Luchi's coach just splashing water on his face. Dude's beating him like a fight night champion opponent on easy mind. Sin is having a hard time here. No, nah, dude. I think I just watched the prelims, the the last one. I didn't pay for the pay per view, and I didn't watch any of his fights on YouTube. Like I said, I didn't do enough homework for this card. <laughs> Two minutes and forty six seconds on the clock. I've seen freaking Cena fight more than this guy. Oh, right hand by Lucha, and he knocked down Cena again. Gloro never sign Nutsa because he will knock out Rico. Oh, of course. Two minutes and 20 seconds on the clock. Glory's the Rico show until he retires. I mean, they can't actually bring any talent in. And Karimian, 
falls to the ground as he misses with a spinning back fist. He's truly amazing. Young, big, athletic man. He's going to be a force, whether it's kickboxing, MMA, whatever he decides to do in combat sports. This guy is an absolute animal. Another right by Lucia. Bro. Oh, and there's a... It's over. It's going to be over here. Karimian threw a spinning back fist, left himself wide open. Lucha landed a left. Second eight count of the round. I think this is it, bro. Wait, what's going on here? Dude, they're, they're going to call the fight. What's going on here? A legal hit. No, that was not an illegal hit. That was not an illegal hit. Yeah, dude, that was just Sinna being dumb and throwing a fucking crazy spinning back fist and tripping himself up there. Oh, come on. Don't do this. This isn't glory. Don't treat him like Rico. This is not glory. Don't treat him like Rico. How was that an illegal hit? How was that an illegal hit? They didn't break the clinch and nothing. It was right on the side of the face and he put himself in that situation. I mean, if, if he can take five minutes, he should, like, obviously he should take it here, but uh, I don't like that. Yeah, I... I, I, don't, I don't think that's illegal, dude. No, that was not illegal. It was on the cheek. Nothing illegal to see. Bruh, moment. <laughs> And now we're going to have a quick five-minute intermission while Cena recovers from a non-illegal hit. <laughs> Bro, he ain't Rico. Stop protecting him. <laughs> Dude, I agree with the broadcast. That was not an illegal hit. He put himself in that fucking situation by spinning like a maniac. The referee didn't call anything either, dude. Yeah, no, that's that's some fuckery. That's some K1 fuckery right there. Yo, what's up, Irish Snackbox? That is some K1 fuckery if I've ever seen any. So, King James, what happened was Cena threw a spinning back fist, tripped himself up, got back up to his feet, and turned away. Even though there was no break, no pause, turned just like um, 180 degrees, and Lee Su just landed a beautiful left hook right on his face. No, that wasn't illegal at all. That was perfectly legal. Perfectly legal. Perfectly legal. I'm even, I'm tweeting this. I'm literally saying perfectly legal. K1 treating Cena like Glory does Rico. Let them fight. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, I don't know. Anyways, he's taking the full five minutes. Like I said, we got we got a quick little five minute intermission here while we wait for Cena to recover. Oh, I'm letting you know on social media, brother. I'm letting you know on social media.
That was some that's some bullshit. And Lucia gets a yellow card. All right, we're back at it. All right, closing Twitter because we're back at it. Makes no sense. Absolute bullshit. Clumsiness is illegal. Stupid org. Every fucking Cena fight is like this, man. Do you see when they punch the ref in the back of the head in the Claudio? Yes, yes. He's the Rico Verhoeven of K1. <laughs> oh, nice high kick by Lu Lucci. Lucci pressuring Karimi into the ropes. Oh, Birok, the, the fight's back on here, buddy. We just explained it like. A bunch here. After the round, I'll explain it to you. 35 seconds on the clock. Spinning back fist again by Caribbean. Have you learned nothing, sir? 33 seconds on the clock. Insane. Insane. I remember that you posted as a dirty fighter. 22 seconds on the clock. Straight left to the body by Lucci. Straight left jab by Caribbean. Caribbean, stop throwing those spinning back fists, bro. That's crazy shit. Yeah, even the broadcast is like questioning why he's throwing spinning back fists. Okay, end of the first one. So, what happened, Birok, is Cena threw a spinning back fist to no one, you know, to Casper the fucking ghost, right? Right? And he fell down. He gets back up turns 180 degrees away from Lissu like he's going to run away from him Chelsea Chandler style and Lissu just hits him with the left hook right in the cheek knocks him down and, and and for some reason the ref calls a timeout absolute absolute bullshit see this is why I had to tell my client I was going to be late because freaking we got this fuckery here I remember that yeah dirty fire and insane. Absolutely insane. All right, Lucha, finish the fight now. Two knockdowns in the second, two in the first, I mean. <laughs> the track star, Chelsea Chandler. <laughs> I can't believe she fucking beat Nunes, by the way, but anyways. Not Amanda Nunes, the wish version. All right, third and final round. Two minutes and 58 seconds on the clock here. Outside low kick by Lucia. Lucia being patient right now. See, now he's gun shy, man. Fuck. Inside low kick by Lucia. Two minutes and 28 seconds on the clock. This is some OG Yakuza K1 fuckery. <laughs> Outside low kick by Caribbean. Oh, nice left by Lucha. Caribbean, look for that straight left. Lucha, Ben, he's got some nice feints. And Kareem's, I mean, he's, he's not biting on them. Oh, oh, beautiful high kick by Lucha. One minute and 42 seconds. Lucha going left and low. Cena with the outside low kick. Lucha with the straight left and Cena missing with the spinning back fist again. Caribbean with nice checking of the leg kick outside low kick for Caribbean. Oh, nice right hand by Caribbean. Outside low kick by 
Lucha. Ooh, a nice body kick by Lucha. Oh, he's out. He's out. He's out cold. Lucha just landed a right hand. He's out fucking cold. It is all over. It is all over. And new. Oh, my fucking God, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, my God. Boom, 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 let's fucking go. Fuck yeah, fuck yeah. How do you like me now? Oh my god. Oh my god. Bro. Cena can barely even walk out of the ring and no. Let's go. That's good, beautiful than a that, motherfucker. Dude, I, I'm obsessed with this fighter now. I am obsessed with this fighter. Bro. Bro. This dude is the Yoel Romero from China, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my god. God, what a right hand. Oh, my God. Good night, Irene. Stick a fork in him. In him. Dude, I, I'm, I'm now obsessed. I am now obsessed with Lucci. The yellow from... Well, that's what I'm saying, bro. I mean, look at his fucking frame. Oh my god. I mean his his traps aren't as big as Romero, but you know what I'm saying? An absolute freak athlete. Oh my god. And no. Armin, I, I appreciate that you appreciate my references. <laughs> that was insane. That was insane. Who does he fight next, chat? Who does he fight next? And you guys, you guys are way more in tune to like the kickbox, like the world of, of regional and high level kickboxing promotions out there. Who does this guy fight next? Who does K1 bring in for him to fight next? <laughs> Thank you, buddy. I'm glad that you get them. What? Like, one-way fucking traffic. Oh, my God. Oh, like I, I'm, I know it. I'm on a live stream. I'm not supposed to be speechless, but I am fucking speechless. Dude, this guy is a scary, scary fighter. Wow. Unbelievable performance. Anyways, addressing the audience now. Introducing himself to the audience, I should say. Unbelievable. I'm like just like <laughs> messaging some friends, but like, yo, look at this knockout. Unreal. So he put himself through absolute hell in training. Hell yeah, dude. Cricklia. Ooh, I like that. 
Although I don't think Shotry is going to really sh- release any of his fighters to be able to go fight in any other tournament. But that's a great, great uh, man. That is a that is a great suggestion. He's in the open weight Grand Prix. Oh, okay, okay. Bro, are you guys being the kickboxing experts? It's like I'm learning from you guys. I'm learning even more from you guys. Bro, I almost just want to call Jay Smooth live here, but I don't want to bother him if he's at work. I just wrote Lucy or Lucia killed Cena dead. I just sent that to Jay. Bro, denial. Did you see that shit? Did you fucking see that shit? Yoel Romero from China, dude. Oh my God. Oh my God. Why don't consider myself an expert? I bet I know nothing about kickboxing compared to others here in the chat. Hey. It's still uh it's still been awesome having you guys to to converse with. Oh. There we go. He's like, "Bro, I don't even know what you said." Oh. Dude, this has been hands down the best combat sports card of 2024. I am just as awake as I was fucking seven and a half or eight hours ago. This is unbelievable. Unbelievable. This is the best combat sports card of 2024. Bro, we have three more fights. It's not even over. This isn't even the main event. I did not just get the kid ready for school, showed up in time to watch you silently amped. Dude. Dude. There's like 14 free fights on, on fight. Highly recommend you, you know, casually get through those the rest of the week. But wow. Like I am fucking honored to be able to watch this card. If I died tomorrow, I would die a happy man, ladies and gentlemen. Seriously. This is like I could die today and be a happy man. Honestly, like this is one of the, oh my God, what a great card, man. What a great card. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I don't know, buddy. I bought the pay-per-view and I'm glad I did. I was dozing off, but that KO woke me up big time. Nobody's streaming it, Denial. Nobody. That's why I bought the pay-per-view. Uh, Fight TV has the first 14 or 15 fights for free, though, if you want to check those out. Okay, Palman has links. Palman, Palman's been doing God's work. There you go. There you go. Fuck you. Yeah. Fuck you. Yeah. Jay's Discord. There you go. Yeah, I was going to say, not our Discord. Man, I'm... Yeah, how's the how's everybody else in the live chat here holding up? I know uh, the bra was dozing, but... Uh, wow. <laughs> the flag was stuck. <laughs> Bro, it's upside down. Oh my goodness. I had to text my boss, or not my boss, but one of my clients live and ask if we could push our meetings. The meeting's in one hour. I don't, I don't think I'm going to make it. Three fights in one hour? Well, I guess the pacing will be better now that, you know, the two championship bouts are out of the way, but still. Dude, unbelievable performance. 
Look at this guy. He's an absolute monster. Unreal. Unreal. Dude, this guy's fucking terrifying. <laughs> In beast. Wow. A beast. I was picking up what you were putting down. Oh, shoot. It's, yeah, it's only, what, 3 p.m. You're still holding on. Oh, 1 p.m. Sorry, 1 p.m. Oh, yeah, that's that's easy. That's good for you. It's uh, 7 a.m. now. Bro, this has been the quick... Yeah, 1 p.m. <laughs> my bad, my bad. Um, I'm going to blame that on the no sleep. <laughs> I'm going to blame the shitty math on the no sleep. <laughs> math was never my strong suit. Dude, eight hour stream and I'm not even tired. I mean, probably like physically a little bit. Like I'll probably bumble fuck some more math and, and some more words throughout the end of the stream. But like, this has been like, this has been the quickest eight hours of my life. As far as like, n nothing is really dragged on on this stream. The chat has been buzzing. The fights have been nothing short of spectacular. Wow. K1 returns to the global stage with an absolute bang, man. All right. Now I have to like come back down to earth a little bit because we have three more Grand Prix fights ahead. Are you just, are you getting ready to go to work now, Idaho? Or Mr. Skates, man. Uh, thank God I don't work and I'm doing virtual school or I'd be screwed. Yeah, thank God I work from home. Yeah, so he uh, he trains with Eddie Bravo. Um, Because he actually fights MMA as well. well. He's fought two pro MMA fights, which he's won. But yeah, could you imagine this guy in MMA as well? He's training with Eddie Bravo. Imagine his jujitsu high level as well as his striking this guy can be an absolute monster in whatever combat sports he decides to go in. Yeah, dude, he's got two pro MMA fights already. Got work in two hours. Nice, nice. All right, guys. Let's, uh, let, let's turn the page here. Let's turn the page here. We have... Victor Akimov against Ray Nakajima. Let me update the ticker on the bottom of the screen quick and we'll get right back to it. Three more fights, ladies and gentlemen. We have just watched 21 fights. Surprise, the fights are still going on. Uh, when I woke up, it's 8 a.m. here. Yeah, it's 8 a.m. Or sorry, it's, it's 7 a.m. for me. I predicted that they would go 11 hours. I'm pleasantly surprised that we're only at eight. And I imagine, what, three more fights with this pacing an hour and a half at the most? Shit, I might actually make my meeting. We'll see. If, if, these, if, we, get three, if we get three quick finishes, then, then I'll definitely be able to make my meeting. All right, yeah, take her on the bottom of the screen, then we'll highlight the fighters here. Holy shit. Okay. For us, it's prime time, making the news on uh, the site. My keyboard nearly exploded because of the leak here. <laughs> 
Thanks, buddy. Appreciate you, man. So we do live fight companions every single weekend covering Muay Thai, kickboxing, MMA, boxing, jiu-jitsu, like the whole nine yards. Um, starting, usually we just do them all weekend, you know, starting sometimes Thursday to Sunday, Friday to Sunday. But when it's K1 World Max Grand Prix, we do it whenever they fucking post it, man. Whenever they stream it. And uh, yeah, I appreciate you, man. You're, sorry I had to like whisper like a crazy person throughout most of this stream. But like I said, my roommates all night, they were sleeping. So I just wanted to be respectful as my office, unfortunately, is right under the bedroom. Dude, yes. But anyways, thank you so much for subscribing, man. Really appreciate it. And we do more than just fight streams on this channel. So peru per peruse around and, and take a look. love from oh from the land down under i love it buddy i love it i actually have some family in australia what did lucy do bro i was hyped on him winning the last k1 dude he beat the fuck out of the iranian fighter for three straight rounds he beat the living shit out of him and then knocked him the fuck out in the third Uh, thank you, dude. Okay, I'm definitely going to watch them later today. Saw that KO on Twitter. Boom. Unbelievable. 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 Twitter's freaking out right now. This is awesome. All right. Fighters making their walkout. Now let's highlight them here. We have, like I said, Victor Akimov. 12 professional fights, 10 wins, 2 losses, 6 knockouts. And as we saw in that cold open, unbelievable knockout power. And he's got some skills to go with that. Fast hands, too. His opponent, Nakajima, with <laughs> funny-ass tattoo here. <laughs> Couldn't get a hickey of his own, so had to tattoo one on his neck. All right, all right, fair enough, fair enough. Uh, <laughs> wait, is he making his debut? What the fuck? Is he making his debut? So he has a pro boxing record of 6-3, and three, making his pro kick. Okay, no. Yeah, making his pro kick. But oh, my God, he's going to die. Okay, so he's a replacement. That makes a lot of sense. I was just going to say, what the fuck was K1 doing here? Okay, so he was a replacement. Akimov is going to destroy this man. I mean, unless unless he gets in range and just starts letting his hands loose in the pocket there, I, I got to imagine that the, that the primed kickboxer is going to take on uh, Nakajima here. Anyways, I have Victor Akimov winning. We had Nakajima 6-3 as a pro in boxing, and he lost his last two boxing matches. Victor Akimov. Um, on a two-fight win streak and making his debut in K1. Russia versus Japan, ladies and gentlemen. Both fighters are in the ring. Let's get it on. Dude, Nakajima is yoked though. It's actually interesting. This is like this is some like old school. This is like some old school like uh Ride and UFC shit. Let's put the kickboxer up against the boxer, but kickboxing rules. <laughs> All right, round two or round one, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get I'm just too excited for this one. I'm bumblefucking my words here. 
Two minutes and 51 seconds on the clock, ladies and gentlemen. Inside leg kick by the boxer. And Nakajima with the high guard. Ooh, Nakajima with a nice overhand right. Ray does have two stars on box rec, but I don't think he's good enough at boxing for it to matter. Akima with a low kick. Things Nakajima might have just better straight power than Akimov. Doing a good job employing his high guard there, getting in the clinch. Oh, and a nice right hand by Akimov as they break. Ooh, outside low kick by Akimov and Nakajima, man. He's dropping his hands too much when he kicks there. But he's, not, he's got some nice overhands. And he lands a nice left to the body of Akimov. Nice right hand by Nakajima and Akimov with a nice straight right in response. Inside low kick by Akimov. Oh, and a nice body kick again by Akimov. Nakajima doing a good job of keeping his high guard. I mean, it's, that's that boxing experience. Oh, left to the body of Akimov. Nakajima with the right hand. Dude, Nakajima, I mean, he's he's holding his own here. And right when I say that, beautiful four-punch combo followed by an inside low kick, followed by another left. A nice right hand by Nak Nakajima. Bro. Bro. Cena got destroyed. I led you astray, my friend. Cena got fucked up all three rounds. He got dropped twice in each round, and in the third one, he got knocked the fuck out. Freaking Yoel Romero from China is a scary, scary man. And ooh, there's a low kick there by Nakajima. Yo, what's up, Reaper Jones? What's going on, buddy? 35 seconds on the clock. What? Oh, man, you got to go back and watch the, the free fight TV uh, prelim card or prelim fights, man. This has been an excellent, excellent card. And I hope you have a great day at work today, man. But thank you for stopping by. I appreciate it. Thank you to Reaper Jones. He's the one who sent me the link to the K1 site here and, and this portion of the site so we can bring it up on screen. Way better than Tapology. 12 seconds on the clock. Oh, a nice right hand by Nakajima. Nakajima with the left. And, oh, spinning back fist. Spinning back fist by Akimov, and he drops Nakajima. Hell yeah, dude. And that is it for the first round. Literally with like four or five seconds left in that first round. Insane counter by Akimov. Spinning back fist and drops Nakajima. Akimov, I mean, his nose is bleeding, but oh my god, what a spinning back fist. Oh, and he hit him with like the forearm too, right on the chin. Yeah, I mean, he's not, as a boxer, you're not used to those spinning freaking back fists. Yeah, forearm right to the chin. Oh my God. All right, round two. Two minutes and 52 seconds on the clock. I mean, props to the boxing cat for getting in there and fighting his first kickboxing fight on, on this huge stage. But Akimov, man, inside low kick, a right hand by Akimov. Ooh, a left by Akimov. Nakajima goes to the body, knee to the body by Akimov. Akimov's got to be careful. If Nakajima lands with one of those huge overhand rights that he's pushing a lot into, like he does right there. He runs the risk of getting 
Well, lat line does Nakajima does have power in these shots inside low kick by Akimov. Akimov with the oh, there's that big right hand by Nakajima. He's finding his range. Oh, another right hand by Nakajima. Oh, a nice body kick by Nakajima. Body kick by Akimov. Another body kick by Akimov and a left hook to the body there by Nakajima. Right hand by Akimov as they break. Okay, glad glad it's back up, buddy. Glad glad it's back up. Oh, a nice right hand by Nakajima. And this second round, actually, Nakajima's looking pretty good. Oh, another spinning back fist. It's over. It's over. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Two spinning back fists and one knocks him the fuck out. I'm glad you got your connection back just in time, dude. Oh, my God. Go. Oh my god. <laughs> now I'm just texting my client. I'm like, actually, I. I We'll be good. We'll be good. We can still we can still meet on time. Oh my god, he's got the stretcher. <gasps> oh no. Look at this replay. <clears throat> Out cold, ladies and gentlemen. Bro, he's dead. Dude, and his head bounced off the canvas like four or five times. Shit, I hope he's okay. Oh my god. Did you see that in slow motion? Damn, I was just about to compliment Nakajima for doing better than expected. Well, I will say he did do better than expected, but clearly just did not anticipate a spinning back fist. Wow. Oh, Akimov was the late replacement. Oh my goodness, I hope he's okay. Oh, good display of respect by Akimov. He's bowing to him. Oh, and hey, I, we wish him all the best in recovery as well. I mean, that's some scary stuff. Oh, and Akimov's camp, you know, going to Akimov and saying, no, it's okay, it's okay. I mean, oh my God, that was scary stuff. Oh, Reaper Jones, he's being stretched out, man. He's being stretched out. Oh my God, what an event. That was a hard punch. No wonder he's still down, man. Yeah, that, when you saw it in slow-mo, holy shit. Yeah, going out on a stretcher. Neck brace and everything, yep. Unbelievable. All right, we're looking at the replay one more time. Oh. Oh, my God. Okay, this angle. Oh, that one's the worst. Oh my God, dude. Saying good morning, everybody. Thank you so much for giving me this opportunity. He's like, I took my chance and I took, or I, I got my chance and I took it.
unbelievable, ladies and gentlemen. Short but sweet. Short but sweet. What a win. What a win. <laughs> He's saying you're very dangerous. <laughs> Wow. And that's how you beat a boxer. Spinning a back fist from hell. Gotta love it. Again, I hope he's okay. Wish him all the... Oh, the sun is rising right now. I can see it through my window. I hope he's okay. Wish him all the best in recovery. But holy fuck, entertainment-wise, let's go. Let's go. God, I'm just, there's only two more fights left, guys. Like, I don't want this to end. I don't want to come down off this high that is K1 World Max 2024. Guys, you better believe we will be streaming the second round. Oh, my God. Yeah, no ill wishes, but damn, I love chaos. Yeah, I mean, that's that's the nature of the game. And at the end of the day, fa fans love seeing knockouts. We love seeing those knockouts. Wow. All right, I'm going to update the ticker on the bottom of the screen, and then we'll, we'll get into this highly anticipated fight here. Where are, where are all my uh, where are all the German brothers and sisters at who were joining us in the beginning of the stream eight hours ago who were like, is Pascal fighting next? And it's like, bro, no, that's, that's in like 10 hours. <laughs> well, it's only reached eight. This is pretty badass, you know, him with all his belts. I don't I don't mind the max the mask gimmick. We're getting fed this week, dude. I know. Rise El Dorado on the weekend, K1 today, Bellator, UFC, one championship, Octagon, Ryzen, LFA, and Fury on Sunday. I mean, and, and that's just to name a few. That's just to name a few. Yep, he's fighting right now, AJ. <laughs> I don't know if you're trolling me or not. But yes, he's fighting right now. Dude, AJ, what a card, brother. What a card. <laughs> Is Jubilee fighting next? Dude, whenever Ju like whenever uh was it Bula or Jubilee fight, my live chat just like blows up. Yeah, Bellator. We're, we'll be streaming Bellator on Friday. Unbelievable. Okay, let me quick hi let me quickly highlight these guys, and then I'm gonna run upstairs and grab some coffee because I think my roommate brewed some. And the fighters are about to make their walkouts now. All right, we have Pascal Scroth. Pascal Scroth, he is, oh, he's my age. He's a 93 born, 73 fights, 52 wins, 32 freaking knockouts, 17 losses, and three draws. His opponent, Uyun Fang, 24 fights, 22 wins, 8 KO, TKOs, and only two losses. So 22 and 2 is a pretty damn good record, but you're going up against a guy with a ton of experience, 52 wins, and only 17 losses. The 32 KOs, oh man, he's got some power. He's got some power. And what, this guy's 25 years old? Oh, good walkout song. TNT, Dynamite. Good old ACDC. <laughs> Pascal the German. That's an original nickname. I know my uh, he lost his last two fights actually to Tiago Tixera. His last oh, okay, this is fucking topology, so who knows how how accurate this is. But it looks like his last fight was in 2022, where he suffered a unanimous decision loss in 2021. Again, where he got knocked out in the first round at tie fight strong.
Anyways, looking at uh, China's own Ouyang Fang, 26 years of age. Um, he fought in K1 Rebirth where he won a second, or he won a, he won in the second round, knocked out his opponent. Before then, fought in Wulin Fang where he all, where he actually got a first round knockout via leg kick. And uh, his last fight was in Wulin Fang as well. Where man, he, this guy's got some nasty leg kicks. Is he got a leg kick in the third round? <laughs> I'm just texting our boy Jay Smooth right now. Just tell him this is the one of my favorite cards, if not the best card of 2024 so far. Uh, yo, what's up, uh, the loyal uh, bard? This is what Glory misses with their eight-man tournament. The final 16 always delivers and gets people a chance to get to know the fighters. Yes, great point, dude, great point. Oh, love the, the traditional getup that he's walking out in. He is the champ. He is defending. Jay's working. He's working. Uh, co-main event, co-main event. Sean is back. What's up, Nino? I bought the pay-per-view, buddy. Just wait for Verdunk telling you now, my friend, will end Wajima. Let's go, Nino. <laughs> Nino, thank you so much for, uh, for stopping by, buddy. Don't worry, guys. Everyone who's new to the channel, we do live play-by-play -play commentary, reaction, and interaction with all the amazing folks in the live chat. So keep the comments coming. Keep the comments coming. Jay was saying uh, that the rest of the card made up for that Thanachai uh, <laughs> robbery. I see. Thanks, Bray. No problem, dude. No problem. Oh, breaking news, dude. Uh, Jay just said he saw that uh, Rise and, and K1 will not be doing any co-promotion in the foreseeable future because Rise is pissed off with a couple of uh, decisions as two is their two of their fighters here tonight. The only two bad decisions tonight were Rise fighters. Twenty-four dollar pay per view is decent for the amount of fights. Oh yeah, twenty-five fights for twenty-four. Well, nine. I guess it's nine fights for twenty-four dollars, and then the rest is free. But still. I think it's worth every penny. Dude, Palman is doing God's work in the chat here. As a Dutchman, I really hope uh, Verdonk loses. If Verdonk wins, we will have no chance on the Bistati entering the tournament. All right, looks like I'm getting coffee after this fight as the fighters are already in the ring ready to go. By the way, guys, if you're new to the channel, smash that like button, subscribe. We do Fight Companions every single week. We stream up to 30, well, up to 40 hours a week covering combat sports around the globe, ladies and gentlemen. We also post a ton of other stuff on the content as well, but that's not important. What's important right now is this fight at hand. This, this, uh, Tournament fight right here. Round one is coming up. Last fight or second last fight on the card, ladies and gentlemen. And I really appreciate every single one of you joining. Round one. Let's get, Let's get it on. Keep the comments coming, though. Keep the comments coming. Absolutely love your guys' opinions and just love the interaction that we've had today. Oh, trust me, he won't lose his time for him to shine now. If I could speak Dutch, I would also be doing God's work in the chat. Oh, will do, will do. 
You got my sub. Keep doing the good work. Oh, thank you, brother. Really appreciate you. Hope to see you on more uh, more streams. Team Orange. Inside low kick by the German. <laughs> oh, nice right hand by Win Fang. Fang, really good pace to start off this fight and really light on his feet as well. Inside low kick. Man, Fen, Fang with a nice one, two and a low kick. Fang with a shot to the body. And Pascal with a nice left to the body of his own. Inside low kick by Fang. Uh, TCC is a, is a weight suppressant that helps with panic attacks and has caffeine from coffee or THCV. Okay, okay. I'll, I'll definitely look that up after this. One minute and 18 seconds on the clock. Oh, a nice body kick by Pascal. Pascal with the outside low kick. And a one-two by Fang. Left by Pascal. And a right by Fang. They're just throwing in the pocket now. And a left to the body by Fang. Oh, Fang with a three-punch combo. Dude, Fang is legit, man. Oh, a nice body kick. By Pascal, or sorry, by Fang. Pascal just took that one. 40 seconds on the clock, inside low kick on the lead left leg of Fang. Fang with returning a kick of his own. Push kick by Fang. Pascal with a nice roundhouse. Push kick by Pascal. Fang with a left of the body and an outside low kick. But before then, he actually landed a nice right hook in that combo as well. Body kick from Pascal. Dude, Fang catches it and just punches him right in the face with the right hand. Pascal with the left hook. Fang lands one of his own. Dude, Fang's just too quick for him. Fang's just too quick for him. A nice kick to the body. A nice knee by Fang. And that is it for the first round. My goodness, the pace. My goodness, the pace, ladies and gentlemen. Relentless. Relentless pressure by Fang. Easy first round by Fang, man. Easy first round by Fang. Fang, for sure. Like, he had to have outstruck him, like, um, almost double. And again, not all his strikes in those, excuse me, in those combos landed, but when you're throwing five punch combos ending with a leg kick, like you're getting at least two punches through, right? All right, round two, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, a nice body kick by Pascal. Inside low kick by Pascal. Fang with a straight left jab. Nice roundhouse kick by Pascal. No, after this one, buddy. After this one. Two minutes and 34 seconds on the clock. Left to the body by Fang. Kick to the body by Fang. Inside low kick by Fang. Or inside low kick by Pascal. Oh, big right hand by Fang. Front kick by Pascal. Ooh, Fang going high, Pascal. Good high guard, but Fang again, just like he's giving Pascal no room, no time to do anything. This pace is insane. 
Nice knee by Pascal, but then Fang lands another right and a left. There's another left and a right by Fang. Oh, Pascal goes for a knee and Fang lands a right hand and drops Pascal. Pascal, stop shaking your head. You just got dropped, sir. You just got dropped. Hey, what's up, Leela? Thank you so much. Hey, I'm on. I'm in the showroom. I'm in the showroom. <laughs> and Fang looking to try to finish it here. Fang pressing on the gas. One minute and 14 seconds left. Fang with the left of the body. Fang with the knee to the body. Ooh, Yun Fang is an absolute beast, ladies and gentlemen. Knee to the body by Fang. Fang with a straight left. Pascal is about to die. Dude, the play-by-play -play is amazing. Oh, dodging that high kick. Nice right uppercut in the left of the body by Fang. Dude, Pascal, just, he has no answer. He has no answer. Right by Fang. Left of the body by Fang, dude. Fang is treating Pascal like a freaking punching bag right now. You're loud in the showroom. <laughs> body kick by Pascal. Dude, this is just a glorified sparring session for Fang. Left and right and a body kick by Pascal, but it's sloppy as hell as he's starting to get tired and just quite frankly beaten up here in this fight spinning back visit them and fang lands a counter left oh my goodness pascal tries to throw a right and fang lands a three-punch combo on him dude this is this is almost hard to watch man pascal will throw a strike and then boom, 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 get hit with three strikes and then come back throw a leg kick boom, 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 get hit with three shots throw a spinning back fist boom gets socked for that throw a body kick but he grabs it straight right hand to his face. Unbelievable performance by Uyun Fang. The customers need to know what's going on in K1. Absolutely. <laughs> because I usually don't stream early in the week. I keep thinking it's like Friday right now. <laughs> like I'm about to ask, hey, everyone, what, what's your plan for the weekend? But it's fucking hump day right now. It's a Wednesday, bro. The warehouse is playing the baseball game from Korea. Okay, so Pascal was protesting the knockdown because he was saying he was off balance with that kick, but he still was just punched right in the face. So, I mean, at this point, it's not going to matter. <laughs> he is getting destroyed. And a good display of respect by them as they start this. They hug it out. All right, third and final round. Let's get him. Let's get him. Oh, a nice left to the body. A straight left. Body shot. Did he get the toes to the nose? <laughs> oh, big left to the body by Fang. Fang with the left hook. Knee by Pascal, but Fang lands a straight left jab. Young Fang with a straight left, right. Inside low kick by Pascal. Outside low kick by Fang, checked by Pascal though. Body kick by Pascal. Straight left by Fang. Fang with the left uppercut. Fang with a two-punch combo. Fang with the right to the body. Fang with a three-punch combo followed by an outside low kick. Dude, his hands are lightning speed, bro. Straight left by Fang. Outside low kick by Fang. Double left jab. Ooh, a nice straight left. Outside low kick by Fang. Trying to land a low kick of his own was Pascal, but he slips. Ooh, a nice knee to the body by Pascal. Left hook, straight right by Fang. Pascal lands a right, swinging a miss with the leg kick by Pascal. One minute left on the clock. 
Oh, man, Pascal's trying to land that knee to the chin of Fang, but Fang punishing him with that right hand. Body kick by Fang. Ooh, high kick by Fang and a high kick by Pascal. 45 seconds on the clock. Ooh, left and a right by Fang. Big shots there. The German's tired, and honestly, he's, he's gotten beaten up for three rounds. He's been beaten up for three rounds. Spinning back for his attempt, and he slips. Ooh, a nice spinning heel kick by Huan Fang in final 15 seconds. Very, very tired. Dude, Uyun Fang is sick too, man. Body kick by Uyun Fang. Left hand by Uyun Fang, and that is it, ladies and gentlemen. That is it. He stamps his ticket to the next round. Man, what an absolute clinic. That mask is uh, interesting. I don't know how to feel. German ate too much Alpha Strudel yesterday. Well, at least he didn't eat burgers and fries like that one guy. This was probably the most one-sided fight that wasn't a... Oh, I guess uh, the... Um, so, so far on this card, there's only two one-sided fights, again, that didn't end in a in a knockout. And Saho and uh, Uyan Fang, great display of respect between these two guys. I mean, you can tell that there's some admiration for, for each other there. Dude, we've made it. Look at this. There's no more. There's no more fights after this. We have one more fight, ladies and gentlemen. Hiromi Wajima against Daryl Verdonk. All right, I'm just updating the ticker on the bottom of the screen. And we'll get right to it. Give me two seconds, guys, or two minutes at the most. I'm going to just refill my coffee. I know there's only one more fight left, but I can smell fresh coffee upstairs. And I'm jonesing. I'm jonesing for the caffeine. So last fight on the other side. We will highlight the fighters when I get back. We will continue to read your guys' comments with vanilla sauce. <laughs> Guys, you all are amazing. Yes, you. You watching right now, you're amazing. I appreciate every single one of you. If you haven't already smashed that like button, subscribe. We do Fight Companions every single weekend as, as well as various other content on this channel. Um, I'm going to grab a coffee and then we will be right back for the main event. Is it really a main event in a Grand Prix K1 Max for the final fight on this card? Do not go anywhere. We'll be right back.
And we are back live here on the City Life Project YouTube channel for the final fight, the main event of the evening. 25 fights on the card, ladies and gentlemen. Eight hours and 39 minutes on the clock right now. And we have finally made it to the final fight. I got to give a big shout out to all of you who've been here since the beginning. And all of you who've been here for, she man, three to five hours. And to all the new subscribers, to those who donated, and to all the K1 and kickboxing fans out there. We are all fight junkies. This community is full of them. And we welcome all you new viewers to the City Life Project. Main event time. Dude unbelievable and it feels like it's gone by like that like obviously i'm tired i haven't slept but like i'm still buzzing man i'm still buzzing oh i think it's a good matchup for both of them i think robellis is gonna <laughs> is gonna tear right through him though because waldo costa doesn't have that knockout power doesn't have that death touch that despain has now he's good at keeping fights on the outside He's good at his jab. He, he's a good boxer. Dude, Des Payne is just going to stalk him down and swing those huge gangly arms and just, if he touches him, he's going to go down. It makes sense. It's a good, it's a, it's a good fight, but yeah, Waldo's pretty one dimension. I mean, well, Des Payne might be too, but Des Payne is just a freak of fucking nature, dude. Oh, wow. Never pick Waldo again. I'm, I'm just not a fan. Like, he's just not an exciting fighter. He's just a pure boxer with chicken legs who finally learned how to check a leg kick. Oh, yeah. Despain. Like, that's... Well, Despain can take a punch, too. And and you're telling me, like, that cost is going to knock him out, right? Like, if a, if he's... If he's bulldozing in there and like Acosta lands one like this pain's gonna land a one two and you know good night Jim kite shadow realm over like this pain is not a polished striker he's not a polished fighter yet but he's like he's damn good he's damn good and he's light on his feet for heavyweight as well but regardless, he's just a new fan favorite because he's just a freak of nature. All right, main event of the evening, guys. Fighters are making their walk to the cage. Oh, said it again. Oh, ring now. Let's highlight these next two fighters. We have Daryl Verdonk. 14 total pro fights, 11 wins, 7 knockouts, 3 losses, going up against Hiromi Wajima, who's had 25 pro fights, 20 wins, 5 losses, 17 knockouts, ladies and gentlemen. Out of the Netherlands is Verdonk, out of Japan is Wajima. Um, oh, and Verdunk was a, a former soccer player? Interesting. Um, so, Wajima's only recent loss was to Uyun Fang, who we just saw fight there, and he lost to him at K1 Rebirth 2 uh, on New Year's, or not on New Year's, but uh, in, when was it again? Oh, it wasn't January. It wasn't quite New Year's. It was what, January 9th? Yeah. Anyways, before then was on a hell of a win streak. Eight fight win streak in kickboxing. And his only other loss was to Minoru Kimura. Who we all know. It was only a loss before that was Minoru Kimura and Jordan Picker. Poor guy having to fight Kimura. <laughs> But anyways, upon losing to Jordan Picker and getting knocked out by Kimura, he won three fights, lost to Kimura again, um, and then went on an absolute tear where he avenged his loss to Jordan Picker. Looking at Daryl Verdonk. 
lost his last fight in infusion 118 due to referee stoppage um before then was on a decent win streak his brother's professional soccer player calvin verdugo oh, okay okay Oh shit, dude, they look so much alike. Wow. Are they are they twins? <laughs> no, okay, Daryl's one year older. Dude, that's sweet. So just a family of athletes. I asked James Lynch about when you would be on. He said whenever you ask him. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, I mean, I, I asked him a little while ago, but we, uh, we just didn't like, we didn't take, he said he was down to come on and we just haven't, um, set a, set a recording time yet, but, uh, we'll do it soon. Yeah. I'll reach out to him sometime next week, this week, the rest of this week, I'm slammed busy, but next week for sure. Dude, Ethan, no joke, brother. This has been one of the best combat sports cards of 20, 2024 so far if not the best been traveling around asia africa and europe since the last 13 years at the moment i am in india nice dude how did the uh Thanachai fight go is it one of the free fights i can go back and watch uh i don't think it's one of the free fights it was honestly one of the more boring fights on the card. Thanachai just went full Muay Thai and just kept clinching and clinching and clinching. And the ref, well, the, the ref in that one was, I think, more tired than all of us combined because he was so slow to break it. And yeah, what an upset. What an upset in that one. It was a close, close uh, fight, though, as it went to overtime. It went to a fourth round. But um, yeah, Romano Bakbord, man, he did just enough to win that one. I mean, mate, you could say it was a controversial decision, but the fact of the matter is, Thanachai decided to clinch more than he wanted to strike. He wanted to go full fucking traditional Muay Thai rules, and it's just, it's not going to work in Japanese MMA. Or sorry, Japanese kickboxing. Anyways, round one, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get I'd say more disappointing performance by him. I mean, he, like... His uppercuts were good. His hooks were good. His striking was good. It's just like he didn't do an... It's like we saw 80% of Thanachai. My roommate did his bracket last night. I'm just going to copy his. <laughs> and already we have a low kick. Verdonk. Oh. Kick, kicked him right in the dick. I swear, if this if if this event ends with a dick kick, I'm done. Is the way that Rai okay, we're good with the way that Rise ended over the weekend? Oh my god, all right. We're back at it. We're back at it. Inside low kick by Wajima. Outside low kick by Wajima. A nice right hand by Verdonk. Verdonk with a left hook. Verdonk with an overhand left. Wajima's gotta keep his hands up. Wajim with a straight left or straight right, my my bad. Nice right hand by Verdonk. Left by Verdonk, right uppercut by Verdonk. Verdonk with the left. Verdonk with a right and ducking under his Wajima. Wajima just picking apart the legs so far. Inside leg kick, outside leg kick. Inside leg kick again by Wajima. Right hand and a left by Verdonk. Verdonk with a push kick. Verdonk with the outside leg kick. Wajima with the outside leg kick, and it's already starting to bruise on that lead right leg. That right leg of Verdonk, he's leading with his left now, switches stances, tried to land that knee. Verdonk with the left and, and the right, but didn't land clean. And Wajima now hits Verdonk in the balls with the knee. Last one, buddy, last one. This is the 25th fight on the card. All right, one nut shot apiece. Oh, beautiful right hand by Verdonk. Outside low kick. One minute and 39 seconds on the clock here. Inside low kick by Verdonk. Dude, the pace to this is insane. Ducking under that right hook by Verdonk is Wajima. But Wajima didn't really land anything in defense. 
Man, Wajima, though, he's just picking apart the legs of Verdonk. Spinning back fist attempt by Verdonk and ducking underneath it was Wajima. Left by Verdonk. Verdonk is throwing a lot with these punches. Let's hope he doesn't gas himself out early here. Oh, big left by Verdonk. Knee to the body by Wajima. Duck and roll by Wajima. Verdonk tried to land a right hook, didn't land. Left by Wajima. Inside low kick by Wajima. Verdonk with a right, but that lands on the chest of Wajima. Didn't land its mark. Knee to the body by Verdonk. Ooh, a nice right uppercut to the body by Verdonk. Wajima with the inside low kick. Verdonk with the right uppercut. Push kick by Verdonk. Verdonk continues to move forward. What a pace by Verdonk. Verdonk with the left. Drops Wajima with... Oh, wait. Oh, the ref is going to say that it was a slip. And there's the drop. There's the left of the temple. And Wajima goes down. Wajima's getting the eight count. He looks okay. He looks okay. Back up to his feet. Ten seconds on the clock. Oh, and a right hand by Verdong drops Wajima again. It is over. It is over. Wajima's done. He can't get back up. It is over. It is over. And the K1 World Max 2024 opening round of the Grand Prix ends with a freaking TKO. Let's go. Let's go. What a tremendous card. What a tremendous card. This is amazing. Oh my fucking God. Wow. Daryl Voldonk, he has arrived, ladies and gentlemen. He has arrived. Let's go. Bro, Nino, you tell that man, you tell that man that if he ever wants to jump on a podcast with us, be interviewed, if you need us to promote anything of his, you let him know, man. We are officially fans of Daryl Verdonk here on the City Life Project YouTube channel. Let's go. <laughs> Verdonk sounds like her donk. Wow. Anthony Hardonk. <laughs> what a card, man. Wow. And that's it, folks. Did not see that coming. Verdonk rules. K.O. Netherlands. Oh, my God. No, we got we got a little bit more time before I say goodbye. But yes, so I got Biggie, Tupac, Don Cherry, Canadian hockey legend, Pavel Bure, um, was this Dudley the Dragon? Like this is my grandpa's old little. You can see it's it's all it's all weathered and shit. But he my my grandfather who passed away had this in his uh, in his vehicle, so I kept it. And then for my favorite TV show of all time, we got Kenny versus Spinny. Oh, and this is Bruce Leaf. He won via KO. He won via KO. Well, TKO, but still. See, if I go back and watch what I miss. Oh, Sean, you're a beauty, man. Thank you for all the support you show the channel. So it's actually Tupac and Biggie, not Tupac and Dr. Dre. But you know what's funny is I ordered um, Biggie and Snoop Dogg, and instead of Snoop Dogg, Tupac came. So hey. where's Hasek, right? I need I need a Dominic Hasek for sure. I don't have any goalie bobbleheads. That means we get a Japanese wild card. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Bruce Leaf. Gotta go now. Thanks a lot. Until next time. Yes, man. Armin, you're always welcome. You're a valued member of the community. All of you are. All of you who made this event so special. Like, I am never going to forget this night. Uh, like, this is one of the best combat sports cards that I can remember in a long, long time, man. Just like I will never forget the KSW Coliseum 2 stream. Unbelievable. No problem. I have no life. And this is my life for TV. Oh, well. I have no life. This is my life. Hanging out with you guys watching. 
watching combat sports. My customer is listening in. Okay, well, I'll keep it clean then. I'll stop swearing here, but uh, wow. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. What's up, Casa? Let's go. Uh, yes, it's a little bonsai tree. It's a little bonsai tree. My uh, my friend actually had a spruce uh, bonsai tree, which was pretty cool. I'm going to do podcast sometime with me or Jay. Dude, I'd love to talk to you sometime. And like I said, can't wait to uh, can't wait to hit up Illinois this summer, or at the end of the summer anyways, and uh, we'll definitely link up. Hey, vet sport, vet, vet sport here, guys. Hold on. Before everyone leaves, I, I want to just officially thank a few of you guys. Obviously, Sean for becoming a member last weekend and supporting the channel like crazy. He's been watching everything that we publish. Vet Sport Info, man, it was so awesome having you in the chat today. Same with you, Paul, man. Thank you for the donation early in the stream, Paul, man. Really, really appreciate it. Also, I know he's not here right now, but In the Granite was here pretty much all stream as well. TR Clips, AJ, We Are Rising Podcast, Leli, um, Armin. Nino, really appreciate you, dude. I mean, Ch uh, yeah, Chester. And th those were the few that were here the whole time. Man, I just want to say thank you to, to you guys, and I hope that you come back again soon um, because these fight companions are, are just better when you guys are here at the end of the day. They are better when you guys are here at the end of the day. And Nino, tell your boy, tell your boy, that anything he needs from the City Life Project YouTube channel, promotion, a platform, regardless, we've got his back, buddy. We've got his back. Fun fact, Daryl was my hair cutter for a few years. Bro, I need a haircut. So I'm just saying, if he ever comes to the United States, I'll tip him well. Thank you, bro. Thank you. And the bruh, of course. So much for spending these eight or so hours with you guys, but I need some sleep. The bruh, my Canadian brother, from one of the most based and best provinces in Canada, Saskatchewan. Go get some sleep, my man. I'm sub now. I'll be back. Thank you. My friend Juby is crazy. He opened up his second Counter-Strike case and got a 1K knife. Let's go. Bro, I have like $300 in Counter-Strike. I should claim one of these days. Our boy understands how it works with the Japanese. You have to knock them out or you lose. Same in Thailand, right? <laughs> oh, there's my alarm. There's my alarm to wake up. Do you guys hear that? Oh, what a way to end the stream. I still love... Well, I haven't played Counter-Strike 2 yet, but I love I loved CSGO. That's the reason I built this computer. It wasn't for streaming. It was for gaming because back to work now thank you nino guys smash that like button how funny is this my alarm is going off to wake up unbelievable that's amazing hey shout out to your friend crippled hammond thank you so much for joining us csgo is the greatest video game of all time but we don't have time to talk to, about csgo i had to go turn off my alarm i gotta get to this client meeting you all are amazing i appreciate you all smash that like button and subscribe and i will see you on the next one. Peace. I'm out of here. In your shield, yeah. in the